Hello, hello, we are back and hopefully uh, no more technical difficulties happen. Um, as you can see, CG has left us, but uh, Bloom and I, we are still here uh, following the games. And uh, yeah, um, I hope we can show you some fascinating matches uh, very soon. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for your patience. Hopefully you've maybe been enjoying the, uh, the A stream over there. Um, but we're back in the B stream. Hopefully everything's uh, back up and running, working well. Um, we're in the midst right now, if I believe, of our match number two. Here, um, here we, we have uh, Consus versus Kodiak, an exciting matchup. Two people that, in my opinion, could win this whole thing. And here they are facing off against each other in the group stages. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. As you can see, the first location shouldn't be too difficult for them. We have this car visible, which which should give away that this is Kyrgyzstan. Uh, but uh, here we go. Let's begin the game so yeah. the players can start. And here we go. We can see what the players see now. So on the left side, we see uh, Kodiak. On the right, we see uh, Konsas. Yeah, so as they're, as they're getting in here, um they're going to be looking at the same types of things we were looking at. This uh, this Google car here is uh, a Kyrgyzstan Google car as well. You can find it in Guatemala. A big giveaway. Other things you could look for in Kyrgyzstan is the plates have a little red badge, unlike uh, EU plates, for instance, which are the same size but with a blue badge. Um, looks like we have Kodiak coming in here Ooh. in the town, guessing Bishkek. Consus Consus is taking a look. Where is he going to go? Also same. Got city as well an understandable and good guess yeah it was it was very yep. close it was right there in the capital so yeah, not too much of, of damage yeah we've seen six points taken down on kodiak this this matchup right here i think won't uh shouldn't see too many points lost between these two players very very talented players definitely, definitely so this matchup is one to look out for and we're in round two here here is the, we can see the location in advance uh it looks like uh that it might be us is it uh, the yellow yeah. lines in the middle us seems like a great guess here let's let's, let's start let's the game our, yeah, let's see our players look around and again we are on our game two here of this match the uh moving game already played out off screen so Kodiak taking that first win. Consus is looking to get this no move win here. And again on this round here, we have the double yellow center lines common in the Americas. Specifically with this look, looks a lot like the US here. Gen 4 camera generation, newer coverage. The looking US can good. be quite, quite difficult to, to figure out, yeah. I, I imagine. Lots of, it, lots of details. It does look like Kodiak might have seen a sign. He, is going in close to Montreal here. So Canada, I guess. Consus in Quebec City. Ooh. Seems like they saw something we missed. Oh, possibly. I mean, these players are better than uh, us. <laughs> yeah. So, But yeah, that's why they're competing. Exactly. They're, they're doing their thing. They're both trying to line up the roads. They're taking advantage of this full 60 seconds. Yeah, every second matters. Oh, get wow. Hit in Kodiak, so 11 close. kilometers away. That is That's already really 1,300 close. points taken down on Consus. Kodiak is going to be happy about that going into round three. Oh, definitely. And yeah, with, with these multipliers ramping up right uh, from round two, you can uh, expect to see some big damages right there. Uh, here we have the round three ready to go. Um, yeah, it looks like we have a little bit of a pause on the screen, but let's... Uh, Oh, here we go. Let's take a look at that. So yeah, here round we can see three. the next round. I feel the buildings and everything feels quite uh, Turkish, maybe. Uh, yeah. I would guess. I was also thinking possibly Greece. Possibly, here. yeah. Possibly Greece as well. Yeah. Somewhere in that area of the world. But yeah, so let's let's, uh, let's let the, let our players take a look around. Consus yeah. highlighting that double damage. One of those little little ticks to get ready. Consus has been a. Uh, a fun player to meet in person. He's a he's a shy guy, reserved to himself. But when he's on, when he's in the game, up oh. against his competitors, there's no definitely. holding back. Oh, definitely a very very skillful player. Uh, looks like Kodiak is going for which country was it? I didn't see. I didn't but see he's, him zoom in. He's zoomed in very closely. Yeah. So he might even recognize the city oh, or Croatia. the area. 
Oh, Croatia. Ah, I guess we didn't Croatia. have the blue strips on the on the license plates. True, yeah. true, true. Oh, truly, yeah, we can see on the coding yes. screen. Oh. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Contest so both players did get the, get the correct country. Well done. Yeah, well done to both players. Um, but Kodiak keeping his lead. Going to be happy with that. Consus is going to hope for a comeback here. Yeah, okay. We have the next uh, next location ready to go. Let's let's head right into it then. Yeah, let's get them started. So, seems to be we're looking at... Um, Feels like it could be somewhere in, in Balkans, I uh, imagine. Yeah, this could be another Croatia, but just a Gen 4 this time. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. Croatia did get Generation 4 relatively recently. Uh, for maybe pl people uh, not knowing uh, what camera generations mean, I can explain quickly, is that uh, during the years Google has taken different uh, types of coverages, different qualities, and uh, players can use these uh, camera qualities uh, also to their advantage if they know what, uh, what camera quality is in which area, they call generations. Uh, so yeah, they can they can use the camera generations to also eliminate some countries or maybe even use it to guess some specific regions within the country. Yeah, and as our time dwindles down here, Kodiak is looking to get a pretty specific guess in here. He seems to know the area. It is Croatia. Let's see how our players oh, did. Kodiak wow. on That's top of it. Such a good guess. Kons is not too far I mean, either, yeah, to be Kons fair. Yeah, Kons is only 34 kilometers away, but when you have around four already with that much multipliers... Yeah, that's that's really impressive there. That, by your, uh, that you're already taking some damage there, even though he's only 34 kilometers away. And we're looking at around five now. Around five now, and this definitely feels more uh, South American, I would say. Uh, but let's start, uh, let's start the game. Let's see what our players think. Yeah, let our players take a look around. Um, let's see. Do we have, we have I these? think, uh... Oh, we're, we're the Mexican poles. Yeah, or? we should okay. be in Mexico okay. here. It would make sense. The vegetation, True. the poles. Um, let's see if any of our players take a look at anything that we can talk about as well here. Um, if you see Contest, that pole on his screen right there, that is a Mexico pole that he was just looking at a second ago, the octagonal pole. We could Very also see indicator. that the sun was to the south, uh, so which would indicate we're in the northern hemisphere. Yeah, that uh, as well. Which also helps. Oh, but we have our two players going two different oh. countries. Kodiak looking in Ecuador, Consis in Mexico. I believe this hmm. could be a big blunder from Kodiak. That honestly, on three times damage. Oh, Kodiak sees the pole. Oh. Is he going to second guess himself? Oh, he looked at the sun as well to, to see which direction it is. But Ecuador is also in the in the northern hemisphere, um, yeah. closer to the. Uh, is he gonna switch? Oh, I think he was switching, but oh, he didn't he switch in time. He was about to switch, and he didn't oh, switch wow. in time. That's gonna You're, be the game. Oh, wow! What an end to the game. What an upset. That was. Oh, I did not expect that. No, I didn't expect that at all. That is. Oh wow! A crazy way to end that game. It was. And you could see he was about to switch as well, yeah. but ran out of time. That timer, that 60-second oh. timer, as we talked about earlier, it's, it's definitely coming gonna, into play. Yeah, going to add some pressure and then some, some situations, unexpected situations yeah. like this. Oh, wow, what a way for that to go. Oh, Kodiak's going to have to take that. We're, we're going the, to the round yeah. uh, game three, into NMPZ. N N NMPZ game, that is intense. Kodiak's going to have to recover. Hopefully he's taking a little moment to yeah, collect re recover. himself. Yeah, exactly. He knows he had it. Just yeah. the time, the pressure, you got to understand so many of these players never played on land. They're here in this environment for the first time, a stressful environment, mistakes can happen. Oh, I can only imagine how stressful. There's, there's Constance, look at him, he's feeling good. He's feeling good. He, he knows calm and collected. He's calm, yeah. but he was down. He, he probably knows he was down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He happened to get a, a blunder from Kodiak, but happy to take that win. And he's going to take that into the final match Definitely. to decide this gonna, game. Going to take any win you game. can get, for sure. Uh, with these crazy good deploy, uh, op opponents, yeah, and, and, and yeah, we'll see the ga the NMPZ game should begin shortly. Yeah, uh, and let me just remind you for maybe new new viewers, NMPZ means no moving, panning, and zooming. So players will not be able to look around. Just the first image that they see, uh, they will uh, have to make their guess based on that. Yeah, yeah. Taking a look at Kansas here, as I was saying, and when I met him. Super calm and collected. Doesn't give a lot away. 
Um, shy guy, but very nice, very kind, mm -hmm. great guy. And he's holding it in, you know, he feels good about his ability, and I think he's gonna do well, and I think he's happy to have this, uh, this opportunity here to uh, take it to the third match. I think so too, yeah, representing the Netherlands. Uh, one of, I believe, two players representing Netherlands yeah. uh, in this this uh, uh, World Cup. So definitely, I imagine representing uh, players representing each uh, their own country definitely must be a big pressure as well. Yeah, to, definitely to a big perform, pressure. Perform well, not just for themselves, but uh, for their countries. Yeah, but uh, it looks like we're ready to get into our NMPZ game. This is our tie breaker game oh, of here we this go. match number two. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So players will see just this. They cannot look around. Uh, we we can if we want to, but uh, uh, let's, let's start the game. Yeah, let them get into this. Again, this is the image they get. This is everything. Um, what are they going to be able to gain from this image? I'm thinking this is probably Russia, is yeah. it not? Yeah, I'm thinking so as well. I think Russia makes a lot of sense. Maybe the Ural Mountains. Could be. Possibly Could be. in that sort of area. Definitely. Um, we can see some mountains off in the distance, but again, Russia to start off. It's really tricky. It's tricky. And it, it, it's better in a way to get it early without the multiplier. True, exactly. That's weird. what I was about to say. If, if you do get Russia, maybe it's good to have it while the multipliers aren't that high. Yeah. You can't get eliminated in round one. Yeah. Because uh, you can only do 5,000 damage max. Yeah, um, so so that's good. It looks like Kodiak here and Constance are in pretty different areas mm. of the country with 10 seconds left. Who will be the closest? This will yeah. be a big lead considering they're in very, very different areas. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's, Let's yeah, see. Here we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Consus is closer. It was closer to where I was talking about, mm. but that is three yeah, that's, thousand. That's points. a lot. Round one off of Kodiak. That's so much. That uh, it must be super mentally tough for Kodiak right now, losing the previous yes. game and, and then now then starting round, the game like this. Yeah. Can he come back from that? Uh, let's let's, let's see. What let's happens see if here. he can recover. Here we go. Next uh, game, uh, round number two. Uh, round two. This is a hard NMPZ oh, yeah. location. Oh. You have Generation 4 camera, which is some good information to know. Other than that, though, we're it's looking at really basically tricky. vegetation. So looks quite tropical, I would say. Some of the plants a little bit, I, I think. So that could give some, some good clues there. Yeah, I would say Southeast Asia. I think that's a good guess, yeah. Um, but hard, hard to guess. Gen 4, so Thailand is possible. Um, we have Kodiak zooming Ooh. into Peninsula, Thailand. Okay. Consus looking at Thailand as well. Um, we'll see, but Thailand is one of the biggest countries in GeoGuessr that players haven't totally tackled yet. Recently, Russia's so. people have been getting a lot better. True, one Japan of the big ones, well. Japan as well. Mm -hmm. But Thailand is still one that can be quite difficult for some players uh, and hasn't been totally tackled the same way some other countries have, knowledge-wise. So as we have five seconds left here, both seem to be guessing Peninsular Thailand. So it shouldn't be too big of a difference. Oh, Kod oh Kodiak slightly closer, but yeah. yeah Very just minuscule damage. Closer. It wouldn't affect too much on the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Uh, and we go into our round three, two times damage now. Again, yeah. multipliers rack up quickly. Getting getting bigger much faster. Here we have a much different, different type of landscape. Very uh, yeah. flat. So it should just be Iceland I, here. I, I see so. Kodiak going I in there so. quickly as well. Um, again, both seem in a similar area, which makes sense. It's pretty flat in some mountains in the distance. That they are both guessing in a flat area. Kodiak seems mm. to be lined up on a road. Oh, I wonder. They both seem to be in the same area. Yeah. Both similar, and, and the area makes a lot of sense. I don't True. think you'd have coverage like this in two many other parts of Iceland. Yeah, it feels very flat. Yeah, this uh, elsewhere it would be more hilly. The southwest section is definitely the flattest area of Iceland. Most of it is pretty mountainous and hilly. Um, Konsa seems to be going up a little bit more north. Kodiak on an exact road, exact <laughs> intersection. Konsa guesses see. are in. Oh, Kodiak wow. with the five oh K. 
that's, that is great for his mental for the oh, comeback. That's really good. It must be a good good confidence boost wow. after that round. He is gonna feel great about oh, that wow. going into a round four, two and a half times damage. What a location for them to see here. Look how beautiful this is. You got the clouds. We're up high in the mountains. Oh yeah. We're getting in there. Uh, I'm thinking, oh, this is kind this of a hard one, but it should be Bhutan with these flags, I would say. You do see these these kind of vertical flags a lot in Bhutan, I agree. Yeah, and also a very mountainous country. Yes. I think the architecture would work. Makes a lot of sense. Contest and Kodiak both going into Bhutan. Bhutan, a small country here, but two and a half times damage. We could see some points go down. We could see a few hundred points being taken away, which yes. uh, yeah, that, that, that can definitely be painful. Definitely, but I don't think we'll see the game here. As we can see, I the two so, guesses yeah. here on the right are pretty close to each other, so I shouldn't say anything too crazy. The timer runs out. And, and both players, yeah. yeah. It's a very similar distance of not close. even 100 points of damage. Yeah, very close. Constance holding his lead, though. He will be happy about that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, getting on to round five in a second. Okay, we are ready to go to the next round. Yeah, let's start here it up. Go. This Players definitely feels very European. Uh, from oh, oh no, I think it should no. be never like mind <laughs> Mexico or something never along mind. those lines. Yeah, the the tuk tuk uh, on the right side there. Yeah, we do have a tuk tuk here. Um, but if this is Mexico, a big country, three oh, times sorry. damage, scary place for Kodiak to be in right now. Cons is hopefully feeling good, mm -hmm. taking an almost full health bar into round five feeling good. Both players have not opened their map yet. They're they're thinking, they're taking it in. I'm Looking sure for some clues. Of them, yeah. yeah. The tuk-tuk could be a good one. Definitely. I think. Um, that pole there could be a Mexico pole. I wonder if they can see that pole clearly enough. Oh, it looks yeah. like Consus is zooming Consus in. Is going in. He's oh, they're going both the zooming on Yucatan. Oh, both going into the Yucatan, oh, wow. but different areas. Oh, I wonder what gives Yucatan away here. Any particular yeah. clues that they saw? Yeah, it seems, it seems like they're both going to commit to it. Mm. Oh, and it was. And it, it was. was. They were right. Good job. Oh, Kons is slightly closer. Kons is keeping his lead. Yeah, inching away those life points from Kodiak. I mean, Kodiak is slowly but surely running out of those life points, so he can't afford to lose many more. Yeah. But this, this round here looks like we're in a park. That is honestly a difficult thing for oh, these well, players. Yeah. A you lot can get of, some tricky parks yeah. like all over the world. A lot of what we learn as GeoGuessr players has a lot to do with the street view, and so specifically on the, uh, not that this is not street view, but yeah. you know, specifically out on the streets, we learn the road lines, we learn the signs. You get these rounds like this in a park. There's not as much to look for that you would normally look for. Yeah, you and really it, need to pay attention to the, the uh, uh, plants in particular, different trees. Uh, so I know that might not be the specialty of many players, but I know some, some definitely have studied uh, different plants where definitely. where they grow, made special maps for that. Yeah, there are players it. like uh, Alok who yeah, is Alok on the in A particular. stream right now. Very good at his vegetation and things like that. Um, Let's take a look. Hansis, I think I saw him guessing in Poland there. Mm. I'm not sure where Kodiak is, but with 10 seconds left, Kodiak is in the oh. U.S. Hansis is in Poland. Oh, this will be our game. Someone's getting eliminated. I'm not sure where I would guess, to be honest, on this one. Wow, Whoa. and all players off, but Hansis wow. in Europe, Kodiak not, and that will give him the well win. Well done. Wow, in what match a conclusion. number two. What a way for that to end. Consus did, did win it wow. in the end, but Ko Kodiak definitely did some, some good good fighting there. Oh, in the did incredibly. Game three. Yeah, and especially considering the way that game two ended yeah. for him. Such a bummer to then go out this way. But the stress, look at Consus. Yeah, he he's, seems he's definitely happy. And he's cheesed about that. <laughs> rightfully so. I mean, but that that that's a location. I'm sure him and Kodiak will uh, will have a laugh about that in the future. Mm -hmm. Saying, "What was that park? How <laughs> yeah. are we supposed to guess that?" What country did it end up to being? Like Bulgaria or I something? I think it looked like he was down in Bulgaria. Um, yeah, I was not considering. Bulgaria yeah, I was either. not either. I was considering lots of things. I did think it was probably Europe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the light the light post looked a little bit more European to me. Yeah. Um, otherwise, difficult. Look at zigzag and Kansas. <laughs> Having a having a laugh about that, I'm sure Zig Zag was maybe taking a peek over at Constance's <laughs> screen and, and checking out how that went. Um, but a, a a crazy way, a crazy way for that game to end. 
and a very, um, very close matchup, and that's all we can ask for with these great players playing each other to have all yeah. perform well. Um, Say hi to Launders. Launders <laughs> on the A stream right now. Um, yeah, the A stream is also, yeah. Let me remind you that we have an A stream going uh, where you can follow the A gr group A matches yep. in there uh, with other casters, yeah. including Rainbolt, so Launders, and. and uh, yeah, and, there will uh, be more. And yeah, Bloom will also I'll be joining be on the later. stream later on. Right now, uh, we're we're doing Group B. Later today, we'll, uh, there'll be a switch, and uh, C and D will go on. I'll yeah. be over on the mainstream for that. Yeah. That'll be nice. And for now, uh, with that match ending, we're going to be moving on to the third set of matches. Um, I believe we're going to be joined by competitor Lenly That's for, the plan. for match That's number the three. Plan. Um, uh, hopefully, he'll be uh, he'll be getting out here soon. Yeah, let's have a look um, at the groups uh, that currently are happening. Yeah. As you can see, we're cu currently groups A and B are being uh, are being played uh, games in these groups. Uh, we're following the group uh, group B on uh, this stream. Yeah. And as you can see, we have Consus and Trobota both with two wins. Uh, and Quark Sauce Gelotris have taken one win. Uh, uh, okay, something. Happened. Uh, Something <laughs> happened, and uh, Kodiak and Mechem, unfortunately for them, with no wins yes. uh, here. And uh, in Group A, we have uh, Alok in the lead with two wins. We have Debre, Topotic, Zigzag, and uh, Sheena with one win all, and Rihanna with zero. Uh, yeah, exciting to see. And honest, honestly, the way this is shaping up is about how I uh, predicted Group B to look. I did think Kodiak would have a win, mm. but seeing the way that Kodiak Consist match went, you can't you can't fault him. Yeah, it's just could unlucky. Have gone anyway, could have really. gone either way. Truthfully, really playing so well. So hopefully Kodiak can get some wins. But Consist and Trabota were my favorites to make it out of this group. Um, really great players. Think they could each have a great shot at winning the whole thing. So to see him see him at the top makes sense. It does. It does. Both both great players for sure. Um, we yeah. are currently joining, uh, joined by Jupa here. Yes, uh, we in, have in uh, the studio, so to speak. We have an uh, incredible player, Jupa, from China, with us for this match. Hi, uh, Hi Peter. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, I believe I said Lenly, but I think he'll be here later. But yeah. for now, we, we're blessed to have Jupa with us for this next match. How are yeah. you feeling, Jupa? Uh, I'm feeling pretty well. I'm just uh, very excited to uh, start casting and start uh, <laughs> commentating, like I've been commentating for many. Uh, uh, Rainbow uh, tourneys and yeah. other events. Yeah, so Jupa, I'm excited. Jupa has joined us on a couple of Rainbow own personal tournaments. Uh, joined us in the casting booth. Yeah. Um, it's it's lovely to have you here in person. Are you you feeling excited for your matches? Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm feeling excited. I mean, good. Uh, every opponents uh, people are too good these days, and uh, we have wins and losses. But just yeah. I have go down. I will try to do my best and try to not embarrass myself. So yeah, yeah you'll be fine. No matter what happens. No embarrassments. You'll be good. Yeah. It'll be great. It'll Thanks. be exciting. Thanks. Peter. You have uh, Jupa. Jupa has some of the most niche knowledge about various random things that really comes in handy, and he, he does well. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch him compete later. Yeah. Thank you. All. Yeah. What are your impressions on the the games that have happened already? Any surprises uh, from what you were expecting? Uh, no surprises. I mean, uh, I think I did underestimate. Uh, underestimate the format, like uh, how much the multiplier will be, mm -hmm. will be about. You really just cannot make any m mistake. Like uh, I believe it's uh, with the how the multi setup. Like after round three or round four, if you go wrong continent, either get the correct country, you're out. So yeah, we saw some of those examples. Yeah, we just saw that. Did you? Did you happen to see what just happened in Consus and Kodiak's game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unlucky. It can happen. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. It's no worries. But beautiful. Uh, Let's see if we're uh, ready to get into our next matchup, if the players and everything are ready. Um, we'll, uh, we'll find out. If not, we'll... I don't think we're ready just yet. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, we'll but we can, just, uh, we can talk to Jupa a bit more. Uh, tell yeah. us about, about yourself. How long have you been playing GeoGuessr? What are your experiences uh, with it? I've been playing since... Uh, I actually started a bit different than everyone else. I started because... Well, I first watched uh, GeoGuessr's video. That was late 2020. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, early 2021, I thought about uh, doing like a coding project for Geo. So, you know, Geo has Google Street View coverage, obviously, but there are other type of uh, Street View coverage in the world. For example, there's Baidu for China, there's Kakao for 
uh, for South Korea, and there's also Yandex for many former Soviet, Soviet countries. Mm -hmm. So I made the first script, and uh, people like the first person I talked to in, in the community was Alok. Alok was really uh, he been keep uh, asked me for updates. Okay, how, what, what to do, and then and then yeah, uh, Zigzag asked me too, and then. Uh, so it was September of 2021, I started uh, for me just playing Geo. First was just uh, half the time making scripts, half the time playing uh, battle, uh, battle Royale countries and Battle Royale distance, that these were the modes I really enjoy. Yeah. And then uh, I watch a lot of your videos too, back, back when, when, when I started. And then uh, uh, it, was, uh, so it was a lot of time making Unity and then the, the, my Unity script, and then just keep adding coverages and Peter uh, made videos about those, and uh, the example the, the satellite ones that people really enjoyed. Uh, after that, uh, uh, earlier last year, uh, or like summer last year, Rainbow started to doing tourneys, and I got more involved into the community. And then, I, I, I mean, I, I know Rainbow found the help, uh, uh, him using the Unity script, and me talking to him and giving him content ideas, and then. After that, I just uh, started to uh, devote more time to, to the game and uh, a bit away from the scripts, but more to the game. And uh, I've been playing in many Rainbow tourneys, had some wins, uh, victories, and some losses, obviously. And uh, yeah. And I also uh, just, in general, I'm also a modding punkit, so I will help with some community organization, help dealing with some. Sometimes unfortunately dramas, unfortunately, and but yeah. Uh, yeah, overall I really like uh, what I do uh, to learn about how the world looks like and mm -hmm. also how really just uh, this just mostly a game about interacting with people. Yeah, so, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's a thank thank you for that backstory. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, Jupe yeah. was a great coder as well as mid. Yeah, Unity has Script has been such a such an amazing uh, amazing thing to, yeah. to have. Uh, so many different new game modes you can play the game with the satellite view, especially. Yeah. Such a unique yeah. way, and people really enjoying it. Yeah. But I think we're uh, I think we're ready now to get into okay. our to our matchup here. We have Quark Sauce versus Jalotris. We are on game one, the movie, right. I believe. Let's let's yes. get let's, started. Let's begin. Let's begin. It should be a moving okay. game, I believe, as well. Yeah. Quark Sauce yeah. versus Jalotris. I believe so. So we're getting in quick here. As, oh, uh, it looks like uh, yeah, we'll be. I mean, you don't really need to. Well, you still need to move there. I mean, the main thing. Republic with the Karmata. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for those watching at home, us as GeoGuessr players, can we learn the different Google cars? And um, some of them look distinct, as we were talking about earlier today. We saw a Kyrgyzstan Google car. This specific Google car is um, unique to the Dominican Republic, Wait. but we had... Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. no, that we had... Oh, oh, unlucky, yeah. Oh, no, we had oh, Quark Sauce no. go Bolivia. Oh, oh that's that not a good yeah. choice. That's unfortunate. That wow. Is really unfortunate, you must have yeah. missed the, the car yeah, there. Yeah, th it does happen because if all you look is the front of the car, then you sometimes miss the, 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 the bar. So, yeah, that's yeah. Really unfortunate. So, it looks like we have our round two here. We do have some language oh. there. India coming with which is yeah. good to see. So, let's get in to the round here. We yeah. should have an India on our hands. Jalotris, happy to have his full points. Quark Sauce is going to be a little scared going into this round two, especially considering we're in India, a very, with very the, large with country. The, with the Brazil-like post, this should be in either Telangana or Andhra Pradesh. And uh, if you can, the players can show the top of the pole, I can, uh, th those, there's slight variation in the top of the pole for those two states. But, um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's there. Oh, thanks. Uh, this one, I can't really tell. Is that a different one? Uh, that one. Uh, this one, I believe, is more Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I tried to watch, uh, you know, uh, Dustin. Yeah. He's from India. He has a really good tutorials about India. And well, let's let's I, see. I think I think this whole top is more AP, but I could be very wrong. Let's well, let's see. take a look. Okay. It is Andhra Pradesh. Jupa maybe would have gotten that if he was in. <laughs> Jalotris and Quark Sauce. Yeah. Yeah, it is AP, Not but AP is a, a very big, big state, so it's still it is. difficult yeah. to guess. Yeah. Uh, have you been preparing a lot for uh, India in particular? Because I uh, know it's going to be a tricky country. Yeah, I just uh, try to uh, like reduce the amount of mistakes I can have, so mm -hmm. that, that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah, here we have the next uh, next game already. Yeah, should just be 
Jordan by the looks of it. I think so, with the black Google car again, the Google car helping us. Yeah, we also have yellow outer lines here, um, as well as a black car. Very good two indicators combined together to tell you it's Jordan. Both players already in. Okay, but Cook's closer. closer. No? Yep. We're finally taking some points off yeah. Gelotris. Only 122, though. A serious way to go if he wants to win yeah. game one. Yes. So this must be good for you mentally, at least doing some damage. So yes. Because okay. if you haven't done any damage to the opponent... Looks difficult. Uh, a bit tough. At North America, of course. Yes, the double yellow North lines. America. Yeah, so this, uh, these double yellow and this Gen 4 and this sort of vegetation, all a very good indicator no. of, uh, of either Canada or the U.S. However, as we just saw on Jalotris' screen, he sees the Canadian flag there. That's going to be a big help with 10 seconds left here. What is Corksaw seen versus uh, Jalotris? Who will get closer? Yeah, this is an interesting location because appears to be a Quebec bollard, but, but with England. Oh, okay. No, oh. Yeah, just a <laughs> Ron Bollard. Uh, Ron Bollard. Oh, oh wow. Why Jalotris taking off Damn. 1,400 Corksaw on 193 points? Corksaw's hanging by a thread. Bad. Only 193 uh, life points remaining. Yeah. Can't make okay. any more mistakes. He yeah, must be closer every yeah. round. He has to win every single round from now on, unless Gen both players are guessing the exact same yeah. place. So here we have left driving. We have some English, it seems like they're looking at on the screen there. Um, yeah, our mobile area codes. So this is but South Africa. Yes, yeah, is yeah. just South Africa. Um, big country here. Not exactly what Cork Sauce wanted to see. Or it is because he Maybe wants to get if closer. If he gets close, it could be yeah. it could be big, could be big points yeah, for him. I think this is this one. Jalotris will want to see because the, I think it just uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Jalotris is a closer. Bit closer. And with that, oh, there's no that's way that's to enough. make the comeback. Jalotris no drops one. the GGs in the chat and takes game one. Wow. With that, we move on. We're gonna be moving on to no moving. No moving game yeah. next. This Jupiter, is a relatively yeah. fast game, actually, that for, was, for a moving run. a fast run. game, yeah. Because we've, we've seen a lot of moving games, they could take a while, go to like round eight, round nine. Yeah. Uh, so no, this but one that, was a that one, one went quick. It was that first the, round, that blunder yeah. going Bolivia. Just happened to miss yeah. the car, an understandable guess without yeah. the car. But uh, yeah. just happened to miss it. You know, you're moving, you almost look at uh, less things like that you know mm -hmm. because you're moving around you're just like oh let me find information and yeah. and instead you might not be looking as much at the car forgetting yeah. things the pressure of being here in the land environment yeah. things yeah. things will go over people's heads it, it, it can happen yeah. sometimes you notice that white car and you just assume oh it's like chile or peru which yeah, also true. have white cars but don't have the bars very true and here we see uh, Jalotris on screen. Calm, he looks very calm, <laughs> ready to go, happy to take that win. Yeah. Jupa, who do you think, knowing these players well, Quark Sauce and Jalotris going into no move? Who do you think? Who do you think takes this next one? Uh, I think uh, I, uh, I know Jalotris have some specialty. For example, in, in Turkey, I think I heard he he won a game against was it against Kodiak, I think, just off Turkey. So if there's a Turkey round, this Jalotris will be favored. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. For the rest of the games. Uh, I've seen both of internees, uh, but not really sure. I would think it will be a pretty even game. Yeah. But uh, is obviously very good at uh, Switzerland and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. that being Ukraine round, then Kuksas will be heavily favored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and but also Jelochas is from Germany, so the German Discord have uh, the German well, community yeah. have been grinding about their own country since the release. So yeah. we'll see. They're ready. We'll see what goes on, and we're ready for our no move game. Yeah, let's let's get start this started. The first round. Yeah. Hopefully, Cork Sauce can have a bit of an easier start. Uh, starting off not taking that much damage round one would be nice. <laughs> would be very nice for him. It looks like we have a Lesotho here. Delotris knows he's going in quick. Cork Sauce as well. We have a oh, and they're guessing right away. Yeah, There's, no There's no wait. There's no wait. You can't use the mountains, but the mountains are a lot of places in this country, and uh, this is something yeah. you're insta guessing in such a small uh, country. Yeah, it's a oh. small country with no multipliers, so yeah. The way uh, away players know that so quickly is um, Lesotho is very distinct mountains that um, they uh, look very specific to the area as well as that white car and the, the and the houses and everything. So very true. Makes sense, they get in and quick, and there's no moving, so they weren't gonna get any more information. But now we're on round two here, it seems this a little bit harder. This mountain is very distinct. I would say this is Perlis uh, in Malaysia. Yeah, it seems like they both are 
know it, and they're both going in that same area um, based off max, that mountain. Max north with this mountain. Oh, yeah, it looks makes very sense. unique. So we have that Gen yeah. 4, and also, I don't know if anyone noticed here in viewing, Jalotris zoomed in on that pole, saw a little black sticker. Yeah, I think, it's yeah, a good Malaysia yeah, indicator. Quark sauce, so. sauce mm -hmm. really knows getting 7.2 kilometers away, 300 damage off of Jalotris as we go into round two. Or should I say round three? My apologies. Let's start it off for them. Yeah. A beautiful round for round three. Very gorgeous. Um, I'm thinking this should this be Bhutan. Should be Bhutan again. Yes. With, the, with these mountains again. The same and car that we said before. But, yeah. Yeah. Both both players, of course, recognizing it. Just looking at the mountains. Yeah, maybe so trying to align it. Shilotris is looking at looked at a house a second ago. That looked like a pretty Bhutanese house. It Classic does. architecture for Bhutan. Bhutan's also incredibly mountainous, so you, you are high up in the mountains. You see those clouds just like in our Bhutan round from earlier today. Um are they trying to line things up? Looks like Cork Sauce has made his guess. It's just off Jalotris now with 10 seconds. He's taking his time, but he's looking around yeah. at the roads. It has yeah, very mountainous and windy roads. I imagine it's very, very yeah. difficult to align uh, yeah. anything. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ended up being southwest more. <laughs> very similar. Just taking some points off Cork Sauce. Cork Sauce keeping his lead. Yeah. This is a v very close start, I would say. Both players not getting lots of damage. No, but yeah. the multipliers are, are ramping up, so we can definitely expect some. some yeah, damage. we're going into uh, yeah, to round four here. This is an interesting this round. Is the host nation, I think. <laughs> you think it's Sweden? It I think that yeah. makes a lot of sense here. You do have those signs uh, down the road. Can you see what year this is, if it's possible? Uh, <laughs> sorry see. about that. <laughs> I don't. Oh, C twenty three. This this uh, C twenty three with this antenna. I would say this just east of Oslo, but this is Sweden. I would say this is like uh, north of Gothenburg with this north car. Of Gothenburg. I would say that. Jupo with his knowledge. Oh, wow. I would say this is Norway Sweden border because of this car. Uh huh. Yeah. So let's see. Let's this see where this red car go. you see with, that with area. antenna. But I could be um, wrong. It could be elsewhere too. Let's okay. see. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Cork sauce has guest Jalotris. Using the time to his advantage, he's not trying to rush anything. He'd like to get a lead back from Quark Sauce. Okay, gotta use uh, all the time you have. Yeah. Oh, never and, he gets, and he gets closer, <laughs> it's okay. But yeah. that, you know what, two and a half times damage? That's 400 points off Quark Sauce. A little more even doubt, but Jalotra's in the lead. Yeah, little by little. So definitely a much closer game than the first one. Yeah, yeah. let's get them started in their let's next round. Okay. Keeping it, Keeping it moving because of our little bit of a delay, but we are on round five now. We do have three Aww. and a half times damage, and it should be a Spain location yeah, here. Yeah. This Spain is a very has interesting these, Spain, yeah. these signs with the, the very thick red border. Those are very Spanish, you can see. Yeah. I think. Yeah, so Spain's signs here, if we can see on any of the players' screens, those red signs with the red border. The red, yeah, Jalot just looking at it right okay, there. Okay, so you just said Madrid. Uh, I would say, I would go northwest, but Spain is incredibly difficult to reach and guess, so it could just be some area I don't even anticipate. Yeah, so as I was saying about that sign, those signs as well, when the red goes all the way out to the border, that is a Spanish indicator. Cork sauce getting a little closer, both guessing middle of the country. And it was an northwest. understandable guess. And Jupo was right. Okay. Uh, yes. A good right, guess from Jupa <laughs> as well. Yeah. And we're in round six. Cork Sauce holding the lead here. We have three and a half times damage. Let's get the players started. Yeah, I think this um, is This just might be Spain again. I think yeah. so. I think we have the same Thick type border, of spines, yeah. uh, signs. Let's yeah. Thick border should be. And we have the road number there yeah. as well. Which oh, road oh, yeah. number. Yeah. Help. Those are probably pretty small roads, so scanning for them in this context. Next we'll probably look a bit. We'll be next to city with so RM. I the think. RM players might have studied these prefixes of roads because they can they can definitely help you pinpoint because those prefixes correspond to s nearby cities, large larger places. So that can be quite helpful. Uh, I'm yeah, not really sure about this one. I RM. I, I don't really know this. Uh, yeah, uh, this one I can't reach. In. This mm -hmm. is something I probably also. Maybe sent just the south of Madrid, or but I south don't really Madrid, know. Okay. Like, well, it could be west, but <laughs> this yeah. I don't really know. Spain can be a hard one to region guess for a lot of players. A lot of it looks pretty similar. Mm -hmm. um, it could be Aragon. This is possible with those plants and those mountains, which is Jalotros is south of it. Right, we'll see. 
Oh, uh, nice. South. south. It was so oh, much yeah. just dropping some yeah. emotes. I mean, this just objectively, I don't know. I would just go south of Madrid because there are mountain everywhere in this country and the plants are um, yeah. you know, very familiar. Okay, this arch. Okay. Yeah, as we go into our next round here, getting the players going. This should be an Argentina round here. With these black plates. Yeah, so see we those? see the, the, the players zooming in on that plate it's there. With the blur, what ends up happening is you get a bit of a black Can dot. you show the, the Google car if it's possible? Yeah. Uh, okay, with this car, can you show the, show the year? The year? Yeah, for those of you might n uh, not knowing, uh, 2022, if, you uh, if you zoom in, you can see the copyright th year when is, the coverage was uploaded. This is weird. Uh, is, this, is this Santiago or is this Chaco? Uh, <laughs> with this date and this year. Yeah, well, we I would need see. a... Uh, so this is more Chaco to me. Chaco will be just west of Corrientes. Uh, I think there's a chuckle. This is, work sauce is in I think this is Iris. I think this is Northeast uh, Argentina. It should be Chaco department. This will be west of the city of Corrientes. This will be my guess See. with this car and this this date. So yeah. See, this is the sort of more niche-ish knowledge that I was talking <laughs> about that Jupa has. Going all these cities, handy, all these yeah, places. When he's, uh, when he's playing later. Oh, oh, and it's up north and Jalotris is closer and that would be wins that is off it? of that with the four can, times can, can mean That's Chaco, right? Okay, yeah. Wow. Wow. He takes that and with that, that's the end of our entire match. It is. It Jalotris is. 2 0. Yeah. Wow. The match, yeah. What yeah, a the way. second game was definitely much, much more closer. Yes, much, much closer, closer than it the first really, one. It really just came down to the multipliers racking up. It did. Both players recognized it was Argentina, just different areas, and that was enough, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. yeah Urban Argentina is very difficult, so yeah. we'll be, you know, that one had Karmata, but if it doesn't have any Karmata, if it's just using roll grids, uh, the, the error rate is very high, so yeah. Yeah. Understandable, yeah. but very, very well played by Jalotris. Yeah, Santos. there he is. There's our there's our winner of the match. Looks still chill. Looking calm, still. Calm, collected. He, I was having a... Oh, he looks a little nervous. Oh. He's going in next. I wonder who he's playing next. It could be part of the nerves, but I was uh, I was having a good chat with Jalotris uh, last night. He's one of my closest friends competing, and mm. he, uh, he seemed the calmest of anyone mm. I talked to. He said, I'm here to have fun. Um, okay. I'm not expecting too much, and... Truthfully, he's he's doing great, and I'm proud of him. And he uh, is he is doing really good. And I think it's really good not to have put that pressure on yourself. Yeah, I think it's a good mi good mindset that he has. Just come come here, enjoy the whole process, meeting everyone. Yeah, and um, just do your best. That's all you can do. Yeah, of course. Everyone's here to have fun at the end of the day. As yeah. much as everyone wants to win. Apparently, yeah. uh, none of the players have really admitted that they're uh, <laughs> they think they'll win themselves. So yeah. everyone's everyone's very, very humble, humble here. <laughs> And uh, we'll see, there's not a lot of trash talk or anything. Everyone's very calm and humble and a great community here of, of friends and very supportive. So the nerves are racking up though for our players. Definitely. But uh, that, was, that was a great match. It was very exciting yeah. for them, for players to meet everyone. Yeah. Uh, uh, have you met any other player before or is this your first time meeting is, every uh, single definitely one? Definitely my first time meeting every single one of them. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it has incredible. been like a experience kind of difficult to comprehend just that <laughs> you've been talking to these people with tens and thousands of messages, yeah. exchanging methods and playing together and then one day then you just get to meet them together. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, hard to comprehend. Yeah, yeah, it must be so cool meeting everyone and, and for, for, for the first time because without this event, maybe you've never, never even have met them because yeah. people live from all over the world. Yeah. yeah. China, Australia, USA. Yeah, and as we just saw on the camera there, that was Quark Sauce getting up, getting up from the computer after that. Um, but yeah, lovely to see. And, and again, for me as well, I've been meeting everybody uh, for the first time too, and it's been mm -hmm. it's been really nice. Yeah, um, likewise. Yeah, and like Jupa, man, yeah. it was nice to have you here, dude. This was great. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys giving me this opportunity to uh, co-cast. Oh, of course, yes. of course. <laughs> guys, look out for Jupa. He's going to be killing it later. I just know it. Uh, thanks, Pim. Yeah. Do you know who you're playing first? Uh, I actually don't. <laughs> don't? Oh, going in, going in cold. Going in. Gonna see what happens. Yes. Yeah. That's ex that's honestly exciting, though. Yes. How are you feeling about your group? Uh, obviously, a very challenging group. Like I said during my interview, it's my honor to play Wolf Tracker and uh, uh, and uh, May Potato. Those two are like map makers of the community, and then. Mm -hmm. They devote a lot of their, their time just to uh, just to get back to the community, especially Wolf Tracker. I 
uh, spent so much of his time, I cannot imagine hours of picking difficult locations to challenge ourselves. And the player I played his prob uh, in, uh, improved role, it was probably my best map. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not my, my favorite map. And made potato as well, uh, coordinating yeah. with all, uh, all yeah. the map makers, whom I believe you also yeah. want them I for did help Alaska. With the world. Right, yeah. right? A couple, of, <laughs> a lot, a few places, yeah. Oh, a few places, oh, yeah. oh probably Cali. Uh, yeah, and as we can see, yeah. Jupa, Jupa's group there is in group C, as he's talking about May Potato and Wolf Trekker, two, two well known map makers in the community. Yeah, that um, will be an interesting group to follow, but it will be later at uh, 3 p.m. Yeah. Uh, Central Imperial in summertime. And yeah. as we're having the groups up right now, we can actually take a look at how Group B is going overall. Um, Consus with two wins, Traboto with two wins, Jalotris now with two wins, and then Corksauce with one, Kodiak zero, Macum zero. That now, and we can see that in Group A, that's also currently happening on the stream A. Uh, yeah. That's uh, being streamed on the GeoGuessr Twitch channel. You can check it out there. Yeah, and it looks like we're saying bye to Jupa now. Thank you okay. again for coming in. We're having Lenly take a seat. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jupa. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Jupa. Thank, thank you so yeah. much, Boom. Thank you so much. Have a going, uh, Jupa. Good luck later. <laughs> we'll see you. See you. Good luck later, indeed. And uh, as I was saying, on the stream A that's currently happening on GeoGuessr uh, Twitch channel, uh, we have the uh, Debre, Sheena, Topodic, and Alok, all with two wins. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of players very, with very two Very, very close wins. games. That's a lot. And as we're back on camera now, welcome in Lenly, everybody. <laughs> welcome in, representing Germany. You have one of one of the one of the a couple of representatives of Germany. Indeed, indeed. But that's true. Yeah, lots of great German players. Lenly. It was a very very lots of Germans almost made it in the qualifiers. Yeah, you were yeah, the one who, exactly. who got through. Exactly. Yeah, the qualifier was stacked from German side, and we all got to the final stage. And um, yeah, we all lost our finals. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Lenly, Lenly is here now with us. Exactly. And uh, a great, great guy. Lovely, just met exactly. him. Exactly. We've been having a good time. Happy to have him on the on the stream for the next match with us. It's going to be a, it's going to we'll be exciting. Be very exciting indeed. How are, how are you feeling? How is everything going? Oh, very well, very well. Yeah. Enjoying the event so far. It's like the venue is super nice. I love meeting all the players. Everybody here. A lot of viewers as well, and uh, I just can't wait. Like the games are so hype. I we watched them on the big big screen in the backstage, and uh, yeah. everybody's going crazy. It's uh, it's just just a very nice event. Yeah, I'm Have looking forward to this game. Yeah. Have you uh, had any uh, upsets, uh, surprises uh, in the games you've seen? Um, to be fair, I was quite surprised that um, that in that Consus actually like lost the game. Mm. Yeah. Or did he actually? Like, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think yeah, he did he lose did. a game. He must have because so he, he only yeah. has two, yeah. two wins. So. Yeah. So I honestly thought Consus would uh, would basically dominate the group more or less, but um, he, I mean, everybody's beatable today, I think. And yeah. okay. With the high mu high multis, the games are really really exciting, and um, yeah, looking yeah. forward to this. No, are you feeling definitely. nervous or are you staying calm? Honestly, I'm like kind of calm. It's like good. I was more nervous in the qualifiers than now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Is it maybe something about being in the room with everybody a little, honestly, somehow more relaxing? Or I think honestly that uh, the overall overall vibe and like I'm basically constantly smiling, running around, seeing everybody. So That's beautiful. I think it's just uh, yeah. I think that just helps calm my nerves. I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a quick break and uh, we can continue the conversation afterwards. Amazing. Thank.
Hello and welcome back to the B stream where we follow the group B in the GeoGuessr World Cup. We are here with Bloom and Lenly and uh, we are excited to see uh, the other games. Yeah. So uh, we were getting a, a short Lenly introduction before the break. Yes. Um, but again, we're happy to have him with us for this next match. Thank you very much. It's going to be exciting. We're being shown Trebota on the screen. Look at him. He's oh, focused. Very, He's very serious. serious. He's ready to go. <laughs> I think uh, we're about to find out what matchup we're going to be watching, but I would assume it's going to be Trebota here. I would see. I would think so. Let's uh, see. Let's see who he will be against. We will find out. But in the meantime, Lenly, we were talking a little bit about you and how you're feeling about uh, getting into everything. If you want to briefly talk a little bit more about that, do you have any matches you're scared for in your group or anything like oh, that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm in Group D, and the clear favorites in the group, I would say, are Blinky and Harmless. Mm. My first match will be against Harmless. My second match will be against Blinky. Oh. So uh, I <laughs> might start. go out. I might, I might like go out 0-2 out of that, but still, if that happens, I ob obviously, I hope to get something out of those matches. Like, I'm definitely not just gonna throw the towel. I'm gonna gonna do my best to maybe get a point out of that. But if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. Like, um, we're still fighting for the knockout spots. Number three is still in reach, and uh, yeah. I think, yeah, a lot can happen in that group. Definitely. But definitely, I'm nervous for these games. Yeah, understandably so. But y I think you're gonna do great. Um, and here we are in the game. Timing. Yeah, we are in our first game. And this is Constance versus Trebota. We were just seeing oh. Constance on the screen. This yeah, matchup right this here, before we get started, I will say, truthfully, this could be a finals level matchup. That's a matchup of giants this right here. really is currently the two favorites in the group. So as wow. we are ready and we're in, let's get let's, started. Let's get going. Good luck to both of our players. It's going to yeah. be a tough one, I imagine. So, as it goes, we are in moving game first. Both players instantly zooming in on the sign here. We should be in the United States here. It looks to be that way. It seems like a New a York city. plate on the left. Yes, we did have a yellow plate directly in front of us. Um, it does feel kind of northeastern. Right? colored plates going around as well, so could be near New York with travelers or in New York with travelers the other way. Um, but moving in a city, in an American city, what you want to look for here, honestly, in some ways, is getting out of the city because you want to try and find highway signs. Yes. Or you could be looking for things within the city, big landmarks. What we just see is um, Trebota finding a county. I don't think he actually knows a county, so he's looking further. And um, yeah. Constance just in Syracuse. Yeah, Constance is in, in Syracuse. I feel and, like he did uh, find some info. Trebota with zero oh. seconds left. Oh, well they, done. Both they both get got the it. city. That's only two points. That is oh, the level job. of matchup we're currently looking at. Yeah, but to be honest, in a moving game of those two players, that's yeah. to be expected. Yes, that is to be expected, especially looking at around in a city. But that is a, that's a good way to start, a comfortable way to start for the both of them as they're, uh, <laughs> as they're able to move around. And we go into round two. Now we're having one and a half times damage. Let's get straight into it. Get us started. I think it should be some Ecuador action here. Uh, we need to look at the poles more closely oh, yeah. because it could, it be. could be Mexican. Definitely seems like a trickier round than the first one, I would say. Not, not as urban, so it yeah. won't be as easy to pinpoint this exact location. Yes, that's true. But again, moving, what kinds of things are you wanting to be looking for in a round like this? You're trying to find signs, you're trying yeah. to find city names, you're trying to find highways. If this true. is indeed Ecuador, like I suspect, then yes. you can also look out for taxis because they do have the city name on them. Oh, true. Yes, this is true. So good to know. Constance seems to have found something. He's opened oh. up the map, Trabota, and the map as well, both in Ecuador, mm. which makes sense. Yes. Constance um, has found a town entry sign. I'm not sure what Trabota has found. Yeah. Rio we'll Bamba. See. With 10 seconds left, though, how much more are they going to be able mm. to gather from the round? Right here, this street sign shows Chimborazo. And like yeah. those, are, those are big towns, so yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. looks like they're both in the same place. Constance did move his guest last second to almost on top of it. <laughs> so that close. is incredible wow. guesses from both of our players. And again, the level of talent that we get to see here from these players is just phenomenal. Constance making that last second switch to being almost on top. 
we go into round three. This is a Philippines round. I think so. I'm 100% sure that both yes. of these players are going to search for provinces. There's oh. like 80 provinces in the Philippines, and um, yeah, they show up a lot. They show up a lot, and they are they don't show up on the map, so you actually have to learn oh. them by heart, mm. um, and then you can yeah outscore your opponent. So have you learned from the? Have you learned all, all the provinces by heart? Do you know them? Yes, I did. Uh, I learned everything for the qualifiers. I also learned the uh -huh. like 500 Kabupaten of Indonesia. Oh wow! Wow. Um, but that is a level where at least half of the players know that by now. Wow. That's definitely like a year ago, only like three yeah. people knew them. <laughs> yes. And now it's, it's basically common knowledge if you want to compete. The level has just been. In the last year, the GeoGuessr level has risen so much that the timing of this event truly is perfect. We are at a brand new peak of talent and, and knowledge that we never Trabota imagined. Trabota has locked in his guess. He has. He found a kilometer marker. So I guess he is pretty confident on Mindanao here. Yeah, and both it seems are. they're both oh. pretty confident. Both wow. good guesses there. Consis the closest. Having a, having a bit of a lead, not by much, not by much. After three rounds, nothing <laughs> happened, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, understandable with these players. Let's get them into this next round, which should be Australia. Um, we have a double white line in the center here and left driving. Um, very good indicators of Australia, as well as these types of poles here. Um, but here we do have a very large country, and we're at two and a half times damage. So this really could be a great chance for some points to be taken off of a player. Finally, who will get closest? Though we will see. Seems that we have quite a lot of signs around us, so yeah, I think that could definitely help our players. It yeah, looks like they're both zooming in on the same area. Yeah. Yeah, just north of Brisbane. I think the poles might have been Queensland exclusive, but mm, um, yeah. not hundred percent sure about that because I didn't see them very closely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understandable. But yeah, both players in, going quick. For all the newer viewers, for with, when I say poles, I mean the telephone poles on the side of the road, the yeah, green the, ones. Those are big, uh, big things for us GeoGuessr players, as many countries have unique uh, electrical poles. And still, we see no damage. Yeah, no damage <laughs> here. Is this, this gonna game. go the distance? Yeah, I it think might potentially be. there is truthfully a world where this goes round ten, and it's still like wow. a 100 point game, but we'll see. We'll see as we get into this next round in France, what is gonna happen three times damage. The we damage is getting serious, but right away we do have some signs. Yeah, these signs. Those will be very small places though. I personally yeah. would not search for these. I would yes. search for, for a phone code in France because um, you can see the prefixes 02, 03, 04, 05. Yes, quite and helpful. They will France. tell you exactly, like, they will cut the country in four parts. So, Basically. yeah. And uh, the interesting thing about these signs that these players are looking at with these yellow um, road markings, the, the D120 there, what's hard in France is that there can be multiple D120s in different parts of the country. So, those might seem helpful. You might find the D120, feel great about yourself, make your guess and you'll be across the country. But these players know that, so they're looking for other pieces of information that they can find. Vance might be good. It has a 01 phone code. 01 is the phone code for Paris, actually. Paris and surrounding area. This might be bait, though. They could be he bait, might yeah. For bait here. No, it looks like he's he not doesn't. taking he doesn't. the bait. Yeah, so, yeah, as Lenly was explaining with those uh, phone codes, they are very helpful, but the time is dwindling. Who will get the Where closest? Is it? It, it is oh, Paris. It was, it was just Paris. Oh, and near, near Paris. Paris saw that piece of information and decided not to trust oh. it. He's not going to be super happy about wow. that. Wow. That is huge a, damage, actually. Yeah, that's actually yes. huge damage. Compared to the previous rounds, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Trabota's going to be happy about that here going into round six. Oh, that's a good start. And if we're uh, potentially approaching the round limit, then, then this could be huge. Yeah, so let's get them in again. Get these players in quick. They're, they're probably uh, antsy, ready to go. Not a small country here. Yeah, we have a South Korea round here. You can see the Korean language as well as a black Google car. A good combination here. We are in a city. We should have a decent bit of signs. We're going to be looking for signs pointing out uh, highways or the city they're in, cities close by. That'll give them, give them a good advantage. Yeah, this could be. Some players actually learned to read Korean language for GeoGuessr, oh, which really? is very interesting. I feel yeah. it's quite easy to learn. Though. Yes, it's, uh, uh, I think the easy. language is called Hangul, or like the writing system is called Hangul, and um, yeah, it only has like not many more letters than mm -hmm. the German or like yeah the alphabet we use. So mm -hmm. 
<laughs> have you studied it yourself or not? No, really? I have not gotten into languages yet. I only can read Cyrillic okay. for Russia. That's that's kind of a necessity, but yeah. um, nothing else. And yeah, they are close again. Very nothing close. Nothing much happened. <laughs> 18 damage in round, five, uh, round six. Wow, really, really close. Yeah, both guessing the capital there, which is understandable. Um, not not too surprising and really not a lot of points there. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get into this round seven here. Tribota's holding that lead that he's going to be happy about. Um, as we get into this round, Tribota really seriously has not taken many points off at all, almost at full health here. Honestly, that one friends round could like decide the game if it keeps getting small countries like this. This yeah, might be Jordan, I think. Yeah, I think this so too. should be a Jordan round. Would it be Might just be having a, a, a tiny else? bit of a, a technical difficulty here. We're not seeing their perspectives, but in the meantime, uh -huh. this is what the players are looking at here. And this uh, Jordan round, we do have a black car, which uh, you know can happen in other countries, for instance, South Korea. But we have a black car with this architecture. Uh, very I think the architecture is a big clue, oh, especially Jordan. compared to South Korea. It's very yes. easy to tell, tell both of them apart. Yeah, houses like this, very common in Jordan. Again could definitely be the capital. Yeah, I um, think this is outskirts of uh, Amman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely an understandable guess. I think that could be where the players are going here, but we will find out. Yeah, the round should it, be over can, uh, soon. Oh, oh. Keep looking our way. oh. We what's happening? <laughs> we have another technical <laughs> difficulty. Some things have been reset. Um, we will get that fixed shortly. Oh, it seems like we can uh, hear the round ended, but unfortunately we don't see the. Yeah, we hope result. next round will fix it. Hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, they, as they are done, I'm gonna send them into the next round to not hold things up. Um, oh wow! Finally, a big country. But yeah, big country. this could be huge. We we're not exactly sure the points anymore, but we do. I have sent them into this U.S. round. Um, a stressful round to be on this late in the game with this big multipliers. It's round eight. So either we can, we can, we might see a knockout here or maybe both players find it. We uh, are back. We, we are back that in terms great. of their point of views. The okay. health seems to be broken still, but hopefully that will come back as well. Do have patience with us. We yeah. appreciate you at home. I feel like that did even see, say the state, the sign that he was looking oh, at. Is it? Here we have oh, oh, this has just found good. everything he needs, especially if he knows the state already. That is every junction of highways. It <sighs> seems like Trebota has found it as well, though. That's intense. Let's well, this, we see. We can see some 5Ks here. Yeah, who's going to pinpoint it in time? Most important of these numbers is the 49, because it is in a state-specific highway shield, and Trebota is not sure of the state yet. Oh, oh yeah, he's like. moved, he's moved. So Konsa seemed sure, he made his guess. Five seconds left. I think Trebota is in the wrong state. He managed to get a lot closer, but Konsa is with the 5k almost. Wow, wow. Big huge damage. damage. Right Konsa is almost on top of it. And the game is tied again. Yeah, the game is now tied. We can't see their health there on the smaller screens, even though the top was not working. But we go into round nine here. Let's, let's uh, before we start, we'll uh, take a moment to just make sure everything works again. But in the meantime, we have, um, we have this next round in our hands. Lenly, what, what are you looking at here? What kinds of things would you be looking for? So, I think it's probably Colombia or Ecuador. If you look at uh, to your right again, I think we have a little antenna on the Google car. Oh, yes, right. we do. Yeah, so we do. it is one of those countries. Now I would look at architecture. Um, See if we can find any houses. There are some in the in the valley. Ah, true. And since they are mostly made of red brick as opposed to grey brick, I would prefer Colombia here. Although the mm -hmm. landscape does remind me somewhat of Ecuador. So I agree. I think I would look for further info in mm -hmm. this round. Yeah. Uh, before I make my guess. Okay. Yeah, I think we can can definitely ready so to go. Let's yep. let's get the them in there. That looks good. It looks fine. Very close. Very close. Yeah, the game is basically tied here, and it's round nine. If this stays close here, round ten will decide everything. Yeah, for, for viewers who might not know, we are playing up to ten rounds. If uh, no one is has been eliminated after round ten, then the player with the most uh, life points wins the game. Uh, wins the game. Yeah, exactly. So. Oh, like there's a plate, is... there's a plate. Oh, it was yeah. yellow on the truck, but he moved past it, so oh. that would have said the city name. 
Consist oh, wow. just did not recognize maybe. it, but it might have been blurred as well. So maybe oh, sure, you sure. won't be able to see the city name on it. Yes, he, he might have missed it, but that yellow plate, Lenly, I'd missed it. Was it on a commercial vehicle or a... It looked like a Colombian plate to me. Okay, so um, we should be in Colombia. We should have that locked in. Colombia no uh, has yellow no one has plates. Yet. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Yeah, 10 seconds. I don't no, think Consus even is not certain very about sure. the country. Yeah. Very oh, south. I think he's hedging for Ecuador. South. I think he's hedging for Ecuador. Where is it? It's <gasps> north. And it's north Ooh. and with five times damage. This that's going to be all oh, game. That's and that's game. it? Wow. Wow. Crazy. That's the game just like that on wow. round nine. Trabota. That's crazy. Going I, I thought this north. would go all the way. I honestly. really did too. I really thought we were getting around 10 there. But just going a little farther north, taking that win, feeling good. Wow. wow. That's Trabota crazy. is so wow. focused. <laughs> yeah. He Trabota's is. locked in. Look at him. He's like, oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I'll do it again. I'll do it again next game. Don't even worry. <laughs> No, that that was exciting. That was this is seriously so a matchup of, of greats. That was a crazy game, and I think yeah. actually it came down to Consus not actually being sure about the country. Yeah. yeah, he hedged very far south in Colombia, because I don't think he saw a single license plate or pole that yeah. would have told him the country. So, yeah. Yeah, he hedged to hope in case it happened to be Ecuador, hoping to get some points there as well, but. Didn't end up working out for him. Trevota being a little more confident, going middle of the country, farther north, gets closer. And with those multipliers racked up that high, it's just nothing you could do. This is a super interesting matchup, by the way, because a lot of people I know have placed Consus as their overall favorite for the yeah. whole tournament. And some other people have also placed Trevota as their overall favorite. Yeah. I know Tr uh, Trevor, Rainbow, yeah. he made a tier list and his pick to win the tournament was Trevota. And in the first game, Trevota versus Consus, we do see a win from him. So yeah. maybe Trevor was cooking there. Yeah, he yeah, he was cooking. Let him cook. <laughs> Let him no, cook. that 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 it, these players really are both in my opinion definitely contenders to win. I, I haven't uh, been so bold as as people like Rainbow to to pick for cer like for certain, but yeah, definitely incredible players and um it's so fun to watch them, and we get to watch them play no move now. Yeah, I think they're definitely both favorites of getting to tomorrow, uh, tomorrow yeah, day absolutely. two for the uh, playoffs. Yeah. I think also, I think Consus had a little bit more moving experience out of those two players. Uh -huh. So it is actually kind of an upset that Trebota took this game. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. But they are both maining no moving and NMPZ. So I think we're going to see some insane guesses. Yeah, okay. this is where it starts to get exciting as we go in to the game two. Yeah, no we're... moving, Trebota yeah. up one. Exactly, this this is going to be no moving game. So uh, let's see, let's let's start the game and see what uh, our players do. Somewhere in Eastern Europe and I see a yep. Skoda. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we see yeah, some so holy poles. Yeah, see holy it's actually poles. Hungary, but uh, Skoda would be would be usually, uh, yeah, it's most common in Czechia and Slovakia, yeah. uh, but obviously neighboring countries have it as well. Actually, I think this is Hungary, but I can't rule out Romania from these poles. Um, would need to see them more closely. The telephone poles with the holes in them all the way to the bottom cannot mm -hmm. be Polish. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it looks more like Hungary, and I think Consus agrees here. Yeah, another thing is, uh, so the places you can get the, those holy type poles are going to be Poland, Hungary, and Romania. Romanias are usually painted white at the bottom, and we're not seeing a lot of that, so that's definitely helpful to go toward Hungary instead. Yeah. So let's see how do we... It was Hungary indeed, very yeah. close to the border. All the way east. Lucky. Yeah, not, not too a lot much of damage, damage. But Hungary definitely a country I don't know anybody who can reliably region guess Hungary, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely those not. hedges were to be expected. Yeah, yeah, definitely makes sense. Going more central in the country, safe bet to go with. And yeah. now... And Hungary isn't too big as well. Uh, this so is interesting. We might be in Mongolia. Yeah, this looks, looks like it could so. be Mongolia. Um, we should have the car there. Yep, both yeah, are looking the right car. at that. This is the classic Mongolia Google car. There are a couple Ooh. of them. Um, but this is the classic one with this big, big roof oh, rack, the whole I'm tarp and everything. I imagine all the players have studied yeah, all the yeah. Mongolian cars very I thoroughly. Have not. You have, not? have not? Oh, no. <laughs> I, yeah, there's a, there's a very big document, about 200 pages, which details all the intricacies of the different cars that drove around Mongolia. 
What I know here, what I can say confidently, is that we are in the eastern half of the country, since the bars on the side of the car, the roof rack, uh, as we call it, is um, not filled in in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I always remember MT equals east, so okay. E equals Smart. E. Oh, and um, yeah, but north of Ulan, where they are, that's still an area where the MT roof rack appears. So oh. let's see if they're right. They are, they are yeah, wow. both close, wow. very close. Oh, Honestly, wow. that's really good. That's yeah. really good. I would not have gone there. Yeah, that is that's so close. Very confident guess as well. Yeah, uh, it's just showing, showcasing again the, the level of talent in these players getting that close there. Um, as we go into round three, let's get them straight into it. So what do we see? And it seems to be... Think we see some yellow plates there. Yeah, possibly we do. a Colombia here. Again, so in Latin American countries, Colombia has yellow license plates um, on like personally owned vehicles, not like the commercial ones. Um, a very helpful indicator when you're, when you're trying to decipher Latin America. Yeah, we're just somewhere in the mountains here. Um, okay, Consus is zooming into something that I actually thought. Um, there's a very famous location in Venezuela, a oh, border spill. Yeah. I, I wasn't oh, confident nice. enough to uh, to say it out loud, but that was the, uh, my, my gut reaction to this location. There is, oh, it is on a bridge. It. it does look like this. It. If it lines up, that bridge. If it lines up, this might be this might be one of the most insane rounds. <laughs> I don't, as w uh, in type of location as well as in the they're guesses. Both, they're both they, guessing if the they are same both exact bridge. Wow. No. If this is it, they're both five seconds. Five two, and one to guess. So we are it is. Is. That's insane. And two wow. incredible <laughs> wow. 5Ks from Trobota and Consus. It is Venezuela. Wow. What a location. Who would have thought that we see a Venezuela today? Yeah. It's like the, the only location in Venezuela you can get, right? For everybody no, who's no not very skills. familiar with, um, with the game, Venezuela does not have street view, so yeah. yeah, that is one of the only ones, as Peter said. Yeah, just yeah, a tiny been, uh, spill over the border. Yeah, car covering Colombia drove over the border in Venezuela and then got a little bit off of Venezuelan coverage. Yeah, just a tiny bit. And with that, we'll, we'll get our players into round four. Let them get started on this very rural location very here. Rural. Somewhere in the Great Plains, for sure. Yes, most um, definitely. Yeah, I definitely favor Canada here over the US, I and I think... I think from the pose, I would go Saskatchewan. Yeah, this does, I, that was gonna be my guess as well, a very Saskatchewan vibe. If this were something like Alberta, we'd probably see some Alberta bollards, which are pretty common. Mm -hmm. However, we do not. So, an indicator for sure. Um, could be Manitoba, but a Saskatchewan vibe seems like a great guess here. Let's see where our players end up deciding to go. Trubota and Saskatchewan, okay. so he agrees with me. The road angle is interesting. This actually oh. can be findable, although we are in the middle of nowhere. With 20 seconds left, maybe they will find a road angle that matches here. Oh, that would be insane if they if I've gave this. That would be truly. I mean, if anyone were to do it, it would be players like this. True. I mean, true. This it, it's it's possible. We we'll, we will see though. Looks like uh, Trebota has made his get. Consus has made his guess. Apologies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Trebota following suit with the time limit they ending oh. straight next yeah. to each other. Very yeah. close. Very close. So close, only 160 <laughs> down. Again, on it's similar to the uh, game number one, very, very close rounds going yeah. back and forth. You yeah, know what? No, this, look, this might look difficult, but I think we will see two correct roads here. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, it's what, possible. What this looks like an Argentina, road? yeah. This is all the way north in Argentina. I think it's actually one of the roads in... Oh, okay, it's north-south angle, so maybe we won't see it. Um, yeah, this is one of the northern states in Argentina, based on mm -hmm. the vegetation here. Uh, it's a lot more like, I don't know, dry bushes, I guess. Um, they look very different to the south of the country. If you play it a lot, you will pick up on the vibes. Mm -hmm. um, and since this road is north-south, there's not a lot of them uh, in the north of the country. So let's see if they find it. Yeah, Trebota seems to be... Oh, we just switched over to a new road. Consus, I, I didn't see if he happened to place his marker yet, but both seem to be in the same similar area. I think they know it. Yeah, they're both in the north of Argentina. Yeah. Trebota, though, on a very specific road here. He's looking up and down it. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Consus, Ten where will seconds. he go? I think Consus is farther, much farther west. Yes, he is. I oh. do agree with Consus, to be honest. I think oh, this I think is more west further there. west. 
And it is not strange. Oh, it, it was. It was it more worse. It was for the West with three right. times damage. Oh, That's okay. a lot of points down on Trapota okay. on a rural Argentinian road. So Exciting. This is taking a half-time lead. Yeah. Let's Definitely. see if Trabota is able to fight back here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's get them straight into round six. Three and a half times damage. Consist almost at full health still. Trabota almost at half health. An interesting way to go into this round. Yeah, even though Consus is leading by, by a few thousand, you saw what happened in the previous game where one, not even that bad of a guess, uh, massive damage and you're out. Yeah, it's just any really anything can happen. The multiplier is it, just such a crazy factor, it, even for players of this caliber, when they both could be making guesses that really realistically are so great. But, you know, with the multiplier and just ends up racking up some points as we just saw Trabota taking down that many. Yeah, this round is in Brazil. It does look very south. Um, Agreed. Based on architecture and the uh, vegetation here. Mm -hmm. Cons yeah. is committing Rio Grande do Sul. That yeah. is a very confident guess. Yeah, he's going straight in. Doesn't care about the time limit. He's, he's ready to go. Let's see where Trabota goes. Way further north. Oh my god, this is going to oh, be massive. This, this is, is going to be massive. This is going to be huge. And Consus oh my God, takes that's gonna the, be the game. game. Wow, Consus wow. is so confident too. So yeah. confident, Great gets guess. it in there. Wow, Be, pay, being confident pays off because he he went yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, trusted his knowledge and it paid off. No, definitely, that was so beautiful to see. With that, look at him, calm, cool, collected. All of our players today on the cam, calm, ready to go, focused up. I think both of these pl players, they they don't have nerves. Yeah, they both seem super calm, super just down to play the game that they have spent hours and hours playing and grinding and getting good at and deserve to be in these chairs. And it's showing. Oh, 100%. To be fair, on Brazil, I kind of favor Consus uh, for these players. I played yeah. uh, some practice matches against Consus yesterday, which only included the seven biggest countries mm -hmm. on Street View. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's just say I did not win any of them. Oh, Francis has <laughs> definitely practiced his big countries. Yeah, it's one of his strengths. So I think it's really important the big countries in yeah. particular, yeah. especially with these multipliers uh, increasing very rapidly. Yeah. Although Trabota is probably the better better player at Russia, so maybe that is going to mm. be a factor in the NMPZ. Yeah, that'll be interesting. That it is, is it is great we get to go into our tiebreaker NMPZ matchup. That's going to be exciting. Again, NMPZ, the players only get one still frame and have to make their guesses based solely off a picture. A, a exciting, exciting way to have oh, a tiebreaker. Definitely, and it highly depends on the locations we're getting, because if we're getting some tricky locations, we might get completely wrong continents, as we saw in some of the previous games. True. So things might get True. very, very tricky here. Yeah. I think you can't make it tricky enough for these players. True. You don't I mean, true, true, <laughs> I don't true. Think they're, so. they're ready to go. Look it. Look to see both of focused. them going wrong continent, <laughs> I think the map makers would have had to pick something <laughs> exceptional. Yeah. An exciting thing about having Trabota here is, uh, a lot of players in the GeoGuessr community are quite private. They yeah. say to themselves, they don't, they don't face reveal, they don't, they don't talk always a lot to a lot of players. And Trabota is one of those players. He's pretty private. He's been pretty quiet. Yeah. Um, super nice and loved, obviously, as everyone is, but very to himself compared to some other players. And so, you know, getting to see him here in, in flesh in person is exciting, and seeing him, uh, seeing him compete is, is a pleasure. And uh, I agree. with we that, go. we're getting into our NMPZ games. And I hope this the round is not going to be panned like this. I, because I think it is. <laughs> I, think I think it is. That's all they get. What, what a start. Well, what let's begin. What a start you get. Okay, oh, no, no, they get lucky. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Just no, for they us. Okay, good, good, good. They get. Oh, <laughs> man. oh my god, Consus is in. Oh, Trabota is in instantly. Wow. We do have He's these very confident on Sumatra. Yeah, we have these massive oil pumps these here, oil which are very pumps, common yeah. uh, in Sumatra and a I'm couple other nearby not areas. not 100% sure in Indonesia, but yeah. if it is, then Sumatra is definitely the way to go. Yeah, you can get them in Malaysia as well. Yes. And I think uh, Thailand as well. Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes. Malaysia, um, Southern Thailand, also huge oil palm producers. In Indonesia, they are most common in Borneo Island and Sumatra Island. So mm -hmm. they are both in the same area right now. Okay. 
Five yeah. seconds left. I yeah, think Trivota is locked in. Okay. And it is actually Sulawesi. Oh. Wow, it is you Sulawesi. You could see, was it Konza zooming in on Sulawesi right before guessing? Wow. That was indicating he's considering it. Yeah. The thing is, yeah. Nobody, nobody would guess that. But yeah, <laughs> I you would be a madman to guess Sulawesi that's on oil tr tr Much, much safe, safer guess to guess Sumatra there. Yeah, much and, safer. And so it's not yeah. surprising to see both players go there. Um, but so definitely not, not considered a mistake there to not, uh, to not go. But let's get into our round two here. Um, but yeah, to not go Sulawesi there makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Rare oil palms on the Sulawesi but island. But Sumatra and Sulawesi is like an infamous 50-50. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Loads of people true. get it wrong all the time, me included. So, um, yeah, let's so see if I can line this one up. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Trebota pretty confident on South in. Peru. Oh yeah, he's in so quick oh, there. Wow. is Very going confident. in South Peru as well, but actually they are in pretty similar areas here. So let's see. Let's see what ends up happening. But um, I think we're not getting sure. those stripy uh, Peruvian poles as well. So that, that can yeah, help. I think I did be. spot one of these. Yeah, yeah, should be down there. Um, Trabota seems to be lining up something, but again, lining up things in the NPZ is quite difficult. Oh, true. It can be very hard. Um, the best, most accurate way to be lining up the compass is to be looking straight down at the car. Again, NPZ, no ability to look around. So. Also, both that. of them being confident on South here is crazy because coastal Peru looks very similar all around. Yeah, the whole yeah. way up the coast. Both of them very south. Where will it be? Oh, oh it, was it was very south. Very close. That's about uh, 350 points there off Trabota, but still close. Consus, though, however, is happy to have no damage taken yet going into round three. Oh, yeah. Even though they can't look around. Uh, they still very close guesses, very similar guesses as well. Same areas in both of the first two rounds. Yeah. So let's see if the trend continues in the in the round three. Yeah, let's get them started. So what do we? This here? is not. This is not immediately obvious to me, but yeah, Philippines makes sense because we do have a concrete road, very common in Philippines and Thailand. True. And yeah. the pole would definitely suggest Philippines over Thailand here. I would think so as well. Also the metal sheet roofs, I guess. So yeah, as as uh, Lenny mentioned, I, I thought about mentioning it on the previous Philippines round. Um, if you have this like Southeast Asian looking you know, architecture and foliage and vegetation and everything, and you see a concrete road, a very, very good in indicator of the Philippines, as uh, pretty much all of the roads are made of concrete. Consus is not in the map yet. I think he's looking very, very carefully at his screen. Yeah. I'm trying to look One for something he, m he might have missed. Some tiny details might make the difference here, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Something that your opponent might, might not notice. So far, Trebota is just in the middle, so both of them not getting a clear vibe. Oh, Maybe yeah. Consus is going more north. Interesting. Okay. Let's see who's right. Oh, yeah, the oh, they're pretty different here. Let's see what ends up happening. Okay, it was more south. south. Oh, Trebota with a classic hedge in the middle of the country, taking okay. down a lot of points well, off of Consus. Quite a lot. Farther north. Okay. And we go into round four, two and a half times damage now. Let's get them straight in, get them get them going on the round. Oh, this might be difficult in Some NPZ. classic North America action. Yeah, shit. And NPZ, be. you don't get a lot of info here. Yeah, it it's seems it's like... large area. Must be US or Canada here. Yeah, um, I wouldn't be sure which one this is. Yeah, yeah I can't be confident here, but I think they will tell us soon enough. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll figure Trivota it out. Trevota is in Canada. I can see it. Yeah, I think it could be either or close to the border. Um, I think East makes a lot of sense. Um, I kinda think East is a good, good guess. Yeah, yeah, it seems like our players are sort of there. Um, yeah, this might be Ontario or like New Brunswick. I think I prefer Canada slightly mm -hmm. over US, but it might be wrong. Yeah, but a hard round here and on two and a half times damage, Consus did just take a pretty decent hit. This will be interesting big. to see what happens. 15 seconds remaining in this round. Consus both has both not players. opened the map yet. Yeah. Now he's going. Taking One. as much time as possible. Wow. That is far oh, away. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my this, God. Wait, their guesses are so be different. This, this will... If it's not like in the middle, it's game. Totally be game. And it is in the middle, oh, so maybe oh my not. Okay, it was in the middle. God. Oh, wow. Okay. But that's a lot Damn. of points. Consus now wow. with a pretty decent lead. That's impressive. This is going in all directions. Consus lead, Trebota lead, Consus lead again. Yeah, the, the going back and forth, both very skilled players. So 
So what do we see? Okay. I think we are still at the same location I here. Yes, yes, we, we Okay, here here's, we here's the next round. Here is the next round that we can start. It's gonna be a bit of New Zealand action. Oh yeah. Who knows their New Zealand trash bins? I don't actually think we can we can see them well enough. But uh, um, can you use them to tell the regions apart? Yes, if you uh, if you can zoom in on them, they will have the city council on oh, them. Oh, okay. Mostly. So in this case, it's too far away. Yeah. We cannot tell which uh, which city council it is, but it's kind of hilly. Mm -hmm. um, urban New Zealand really hard to reach in Gesto. Uh, let's see what they do. Yeah, New Zealand can definitely be be difficult for sure. Um, there are some indicators, for instance. The, the North Island is more rolling hills, while the South Island is generally flat landscape on the East Coast, and then massive mountains more in the West. Yeah. So things like that can be helpful to look for, but... but yeah, those are more like general, more. general Yeah, those are general guidelines, general guidelines definitely. Um, Both on the South Island, okay. but pretty far apart. Might be a big damage. Trebota switched yeah. to North Island. Oh, wow. he did. Oh, okay. I think North Island south of it makes sense. Oh, wow. <sighs> what a North guess. The North Island, but that's going to be a oh, lot of that points. Is not it yet. on 1,300 now. <laughs> Trebota on 3,000. Uh, still hanging in there, oh but my barely. Oh, God. Constance still is on the ropes. And winning this match will be very important because they both want to secure their spot in the finals. They do. Group winner de uh, already advances to day two. Exactly, the winner of the group will advance to day two. As Lin is saying, the second place and the third place in the group will move on to the knockout stages later today, yeah. later this evening on the stream A. But yeah, I think we can move on to the yeah, so next let's, round. Let's get them into round six with three and a half times damage now. We should... Oh, going oh, straight into Trabota, right going straight into Senegal. In Senegal makes, makes perfect sense perfect. here. Yes, I think definitely. there's a point to be made that this is a little further up there. Yeah, Trabota is actually where I'm considering. Yeah. Sending there now, that's a huge risk. Trebota is ahead, he might not want to take that risk, but it definitely looks like it could be a border road. Yeah, if he feels confident and he has the lead in points, if he's right here, he could win with sure. this much damage if Consus goes far and far enough away. But we will see exactly what ends up happening oh here. Wow. The border regions of Senegal have way darker soil than the rest of the country, so that's I definitely true. considered this. Um, as a possibility, but it might just be like in the middle. Yeah, uh, with 20 seconds left, Trebota is debating some other options, but hasn't it's moved. really risky. Yeah. Hasn't moved anything yet. Consus is not considering guessing. Oh. Consus is probably going middle, so he was oh, considering just guessing middle, the same then area. Then Trebota's risk will make him lose. Ooh, let's see. It oh, is just middle. It wow. is middle, and Consus and takes it. Oh, oh my wow. God. And that puts That's Trebota crazy. on 530 points. Consus now 1300, completely oh, wow. taking the lead. This is a roller coaster. Round seven so it is intense. back and forth. This <laughs> is the types of games we are expecting from this caliber of players. Let's get them into round seven. Four times damage. It is Japan, but we do not see any of the typical indicators that people use to region against Japan. Yeah, I think realistically here, four times damage, Japan and MPZ, this is our final round, as long as the players don't guess basically the same place. But they're taking their time. We'll see what happens. The maps have not been opened up. Consus is getting in okay. there. The map is open. He's going south. Trebota's on more of the North Island. May always oh, looking up pretty far north. This could be pretty different guesses here. It could be a lake, yeah. Japan. I, think, I like Trebota's guess. Yeah, I do as well. Japan can be a harder country to region guess, especially NMPZ. You can't look for certain indicators and he's that might in. help. Oh, okay. Trebota has no. Trebota is still searching. Consus has Consus locked in south, locked in. so this will be game. This, oh, this will be it. The guesses are so different. Oh, the right middle. in the middle. It's the Who's middle? Still the game. <sighs> it is oh not my god, it's oh not the game. Trebota stays That's alive. crazy. Just barely. As we go into <laughs> round eight, Trebota on 250 health. This is Whoa. all our players get for the round. That very well might end the Let's match. get going. What do we have here? I'm not sure they like to see this because this yeah. location is not really uh, facing the road. Yeah, the panning is not favorable not the for what the players need to look for. However, Trebota is getting into Argentina We quickly. can see some poles. 
Argentina yeah. at least. So I think some, this some be houses. Argentina. We can see the sun to the north, also, which yeah. indicates we're in the southern hemisphere. And with this plains look, I think Argentina is a very safe bet here. Yeah. Yeah, another thing we're not actually getting the opportunity to see is these players, especially NMPZ, a lot of players get up close physically to their screens. And so yeah. these times when they're not on the map and all that we're seeing is them, their, their, their image, they very well are probably up in the screen trying to look at things, zooming in in person with their, uh, with their bodies. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, yeah. zooming in their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I definitely know the feeling, putting your face right next to the monitor. Yeah, trying, trying to, to get any piece yeah. of information you can. <laughs> and now it's six seconds but left, and oh, Kons is in Rio oh, Grande do Sul. He's in They're Brazil. In different countries. This is certainly the end. Oh my Argentina. god, Ooh, and, but your boat is closer. Oh, it's not the it's game! Not it. But it's wow. so close! Wow. 250 what health to 380. I think we Two. called the end of the game three times now. <laughs> yeah. It's still going. This, this is one of the oh most insane god. ones I have ever seen. Oh my god, when, when this Such match started and I said this is finals level matchup, oh this is what I was god. talking about. This is what I was expecting. Both on 200, 200 or 300 health, and we see a sign that says Bienvenidos a Toulon. Whoever yeah. finds Toulon first <laughs> might Ever win this game. Can find it, let's get them oh straight gosh. in. Might be a scanning effort here. Maybe they in both Peru. find it. We might that get is possible. We might straight get in front of Bota. No time wasted. Finding Toulon. That's, that, it has to be coastal with this uh, agricultural valley. So mm -hmm. he's scanning the coast. Consus is in as well. Trabota yeah. is getting more of a vibe for the region, I think. Maybe that will help him in the end. Yeah, they just start searching. They're going to do their best to find that town name. If someone finds Dolon, then it's over. Yeah. Will they find it? It's literally up to the time 30 is running out. seconds left. This has to be a decider. I, we we cast or cursed it twice, <laughs> but this has to decide it. Unless they both find it. Unless they both find it. Unless they both find it. But five times damage. What will it be able to get in 60 total seconds with only 10 left? So Consus has it. some valleys that at least look nice to him. He definitely plonked in one that could fit with the angle here. So... Yeah, doesn't seem I like anyone's finding Toulon. Toulon is not getting, getting found, but maybe Consus is right. Yeah, wow. it is north wow. and Consus takes wow. the game. Well, Consus wow. takes it with the Such northern an intense yes. game. What wow. an intense way to end <laughs> <Crazy>. that match. <laughs> that set of three games. Wow. That it was a pleasure. That was a nail biter. Oh, 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 look at him! Look at him! The big sigh from Consus. He feels good about that. Oh wow! And that's, that that's sets an him up really nicely to win this group. Yeah. It's not. It's not done yet. Obviously, there's a lot of strong players that he yeah. still has to face. But beating yeah. Trebota, that, that's massive. That's that big. Look massive. at him. He's leaned back. Oh. He's relaxed. He's so happy with himself there. And 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 no fault to Trebota either. Like they yeah. both played so well. Great so, guesses from, from all around. Yeah. Really such a beautiful and close matchup. Just really showcasing the level of talent we have here today. Oh, honestly, true. that was a true display of skill. Yeah. That's, that, was, that was unreal. That was like... That'll go down as, as maybe one of the greats from the groups. I don't know what's been going on in the other, uh, <laughs> in the other stream, but that yeah. was phenomenal. On this stream, this has been the closest one for sure yeah. we've seen thus far, but hopefully we see some more very yeah. intense and close games. I'm sure we will. Later so on. exciting. Like, oh, <laughs> just what a pleasure. I'm excited to see how, the, how, they, how they fare in the rest of their matches and how, how the rest of the group goes, but yeah, that was phenomenal, truth, truthfully. And I think that's me gone. <laughs> oh, Lenly. Lenly, <laughs> we're for joining us. It was a pleasure Lenly. to cast, especially this game. Yeah, yeah, I right. would have loved to see this game, <laughs> and I did. I, I, yeah. I got to see it. A, be a beautiful so one to sit on, for sure. Amazing, Definitely. amazing. Like, those players are so, so, so good, and I can't wait for the finals competition. It's going to yeah. be crazy. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. I think for me as well, this was my last on the, uh, on the B stream, um, but if you want to see me over in the A, I'll be there later today. Definitely. Um, and yeah, uh, there is an A stream going on. You can definitely check out. They are currently having a, another game, Topotic versus Debre. Yeah. But uh, but for now, that that's it for me and Lenly. So thank you guys. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. I hope it. my German accent didn't bother you that much. Ah, <laughs> it's come not, on. It's uh, we love it. I love it. I love it as well. It's always beautiful, but lovely. Yeah. Peter? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you both for joining me. And, yeah, uh, of course. Thank you guys for having me. Carry it on. <laughs> we give it. We give it to you. 
best of luck with this uh, with this next match. I believe you're going to be joined by, by some players, some new players. Yeah, we'll see who, who joins me. Uh, I'll be I think uh, Chicago might be joining me I again. I think Chicago is coming back. Uh, I think we Radu lost and earlier. Giovanni are also up for a casting job. So okay. maybe so one of them I'm, is joining. I'm happy to meet anyone who... who any of the players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exciting. The Beautiful. Romanian or the Polish representative might be next. Yeah. yeah. All right. Incredible. So well, sweet. Okay. We'll see you. We'll see you, Peter. Okay. See see you later then. And uh, let's see. We have the next game ready to go. So, which I will be doing my best uh, to cast. <laughs> we have Macken versus Kodiak. As you can see, both are really, really, really good players. Let's let's start the game already, and then I can can tell you a little bit more about them. So, Macken is representing Sweden, uh, the home country of the tournament. So it must be a big pressure for him. And uh, yeah, Kodiak is from Germany, one of those really, really good German players. Uh, so what do we see here? Both players moving around. Um, so I think we have some uh, Thai language there, don't we? So uh, let's see what they see. We see some Thai poles as well, these um, square poles. You often see in Thailand. We see Macken zooming right in on the southern part, and Kodiak right there. So kind of the same same area b for both of them. So let's see. The time is running out very quickly. So we're about to see. Uh, about to see who is closer. But they they both seem to be in the same area. Yeah. Yeah. Kodiak slightly closer. Only 200 points of damage, but uh, a good start. Good start to start a duel. Uh, with yeah, so we can uh, maybe switch to the... Uh, well, yeah, we're not going to switch to uh, the, the, the screen, but we have uh, Giovanni and RC joining me here at the Caster's studio. How are you guys? Good, good. We're fine, yeah. Good. Uh, that's great. So let's let's get going to the next round, so you can maybe... We can talk about you guys later on uh, between the matches, but for now, let's uh, let's 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 see what do we have here. So, what do you guys think about this? It's like with the double white lines and those yellow bands. That's like a classic Malaysia thing. Mm -hmm. Looks yeah. like they might have a place in it. Yes, there. it's Johor province at least. Yep. All right. So yeah, the, we have these these. Uh, black stickers on the poles, which indicate mainland Malaysia. Uh, looks like they both are, again, it's a very similar area there. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Mac, I'm doing some damage back, admittedly very little, but must feel very nice to be less than 10 kilometers away. Great, uh, great round by him, by both of our players. All right, let's move on then. Yep. Good stuff by both of them. Not surprised because they're both uh, very good at moving players. Mm -hmm. um, I know they're both friends and they love to play moving together like oh. uh, in yes, tournaments. World so Cup uh, winners. Yes, yeah. Yeah, they were at World Cup winners together. So mm -hmm. definitely have a lot of experience in this format. Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? Uh, we have some Tunisia. Uh, so, yeah, we have some Tunisia here, right? Uh, with the follow car uh, and also black plates, you see, in Tunisia. That's another thing. Oh, wow, Mackin with another very close guess. Three kilometers away. Great to get facts there. Uh, it looks like Kodiak kind of hedged in between the other cities, wasn't really sure. But yeah, good guess by Mackin there in mm -hmm. the city. Very nice. Let's move on to the next one. This, this game seems to be going quite quickly. Players are moving around, but you can definitely see they have been, uh, they are very, very uh, skilled. Not too much damage done, very close cases by both of them. And yeah, you can see, uh, we talked about this fast movement uh, with the CG before, Chicago Geographer, where you can move very quickly. Um, it's like a relatively recently discovered thing where you can, you can select that arrow uh, on the screen, which allows you to move faster. So you can see, see how fast uh, Macam is moving right now, both of them. Yeah, it's a big improvement to the game, to the moving game. Definitely. Because <laughs> without it, it's often very clunky and it throws you back. Uh, and then it 
the experience might not be the best, unfortunately, because of Google Street View. Um, but yeah, both players seem to have found some signs. Let's see how they do. Uh, Cody are going with Belgium here. Which I think, yeah, definitely a good guess. Oh, let's see. Oh, very Western Belgium. Not as close as the previous rounds, but Makam is still slightly closer. I think they both saw French there, and so went in the French area, but it was like as far <laughs> as as possible, like within the French area, and it was just <laughs> quite a difficult round there. Yeah, no, so. no one guesses there without info. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we're heading to triple damage. Damage is increasing very rapidly. Oh, we have this car, uh, which I believe is the Qatar car, right? Yep, new Qatar coverage. Very nice to see. Uh, Qatar. Qatar recently got some new new update, right? Yep, uh, along with uh, Panama, which mm -hmm. also got Alcor is a place. Oh, yeah, Alcor is in the north. I yeah, I think so. How much uh, have players put into practicing Qatar? It's such a small country. I imagine probably not too yeah, much, right? Probably, probably not too much, just because um, it's kind of small. So uh, more more likely, people are trying to practice other countries. But, mm -hmm. but it's still cool to get it. Okay, yeah, both players very close. Very minuscule damage done there. So, not, not, nothing very, uh, yeah, probably won't change too much in the grand scheme of things. So let's move on to the next round, round number six. Both players still with most of their health points remaining intact. Yeah, but with big countries comes big damage. Possibly. Exactly. And mu big multipliers, big countries can lead to game ending in one round, as we've seen okay. today already before. We see a, a kilometer marker with Kuching on it, but it still was 130 kilometers away. Korea Park decided to risk and uh, guess early, but I don't think he ever saw yes. the sign. But it does pay off, actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I just get a bit closer? Oh. No, Lips actually, sli Macam. <laughs> Macam slightly closer the again. <laughs> little by little. lines are a little deceiving <laughs> there. <laughs> true, true. But yeah, very, very close games, uh, close matches between both of them. We're at round seven already. And yeah. Korea's gonna probably start risking a little more just because he is behind. He um, is. He has to risk it if he wants to. Yeah, uh, be an elite. urban round like this might be not what he wants to see because I think this might be Singapore. So <laughs> <laughs> probably not a lot of points here. I imagine so. I mean, if, if you're trailing, you want to see those big countries. So there's a chance yep. for you to come back. So, yeah, I imagine we won't see too big of a damage here either. And this if round. those rounds in small countries or easy rounds keep coming... And Macam's going Kuala Lumpur here. Oh. Mm. Is he right, though? Oh, I, th it I might think, actually yeah, I think it is. I think it I is, think it actually. Is, yeah. Well, I think it's, it's Malaysia. But is it Kuala And it is Kuala Lumpur. Oh, wow. It that is. was a Wow. <laughs> Massive damage there to Kodiak. I, I thought he might be eliminated, but not yet. Not yet. He's still hanging on. Still hanging he on, gets but three rounds. Must be frustrating, I imagine. Yeah. Macam dealing damage round after round. So let's see if Kodiak can can come back. With with only thousand life points remaining, he he has to hope for some some big countries like like Brazil or Russia. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, what does that sign say? Take it away, oh. Gio. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this sign that Mackin just saw was more important um, because this is just a small place, Jikuf. Mm -hmm. but the other could have said Lubachuf. Interesting. Oh, okay. Kodiak dealing some damage back, but that's certainly not enough if he wants to win this duel. Because we only have. Two rounds, two, two rounds remaining, uh, up to two rounds. It might end now, but uh, yeah, it goes up to ten rounds. And if no one has won by then, no one has eliminated by this then. This might be what he wants. It looks like we might be in Brazil here, so. Oh, this, this might, might be, be big. This might be big. We have Brazilian triangular poles. Let's see how good the players are at region guessing Brazil. It can, can get tricky at times, for sure. Macam is already in. Oh yeah, Macam has locked in the guess, applying pressure to Kodiak. 
Oh, with yeah, only five seconds remaining. Second phone code here for okay. Kodiak. Kodiak zooming in on. I think it was a similar area, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, Kodiak again doing some damage back, but it's certainly not enough. We're heading to the last round of, the, of this matchup. Now he needs. Of this game. A closer guess. He needs, he needs a close guess, and he needs to hope that Mackham does not get yes. a close guess. Because if Mackham make, Mac makes a good guess, he, he, he can't be eliminated, he can't lose. This might be what he wants, though, a super rural round like this. Ah, this, this certainly could be yeah. it. Somewhere in the US, but... but US. Yeah, Insta sending Texas. Maybe that's mm. the way to go here. Is this the famous Texas pavement or no? Perhaps. <laughs> Not really sure. Oh, okay, yeah. both players. Oh, and Mackham oh, uh, takes it. Okay, Mackham takes it. Wow, massive damage. So regardless of what Kodiak's life points might have been, Mackham would have won, so well done. What a game. Very close matchup, taking it all the way through all 10 rounds. Oh, Mackham seems relieved. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and definitely happy about winning the first game, because Kodiak is definitely a tough opponent to, to take on. So, uh, while well, we're waiting for the next uh, game to be set up, how are you guys feeling? <laughs> I'm Are you ready fine. for for your games coming yes, up soon? Yes, it's very exciting to be here. How, how, how does it feel to meet everyone that you talk to? That's <laughs> probably the best part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, super hyped. Um, glad I was able to meet like everyone. These are people I've known for like years. Um, really interesting, like just to be able to put a, a face name to a face, and yeah. Cool. You, you've played the game for a very long time, right? How, how many years has it been? Um, since 2018. I think, I don't know, maybe you've played for longer. No, no, I joined in 2020. Okay. okay. So okay. kind of the same time as I did, basically. Yes, yes. Nice. Yes. So, yeah, so you're one of the OGs, as they yeah. say. <laughs> I guess so, at this point, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. So h how does it feel to see the game coming such a long way uh, from, from its beginnings? It's, it's incredible because like now with like all the resources that you have, um, I feel like we were talking about this like uh, two years ago, like how much resources there were back then. And now it's just like multiplied even more. It's just like keeps increasing, increasing. It's insane. Like people who want to get into the game now are just able to get into it and like immediately become like top level. Like, it's, wow. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of resources all available. I remember back when I started, there weren't as many, but the players have gotten so better and then sharing what they know. Yes, uh, the knowledge increased definitely. insanely. Yeah, and we are ready to go to the next the next game, which will be no moving uh, between Mackham and Kodiak. So Mackham, as we just saw, leading 1-0, uh, but uh, let's see. So this time players will not be able to move around. They can only look around and see what they uh, what they can notice from the starting location. So let's see what they have here. We're in Australia. We had at least one yellow plate, which indicates New South Wales. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like uh, Macken is swimming right in a New South Wales and Kodiak as well. Both noticing that plate. Oh, and they lock in already, and then, yeah. Both similar hedges, not far from Sydney, mm. not surprised. And Mackham continues be, to be slightly closer again. Uh, but it must be tough of, tough of, for Kodiak, uh, Kodiak's mental game. Because to see Mackham yes, there's being closer and closer. On the line for Kodiak, because Definitely. he has, he to, has win this. to win to have a chance to get to the knockout stages. Exactly, he has to win this. So everything is, is on the line here on this no moving game. If if he loses it, then Mackham takes takes the duel and then gets the win. Okay. It's like they spotted phone codes here. Yes. Mm. So they're both going the same area. Okay, Cody, let's go. Kodiak that's that's what Cody had needed. Better. Let's go. Doing some damage back. Currently slightly, but still in the lead, which is which is definitely good. Good to see for Kodiak, but still very, very close and very intense. Oh, and this is looks like a very rural round here. And we can see no signs in sight, just a rural road with some trees, with some birch trees. What do you guess here, RC? Looks like maybe Finland, and they seem to agree. Yeah, they also good. You do see a lot of birch trees in Finland yeah. and, and yeah, northern areas. 
Okay, they, they're going fast here, not waiting for the whole minute to end. Okay, Kodiak doing some damage back still. The multipliers are starting up and... Yeah, yeah. exactly, with this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this format, mul multiplayer starting right at round two. Uh, it's definitely making things very intense right from the get-go. We see, we see some uh, Canadian signs. I thought, I think we saw, right? Yeah, we have some Pacific feel to it. I'd say. Yeah, trees definitely look like they are Pacific. So most likely, we're looking at British Columbia here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably more towards southern side, I imagine, in British Columbia. Then. Could this be Victoria Island or not? It's too flat for that. Possibly, I'm not really sure here. Mm. Seems like they are both are in BC, right? From what I can see. So probably... Mekin goes for the oh, risky yeah, guess. Could, he's considering see, it. Yeah, we can he's see some big it. points here. Oh, I think he's going for it. Kind of paid off. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. He's still closer. Let's go. Doing some big damage back. Again, going back and forth. Both very, very even matchup. Very intense between the players. So, yeah, we're about to move to round five now. Let's go another rural one. Looking like Russia. Yeah. Could be. I don't know how good they are at Russia, but it could be big points. No, we do have the Russian Russian signpost with the black bottom. But yeah, Russia for what me is What super color is this car? Was this red? Yeah, Penza? it was red car, which makes sense for oh, Penza. Okay. Kazan also has it. Or Both uh, very similar guesses. They had the same thought here. Yep. It, does that part have a red red car? Yep. Uh -huh. uh, Penza and Kazan especially have a lot of it. Um, other ones nearby also have a little bit, mm -hmm. but not as much. Okay. So yeah, knowing your, your car metas definitely pays off. And we're in. Okay, we have some hol holy poles, Poland again, since they don't go all the way to the bottom. Where would you guess, Gianni? Just where well, they are guessing. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised Mekin goes for the northern half. Pays off. Oh, oh well. it was. Very northeast. Yeah, Poland is famously difficult region, guess, right? So yes. I've heard. <laughs> It's a little comforting when not even the Polish player <laughs> can, can reach against <laughs> Poland. <laughs> All right, quadruple damage now. Things are getting very serious here. Any mistake might be decisive. Oh, we have some a big Danish flag right in our faces there. So I'm sure both both of the players will get the country right at least. Interesting round. Hmm. <laughs> Still, Denmark can definitely lead to so some damage. So, Kodiak goes for the water hedge. Ah. The water hedge. Wow. Oh, wow. Those. Damn. He what must have recognized. Yeah, maybe recognize the city name or something. We did have some signs there. Very well done. Very nice. impressive. Wow. Indeed. Very good job. Okay, we have next round. I wonder if this will take all ten rounds or not. Probably. Is this 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 not. might be the end. <laughs> this one is With interesting. Like I this. think it's Kamchatka. Kodiak seems to agree. Okay. Let's see if Makam is able to get it because this could be the the decisive round. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah Russia is so puts big. pressure on. No, not yet. He's oh. going for the. And Makam goes Kamchatka as well. It? Okay. So. Uh -huh. If they both keep going the same areas again, Kodiak is at a disadvantage. Still, Kamcha Kamchatka yeah. is not small. It could. Oh, let's see. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kodiak is closer. Oh, that decently is closer. Very, very good Ooh. damage. Okay. Back in the lead now. Okay, yeah. He's back in the lead. Very good guess by Kodiak. So it's such a rural round. Great job. Okay, uh, round number nine. I think he's getting very, very close. Now Mackham is at disadvantage, trailing behind. We have some language there. Up here. Mm. What is thought? Mm, what language is this? I can't really see from here. Well, I can but tell. I can't quite read the phone code yeah. from here. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of Poland. Yep. I think Gio Giovanni came here and we keep getting Poland now. I <laughs> Just the aura. 
Maybe it's the scarf. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Insane work oh, from Mackham. Wow, Mackham is. Oh, that's crazy. That's now two times where he's gone to Rice City yes. on like rounds where it, I I don't think I could get the city name. <laughs> I didn't read a city name either. Yeah, he's but doing very so good. Well. Very Ice. impressive stuff. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. And again, Kodiak, round 10 again, trailing behind. Round so 10. Very wow. similar to the first game that we had. This is the so deciding it's round. Yeah, it's again, the deciding round. If, if Mackham finds the location like he has already done some previous rounds, then Kodiak cannot win, poss possibly. But um, we have yeah. Turkey. Hard country. Turkey is yeah. big enough for, for Kodiak to win, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So... Now we can we can see some comebacks for sure. Let's see, Kodiak definitely. Oh, Mackham, Mackham applying some pressure. Kodiak not too far away, Ooh. and it's Kodiak is closer, but, but I don't think. Yeah, it's not close enough. Not close wow. enough. Wow, what an end to this duel. It was very very close both of the games. Yeah, but and it's yeah. two zero. For zero. Mackham, who gets his first win. 2-0. He definitely looks happy and relieved after such close games. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately uh, for Kodiak, they're missing out on the uh, next round, I think, with yes. that loss. Both with one win now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Kodiak. But that's just how strong this group is. Very strong. Yeah. Like all, all players that are here deserve their place and... Uh, We've seen, we have already seen some great matchups, and I'm sure we'll see some some more coming up uh, in, in this group and the, the other ones. And uh, so, how are? Oh, here we go. Here we see Kodiak. That's uh, fair play. That doesn't seem very happy about his uh, guesses, but yeah, he did he did his best, I'm sure. So I'm sure they'll talk about it plenty later. <laughs> oh, sure, <laughs> surely. <laughs> Analyze the locations yeah. and, and all that stuff, what they missed. Uh, but yeah, how, how did you guys prepare for this tournament? How much did you practice and get ready? I, I definitely dedicated like a decent amount of time um, because over the summer I was like really hoping I would make it through to the World Cup. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, over the summer I had a bit more time and was able to put some some more time into learning, especially countries that I wasn't like really good at. Um, and yeah, um, feeling a lot more confident now than I was at the beginning of the summer, especially. Mm -hmm. um, I did start like uh, classes again uh, for the past like two months, but mm -hmm. still feeling all right though. Okay. How about you, Gio? I couldn't have practiced that much to meet the level of these guys like RC and others uh, because I was on a long break from GeoGuessr mm -hmm. and got on and off but was very happy and surprised by the invi invitation and so I dedicated some time to it mm -hmm. to get to know the things that I missed in during this time and of course the format is I'm more of a moving player mm -hmm. so uh, the format is not the best, not ideal for me. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, we see it here and there. There can be upsets. Um, oh, definitely. That's maybe what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's have a look at the group results right now. Yes, uh, this we, we have them on our final. screen. Uh, we have like them. It. We have them. Uh, yeah. So we're looking at uh, Group B right now. Yes. Uh, so we have Consus with five wins, Traboda with four, Gelotris with three. And all Mackham, Kodiak, and Quark Sauce all with one, uh, one win. Yeah. So and it seems three. like even if Kodiak had won, I don't think he would have made it through. I right. don't think so. At least yeah. Gilo yeah, so. just won his game. Yeah. I don't know against who. It was probably Quark Sauce. Yeah. I think so. Yes. But still, like players have that incentive for each win in the group stage, they get two hundred dollars as a prize. So that's that uh, additional motivation to to fight every single game, even yes. if you know you can't maybe make it to knockouts. You still want to go for it. And we can see uh, at least everyone got one win. Exactly. In this group, in exactly. First group as well. So, so that's, that's, that's great to see, yeah, that yeah. at least everyone got something, they, they won. So they kind of, in a way, proved themselves. Yeah. Gino yeah. getting that third place by a good margin. That's very impressive yeah. in this group. Yeah, I don't think people were really talking about Gilotris before this, but um, very good player as well and yeah. really 
really happy to see him go through there. Yeah. All right, so uh, I think we're ready to go for a break, y'all. So uh, see you all soon for some more GeoGuessr games.
Hello everyone, welcome back to the B stream of the GeoGuessr World Cup. I am excited to be back here with Adair Ziggy and Remy joining me here. Hi. Uh, Hello. <laughs> so why don't you introduce yourselves to the audience? Yeah, I'm Der Ziggy and I played in the last World Cup, but <laughs> this year it wasn't enough. But uh, I just got randomly asked to cast here, so I'm pretty happy to be here. Great to have you. And Remy? And yeah, I'm uh, Remy, and uh, I also participated in the last year's World Cup and uh, didn't uh, go that <laughs> far, but yeah. And uh, I'm here today uh, as a staff member and uh, also because uh, I took part in uh, the, um, the making of the world map that is currently used in the World Cup. Yeah, it is a custom-made map just for this event and it will be public afterwards as well after the World Cup to play on GeoGuessr website, so anyone will be able to uh, try their own skills, see how they might have done in, in on this map. Uh, but tell us a little bit about the map making process. Uh, how, how did it go and, and everything? Yeah, uh, basically uh, GeoGuessr uh, approached us like uh, in June, so that's now four months ago. And they were willing to do a world map that was handpicked because the maps of reference of the community, like a community world, there were a lot of mappers that participated in the World Cup, so that could have been seen unfair. So uh, we uh, we went through these like uh, tremendous process of like handpicking uh, 108,000 points uh, manually during these four rounds. We've done that. Uh, we were a team of 15 basically, and we basically uh, handpicked uh, I don't know uh, three to four thousand location each. Uh, we made sure to like uh, have a good repartition of the locations. Uh, to include all uh, street viewed countries uh, and uh, to uh, balance between urban rounds and uh, rural rounds as well as uh, showing the most beautiful NMPZ frames as possible or the most interesting in the locations we've put. Um, and yeah, oh, what to say else? Uh, <laughs> I guess that was a lot of work during the summer. But yeah. yeah, thanks to the dedication of the team, we managed to make it on time like uh, last week, <laughs> basically. I, I can imagine, yeah, it takes a lot of effort to handpick such a large and different uh, diverse type of map. And uh, what were your considerations? You had to think about like moving games and non-moving games as well in NMPZ. Yes, that's a really interesting point because uh, the difference is uh, we uh, knew that the moving games were going to be shorter, but we didn't know that it was going to be one minute only. So mm. we made sure to have like some kind of information. Could it be like uh, famous landscape things, car meters, anything that could uh, enable people to 5K around in uh, around two minutes, I would say, mm. uh, at the initially. Uh, so yeah, when I say information, it could be like some random minuscule village <laughs> in, a, in a remote New Zealand or anything. That comes in info as information. Players just need to like uh, locate their general area and then using this kind of information, they could possibly 5K. Mm -hmm. So yeah, map is still quite hard, but at least it's, uh, I guess, less remote or like stuck in uh, infinite uh, infinite uh, lines going straight away. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, what, from what we've seen, players have said it's uh, quite a difficult map. How would you describe it? Is it more, diffi like diffi more difficult than like community world, let's say? Or I wouldn't say, at least in moving part, I wouldn't say it, uh, it's harder than community world. It's maybe a bit easier due to mm -hmm. the proximity to the information. Uh, but for the no, more for the NMPZ rounds, I think it's really harder mm -hmm. because we made sure to include like sometimes hide the car meter or like uh, include really interesting things that are different from the, I don't know, uh, AI generated things. Like uh, sometimes the panning is a little bit of the, word, uh, of the road to like show some kind of architecture, some kind of mountain range, etc. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, as it is quite unusual as a GeoGuessr player myself, I found it really harder to like get used to really watch all the things, even even uh, at the extreme like uh, sides of the of the of the screen. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, like I, I imagine map making. I've done some, a little bit of map making, but it's such a difficult and, and it's it's a whole separate skill set to have. Basically, uh, how long have you been making maps yourself? Uh, myself, I've been making maps for, I think, like uh, a year for uh, the French uh, League server, which is a French competitive server that uh, uses a lot of M-picked challenges to, uh, for players to compete on. Uh, but uh, some mappers of the team are way more experienced than I am. Some people are like here for three to four years doing this. 
And uh, yeah, the, it's a pleasure to have been in a team that experienced. And uh, I hope the result will uh, like, uh, it will be a pleasure for as much uh, players as viewers. Yeah, I think from what we've seen, we've gotten some very good feedback about the map and, and uh, we're great, very grateful for your, the, all the work put into it because I know it's been a lot. Uh, I think we uh, can have a look at the group stages right uh, groups right now, right? We'll see what uh, are we gonna, what players are we gonna see? So we are gonna be watching the group D right now uh, with Giovanni Len. Oh, sorry, group C. My bad, my bad. We're gonna watch group C uh, with Radu, uh, CG, Wolf Trekker, Ananana, Mate Potato, and Jupa. And as you might remember, we had uh, some of them already here uh, as casters for the Group B. Uh, so what do you guys think, uh, Ziggy? Maybe you are the one with the most uh, knowledge about these players. What do you think about them? Uh, I mean, this is a very interesting group, but I feel like there's two very high favorites in this group, which are Jupa and RC. Mm -hmm. Jupa has just like an insane knowledge about the game. He knows the most random stuff which some players don't like, like looking at the copyright, something like that. But there's also RC, which is more of a like a, okay, I feel like I've seen this before, like in a different setting maybe, but then he kind of gets the vibe right. Yeah. And I kind of like that play style more <laughs> myself. Yeah. We uh, but we have a f the other play is also interesting. And I feel like with this like um, game mode, with the multipliers ranking up so fast, we can see uh, upsets anyway. So oh, definitely, we've seen some already uh, in, in the previous games, and, and I hope we have some uh, close and interesting games to follow. Uh, we are ready to go in our first game. We have Radu versus Wolf Trekker. So uh, let's get going. Let's start with the first game. It's going to be a moving game. So yep. yeah, as as we just heard, the, the moving locations usually have some some sort of a, uh, clues nearby that the players can use to, to try to figure out where they are exactly. Yeah, they can use the plates on the poles, which are like numbered in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. They go from A in the very like to uh, north to a Z all the way in the south. Mm -hmm. So they might be looking for that information. Oh, I imagine so. Yeah, in the moving games. The yes. Oh, yeah, you can see a uh, wolf tracker and both <laughs> Rodu as well. Both, <laughs> yeah, of exactly. them, both of them zooming right in on those pl plates, uh, which certainly can be helpful. And I imagine we'll see some some very close uh, close guesses, and also for viewers at home, these uh, these stripes on the poles that you see, the yellow and the black ones going all the way to the ground, is also a great clue to recognize Taiwan. Uh, in case you're wondering uh, which country it might be, if you see them going all the way to the ground, it's it's a good clue you might be in Taiwan. So as you, as you can see, we both of our players are indeed in Taiwan. A wolf tracker seeing that that plate on the pole, very very close guess there. Uh, Radu a bit more north, uh, so taking a little bit of damage there. Uh, so we are ready to go to the next round. Here we go. Uh, damage increasing, starting to cre increase already. We have some double white lines here. Yeah, that's probably going to be Malay with the, especially with the black sticker on the pole. I think it's going to be mm. mainland Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And I think the numbers on it mean something, but the system is not very like mm. well known. Zigzag is somebody who knows it, for instance. Yeah, I think so he made a whole document about the, the, the those stickers, uh, those plates, the black plates, right? Yeah, but there might be more information on this. I feel like mm -hmm. some city at least a probably. province name or like a random town. Yeah, I imagine. How many do you know? How many provinces have peop uh, people studied? Malaysian provinces, or is it? Yeah, too much. Uh, Malaysian provinces are pretty widely known. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, I'm not sure if uh, he has read that, but I'm pretty sure he used uh, postal codes because mm. they are really like sorted in uh, in whole Malaysia. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a very close guess again by Wolf Trekker. Wolf Trekker really shining in these first uh, two rounds. With very close guesses, starting off the game strong. Uh, but okay, let's continue with the next round here. Let's see how it continues. Great start for, for Wolf Trekker, certainly. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. That was very good guesses, but he used the information he had. He had the, the plate numbers and now the postal code on the Malaysia round. So, good start. Oh, exactly. Here we can, could see some car meta here. Uh, the players looked at the car. If you see that car, it's a good clue about it being uh, somewhere in Guatemala. Uh, with these, these Google bar roof racks and uh, the side mirror is visible. 
-hmm. And it looks like uh, both of them are going near or in the capital. It was, yeah. Makes it was. made sense. Very built up city. Indeed, indeed. And Wolf Trigger again, slightly closer, slightly closer there. Uh, so, cheaping away Radu's uh, uh, life points there. So, let's hope Radu can, can keep, keep it cool. Haven't done any, uh, hasn't done any, any damage to Wolf Trigger just yet, but uh, as we've seen in the previous games, uh, it can change any at any second. One bad guess by your opponent could be detrimental to them. Yeah, I hope RC comes back from this because I feel like losing the, your first game in such a competition is uh, a big disadvantage. Yeah, especially if you if it's not a close one. You always, as 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 a viewer, I always want to, and Imogen as a player as well, you always want to have those close games because they're more interesting to watch and more kind of intense to to play as well. It always feels better afterwards if you win them, but it was a good battle. Oh, okay, so so Radu does have uh, uh, does some damage, so that's good. He admittedly, a little bit, but still, uh, psychologically, I think it's it's good to have some damage done to your opponent. So yeah, you can you can keep going. Okay, going on to the next game, uh, next match, triple damage. This looks interesting. Okay, yeah, we some somewhere in the mountains. Um, not, I wouldn't really know where to guess. Really. I think it's Italy with yeah, this I would have pole. guessed Italy, yes. And with the straight lines on the... Yeah, mm. and now oh we yeah. have information yeah. even. Yeah, with the, with the information we might see some, some very close guesses there. I think none of those are big place names, but maybe somebody can pull something out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have too much time. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Oh, okay, RC. Mm. Zooming in this to the central kind of Italy. I think it's just vibe guess to be honest, because they're mm -hmm. very very small town. And okay. Usually in Italy, it's very hard to find without like a road number or mm. a bigger town town that's close by. Okay. Yeah, lots of lots of small towns in Italy for sure. So hard to remember them all. And uh, kind of similar guesses in in between both of both of our players. Uh, both very very kind of close, right there. So let's see uh, when we're ready for the next round. But I think uh, thus far it has been a pretty close, close game. Uh, Wolf started with with some uh, some good rounds, but RC has, has done some damage back as well. So it's anyone's game at this point, really. Yeah, with these multipliers already at 3.5x, um, I wouldn't be <laughs> <laughs> want to be in their shoes right now, especially in a big country like. This is Arge, yes. I think it's Arge. Yeah, with the black dots on the plates. Yes. Oh, true, yeah. yeah. Uh, black so dot on the license plates. Yeah, that, that's the biggest giveaway for Argentina usually, if you see those plates. Uh, the black dot in the middle, uh, that's that's a giveaway for sure. I think with the mountains in the west, it should be somewhere in the northwestern corner, like Salta, mm. Catamarca. Yeah, where okay, RC yeah. guess? RC is guessing northwest, locking it in, so pressure on Wolf Tricker now. Where is he gonna guess? Okay, going a bit more south, it seems. Same area, but could be big points. It's a very big country. True, yeah. true, yeah. With these these high multipliers and big countries. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, that's what the RC needed here. Big Whoa. damage back to Wolf Tracker. Damn, right that's town. really impressive, yes. That's such a good guess. Maybe he lined up the mountains. The mountains had a, like an angle of like, like northwestish, which is pretty rare. Usually it's like straight north south so yeah maybe I, use that. I guess so they had to yeah because i don't think we saw any any city names or town names so probably just aligning the the mountains impressive really really good yeah oh. uh, so uh can we can we start the next game or not yet but oh okay okay we, we, we can't start just yet but we can have a look uh at uh the next location already. Um, so what do we have here? We have some yellow central lines. Oh, we have this little antenna here, which mm -hmm. is certainly helpful for the players. You get that small antenna in a couple of countries. Yes. I think with these signs it should be Ecuador, which kind of uses this like font on the signs. It's kind of hard to explain if you don't really know what yeah. the difference is, but for me it's just a classic Ecuador sign there. Yeah, definitely. Like th Sometimes there are some things that really difficult to explain you just yeah. gotta gotta play the game you get that feeling uh, about uh, signs and, and areas just 
vibes, as we call them. And there's also a tuk-tuk, which is, uh, I think, more South American rather than, like, maybe Mexico, which you con could yeah. confuse it with. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, we can see players zooming in right, right in on the signs, going with Ecuador. Well, it looks like Arsu might, RC might have recognized one of the one of the place names there. Yeah, yeah seems like Esmeraldas, it. right? Yeah, on the mm -hmm. on the west coast. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it seems so. Oh, Wolf, go blocking central for now, but uh, a few seconds remaining. It says Playa, which means beach, so yeah. I hope he goes to the coast. <sighs> he did not go coast. Oh no! But he went closer to it. So. He, he did plunk closer, so. Ah, uh, still quite a lot of damage there. Wolf taking some some hits there, with only 1,500 life points remaining here. All right, let's see what do we have next. Ooh, looks oh, looks another big country here. And the country RC is very good at, if it's US, the US, uh -huh. which I think oh, it is. Is is it one of his best uh, best countries? I think so. And uh -huh. with the 4.5 multipliers, I think it might be the game if they don't find info. He's zooming in already. He knows the plates. Damn. Oh yeah, like license plate. Wolfpack knows it too. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. So so yeah. Both players. Yeah. RC is get locked in already. Uh, the wolf seems to be in the same area. Yeah. yeah. Very very good. I'm guessing. Yeah. They recognize the plate. I imagine. They have learned their stuff. That's uh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Very small damage. We're getting to the round nine already. So so game is going by quite quickly. I would say. Here we go. The round number nine. Um, but yeah, let me remind you that we are playing up to 10 games, uh, 10, 10 rounds, so if after the 10 rounds no one has been eliminated, then the player with the highest uh, life points will win that, uh, that uh, game. But with the uh, high multipliers, it is likely that someone might get eliminated in these last two rounds. Mm -hmm. And we are, I think we are in Ecuador again, uh, long plates on the cars, mm -hmm. instead of like short plates in Mexico, for instance. Mm -hmm. And you also had a... I think red plate on a taxi, which is also mm. a good meta for Ecuador. Mm -hmm. And Wolf Track is already in, so... Yeah, Wolf Track. Oh, but it looks like RC is also going for the same town. Yeah, I both think. both saw the same uh, information about uh -huh. other chemists, I believe. Well, it was yes. the same town which was on the last <laughs> And round. I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> yes. like not a repeat, but like a kilometer away yes. from oh, the next Wow. Round. Oh, what a coincidence. That's we, crazy. We kind of were on the yellow road last <laughs> round, and, it, and the sign was pointing towards this town, so <laughs> yeah. I guess... <laughs> wow, what a, what a coincidence. Might be the reason why they found it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good point. But now, everything doesn't matter because we have Indo on our hands and oh. everything can happen. Oh, Maybe we'll true. find a couple of Maybe they know the polls. We'll see. Yeah, we'll there are some signs around, so let's see if they can find some useful information on them. Uh, uh, helpful. Only have signs there. There's place names. Yeah. So maybe something they, they recognize or remember. Yeah, these roofs can be helpful in Indonesia if you sometimes um, in a regional. I know in Java you get more kind of tiled roofs than in other, uh, uh, on other islands. Yeah, I think uh, Wolfrek is so Sosak and looked at Solok. I hope mm. he won't get <laughs> baited oh. by this. <laughs> but RC zoomed in there as well. They, they oh. both zoomed into Sumatra. So. Maybe it's uh -huh. an uh, alternative name of the town? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know about maybe. it. Oh, yeah, looks like this is tricky for both of them. No one is, everyone's like spending as much time as they can. Time is about to run out. So we're going to see. Who's going to win round one? Who is going to win? Oh, it was Kalimantan. Oh, and it's... And RC's going to oh. take it. RC takes it. RC takes it. Good job, RC. Oh, it was a really was close so game. close, yes. The it was most very of, close. Most of the rounds, the players like plonked in the same area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, RC, yeah. Seems, seems definitely happy about winning the first game. Definitely, uh, deservedly so. Because it was a close one. But it's not over yet. Uh, the next game will be no moving uh, against Wolf Trekker. Very smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, def definitely a very experienced player. He, is, he, he was uh, casting, helping with the casting before. Uh, one of the... I imagine probably between the players, one of the longest, with the longest track record playing the game, very yeah. long, like Actually, seven years, I think he said. In his group, there might be like the players that have played the longest with him, Wolf Tracker, and CG. Yeah. So I feel like they've all played for four years at this point. Yeah, yeah. That definitely helps. 
<laughs> oh, for sure. The, the, lots of experience. But yeah, as, as we talked about before, especially in those last few years, the game has really ramped up with all the knowledge. Oh, yeah. Different countries, very specific country knowledge, like where in the country you might be. I know about Japan. It was relatively recently where people really started to, to figure out how to tell regions apart. Because I remember when I started playing, Japan was like this this place where okay if you know the if you see the cabbages okay it's north but other than that just guess somewhere yep. but no, but now like people are finding all these tiny clues that you have to remember and it of course is is another thing to to remember you know it's it's a memory game in a lot of ways how much how much all these tiny details can you really remember definitely is getting more and more like a memory game because <laughs> You can spend countless hours on every country, yeah. and some people actually spend countless cu countless hours on every country. So, and to keep all of this information in your head uh, is quite a task. Oh, definitely. And there really isn't a limit how much you can try to memorize, because there are cities, different provinces, and, and uh, municipalities, and, and all the pole tops and. You can learn e every road, basically. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for German, which is like the last country that were widely covered, uh, like there's even the land Christ, like you, you can wa you can learn like the 400, I believe it's like. Uh, I think 450 <laughs> something. And yeah. I know people who learned it in like two <laughs> yeah. days. And like, like, for instance, Blinky and Mackham, I know they learned them all. So oh I'm like, gosh. I was impressed because even me as a German <laughs> person, I didn't know every land class, So <laughs> And it's useful as it's written on uh, all the, like, uh, the signs when you enter or Mm -hmm. Quit the city. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so it's super helpful to know. Yeah, kind of yeah. like Kabupaten in Indonesia. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, if you see some German German matches, we might see some people recognizing those. Let's For sure. <laughs> so let's go with the no moving game now. Both the players are ready. So let's see. They cannot move. Oh. 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 What? <laughs> oh, some sound. Se setting issues. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I see turning on the sound. I haven't heard some the sound in forever. Because <laughs> I think every pro player just <laughs> turns it off when they play. Yeah, this and the animations and stuff, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we have we do have some information here. Um, it's hard to keep track because they're zooming so fast. Right, yeah, they they moving all around trying to take it all in as much as possible. Some Slavic language. I think it's uh. Slovenia. Mm. It might be with the mountains as well. It might be, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Was it Cro Croatia? Oh, could be Croatia as well. I think on the pedestrian crossing sense we had that little belt, uh, the white belt, which you see in Croatia. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't see the plates oh, properly. Oh, it seems so, yeah. Uh, but but I think yeah, those were. I think they were Croatian pedestrian signs. I understand it. This looks Slovenian enough, yes. I so understand yeah, why they are plonking at like the front, the the boundary. Let's see. And it was Krupina? No, he was no. closer yeah. in Slovenia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was Croatia, but uh, guessing Slovenia was closer. It was ver the very border. Which makes sense c why, why uh, both both were considered there. All right, let's move on to the next one. We can straight off the bat see a chevron. Yep. This black and yellow chevron. Black and yellow. Uh, uh, and. I think it should just be Portugal because oh. mm -hmm. it's the only really southern European country that uses these. Yeah. There are some others like Luxembourg or Norway that use them too, but this looks very like Mediterranean, so. Definitely, yeah. Very dry ish, so maybe more in the mm. east, I would say. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the, the architecture would fit as well for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and Wolf Tracker seems to like uh, look in the eastern parts. Yeah. No one is locked in yet, though, so people th they're still considering their options. Yeah, they just want to make sure not to like do a big blunder on this. Exactly, yeah. Well, I every guess matters, so you want to really make sure that you're confident with your guess. I wonder if they ever rethink, wait, does Portugal have these chevrons? Even though it's like the most basic knowledge that a pro knows. I wonder if yeah. that happens sometimes. Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, on, on stage I think uh, we would be surprised as a <laughs> as much as we can just forget everything we know. Yeah, with all the pressure, especially tomorrow with the audience right there, you can you probably can hear them reacting to your guesses. There'll be a lot of pressure. Let's see, double damage now, so the damage is ramping up. And another Argentina. No, it oh. is Bolivia. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah, Bolivian, I think those I signposts are shot. quite Bolivian. Yeah, the Bolivian signpost, very helpful. Yeah. And the white car. OK. 
Okay. That must be really eastern, like. Yeah, it should be east of uh, Santa Cruz. Yep. Mm -hmm. Somewhere on the road, RC is already scanning for the 5k, I like it. Not typical road lines for uh, for Bolivia. That's why I said R's at the beginning, because I was yeah. late. <laughs> <laughs> but then I saw the signpost and I was like, yeah, this is Bolivia. Yeah, this one would have confused me for sure. Because yeah, you usually don't see white and yellow road lines together in Bolivia. True. But it's crazy how specific a wooden signpost can be, because yeah. it's like the most basic material. But <laughs> it's just like, okay, this is Bolivia. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, all these, all these tiny details, and sometimes yeah, it might contradict uh, with what you might know. So, get a look at what's the, what's the best available guess you might might have, and both players guessing almost the same area. Yeah, very very close. And yeah, it was right there, right where you were thinking as well. All right, here we go. Well, again, both players almost no damage has been done at all. Players have been making that. Good guesses. Uh, can players read that? <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'm unsure. But it's going to be mainland Malay again. But yeah. without moving and looking for information, this can be kind of hard because it looks coastal, but everything in Malaysia is coastal. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's not really that much inland, so you can be wrong. Oh, definitely. And especially with this multiplier. Even if you you know, uh, they both know it's mainland, but if you guess the yeah. wrong side of mainland, it's still going to be quite a lot of damage. It might just be wise to just click the middle, because yeah. you might just be closer. Might be, yeah, might be safer. With, with the, uh, both players still having a lot of life points, might be a safe option. Uh, so we are about to run out of time. And it was it was quite coastal indeed. Neither of the players particularly close, but still. 1k. 1k, even though RC wasn't that close this time. But still closer than Wolf Trekker in this round. Alright, time to move on. Triple damage already. Okay. Short dash lines. Yeah. Swedish Medium. round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Home turf basically, for us at least. <laughs> um yeah, where are we? Where are we? Good question, great <laughs> question. That's the question <laughs> we want to answer now. I don't think it's Stockholm because uh, it doesn't seem familiar. Yes, well, I've only hang, hung, hung around in Stockholm most of the time, though, but it uh, certainly looks like Sweden. I would maybe go more south, southern, but... Uh, yeah, I agree as well, but I'm not that good at I'm not super <laughs> confident, <Yeah. though. laughs> Let's see what our contenders think. Okay, RC is going yeah. quite southern there. And Wolf Tracker also same area, so so I think we're we're onto something here. Yeah, maybe with like these fields of uh, really dry grass, we can see at the south, I believe. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's the like the clue they went on. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it was indeed southern and RC with a quite a close guess, less than 60 kilometers, uh, chipping away Wolf Tracker's life points there. All right, doing great. Uh, let's start the next round. This Ooh. one looks interesting. It does. We're in some sort of a bridge here. Well. Hmm. Ooh, that's what brutal. We, we can't see the car yeah. plate. Th this mm -hmm. one is going to be that's really... That's unfortunate. <laughs> it is handpicked. It is handpicked. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well, we have one clue, and that's the white car, which is could be helpful. Yeah. No, so the house is on stilt. I uh. don't want to make a call right now. But the pavement is very like the the concrete pavement and blocks is very Philippines or That's Thailand, true. and the car is parked on the right side of the road, yeah. so it would be more likely to be right drive. So I mm. think they will both go Philippines here. I wonder, can they see the steer wheel side, steering wheel side on the yeah, car? Yeah, the went more south, and he was right. And oh, actually, okay, yeah. nice. Oh, and that's, oh, that's huge. Damage, yes. That's huge. That was a huge risk, though. He could have just true. lost the game there, right? Yeah, true. Because, yeah, it always, uh, it's, it might seem safer to, to hedge, but uh, uh, when it's it's somewhere near one side. Oh, and this might be very bad for Wolf Tracker because <laughs> this is Ukraine and oh. RC learned Ukraine oh. very <laughs> extensively. Oh. I don't know what the reason why, because it kind of seems like a random country. Or maybe it's close to Romania, actually. Yeah, <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe because of that. But I think it's very good in it, so... But it, it's quite big as well. You can certainly get quite a lot of damage there. He's zooming in. 
Yeah, mm. Wolf Tracker also like zooms in a part where it's more hilly, which yeah. makes sense. I, I think it's uh, not that bad for him that we have a hilly round in Ukraine so. if Radu learned yeah. it. Yeah, yeah kind of Western Ukraine is usually a bit more hilly, so I wouldn't be surprised to see both players guessing somewhere there. Let's see. Yeah, Wolf Tracker has guessed, guessed already. Okay, RC is closer Very indeed. Close. It was Western Ukraine. Oh, Damage is going back and forth, both players with the around 2,000 points. I like this game. Yeah, <laughs> both scores are <laughs> Very really intense. close. Indeed, indeed. It's going, going uh, up round eight, number eight already. So the first game went uh, to all 10 rounds. Let's see if this one does as well. Or with a bit less information with, since it's not moving. And we have a check sign, I think. Mm. Also, the houses kind of remind me a bit of like Eastern Euro uh, Eastern German architecture, so yeah, yeah, they're close to Germany, and that's where RC is right now. So uh -huh. I don't feel that bad with baiting the call. And Wolf Tracker also going uh, west Czechia, close uh -huh. to Germany. So yeah, that yeah maybe. makes sense. Makes sense to me because those were those were Czech signs and the poles as well. So yeah, definitely makes sense where the players are guessing. Right across the yeah, border. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And, and okay, it's not like uh, again, uh, like taking a lot of risk by going really far west. Like yeah. it could have been like the end of the game for him. Yeah, Wolf Tracker seems really confident with his guesses, because because he's not really hedging. He's he thinks it's there. He goes there, and uh, thus far these these few rounds that we've seen here proves to be uh, yeah. worth it. So far it pays off, but the worst feeling is just. Risking something, but when you know in your back of your mind, yeah. maybe I should just click middle. That's <laughs> yeah. always the safer option. So <laughs> True. There's always like a double edged sword. Oh, maybe. definitely, definitely. It feels good risking and getting rewarded for it, but it feels bad when it's just in the middle <laughs> and you're like, okay. Oh, yeah. Sure. For sure. But this yeah. seems to be Western Kenya with no snorkel showing, mm -hmm. which is more of a Western thing. Yeah. And I feel like the landscape also fits, and both players are going west, so. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Oh, very, both very close distances. Almost no damage at all. And we go to the final round. <laughs> we are going again. to round 10 again. These players are really very, very intensely uh, matched against each other. Okay, let's go to the last round of uh, this game. Let's see if we will move on to the NMPZ uh, game or not. It is Nigeria, but it's not a very clear one. Yeah. I think it's southeast coastish, like Overi, something in that area. But mm -hmm. with all the new coverage getting released there, it's very hard. Especially because this is Gen 3, even. Yeah. But it got released ah. with new Gen 4 too. So this is oh, pretty new. Okay. Yeah. I mean, with the lo with this location, I mean, both players can win. Like, oh, obviously, definitely. country definitely. is big enough to. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. They seem to have different guesses, so if it is where I was thinking, I think Wolf Checker will even make a knockout here. If I'm wrong, Ooh. RC takes it. Yeah, it's anyone's game really at this point. Let's see. And, and you were right, yeah, it is closer it. to Wolf Tracker. And Wolf Tracker takes it. Huge, huge damage there, and he knocks out RC. So wow. we move on to the round three, then, huh? Uh, with the, Which will be NMPZ. Yeah, Wolf Tracker definitely looks very He's relieved, relieved and happy. He needs some drink there. after that to match up. My god. He's definitely happy about that game. What, what an intense finish. Both the first two games going uh, all the way through to the round 10. Uh, I can't imagine NMPZ going that far, but, but who knows with these, these two players. Yeah, d did you see one NMPZ game going all the way? Um, I don't think it did. Uh, maybe on A stream? I don't think it did on B stream. I heard from like a friend of mine that Gelotus vs Kodiak went all the way. Oh, did it? Yeah. But huh. they, they made the same mistakes, you know? That's uh. why <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. I might have missed that one. Uh, but yeah, so some very, very good ones. So yeah. uh, now while well, we're preparing for the uh, last game, uh, so uh, how was your experience uh, in the qualifiers? I know you, you did uh, participate there. Yeah, and I, I mean, I had a good run. It, I mean, I pretty much was a content machine because I was pretty much done when I had my last game against uh, Tilco yeah. again in uh, an MPZ and I lost 5k health on the first round. Oh, yeah, I, going, I remember, yeah. I think I went uh, Philippines on Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and I was down to like 1k health already. 
and then I went the wrong country twice again. But then the multiplier started, and I insta sent Yucatan because I was like, okay, this is free Yucatan, I'll just send because I was so demotivated. Yeah. And then he didn't get it, and so I got through out of the group at least. And then I played against your uh, fellow French uh, player, Bulgur. Oh, right. Where there was a lot of hope that he maybe be like the second representative behind Blinky. Yeah. But I don't know, I just had a very good game or good games against him, and I beat him, but then I played against Consus, <laughs> who went 4 5 0 in this group, by the way. Yeah. 3 0. I don't feel that bad after seeing his performance today. He, he is one of the favorites yeah, to take it <laughs> yeah. all, for sure. So, definitely a tough opponent. Uh, but uh, we are ready uh, for the NMPZ game between Radu and Wolf Tracker. So, let's get going. Uh, let's get going and let's see how these players do. So, uh, yeah, NMPZ means no moving, panning and zooming. These players cannot look around. They gotta base their guess from uh, on what they see. Uh, Right, uh, right from the get-go. Yeah, I thought it was low cam as well, but then I questioned myself. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks low, but, but the blur is too big. Feel, yeah, it doesn't should feel, yeah, doesn't feel, doesn't feel right for Switzerland. Or is it? It should be Switzerland. Oh, it is. Yeah, the blur is like too wide. There's ah, okay. Not a lot can do that up. Okay, yeah, you were right. Nice. Or is he somehow region guessing <laughs> <laughs> Switzerland? I don't know how, but <laughs> great guess by RC indeed. But yeah, b both players getting the country right. Well done. Oh, okay, Ooh. interesting. This is a bit of a skewed location. Indeed, yeah, interesting location and I for think it's New Zealand. Zealand which it, I it looks like the know. car might be driving on the left side, yeah. Like these fences and gravel road or like grainy road is very mm -hmm. common in New Zealand. Yeah, true. This is not an easy location because it's skewed to the side. Yeah. Hey, we can look around, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> on, on our there screen. I mean, like the the small hills in front of the uh, the camera, like look oh. really look like oh, oh. oh. and that's oh. quite interesting actually because that could be it. That, that could, could be, be it. Yeah, yes. the multiplier is there. If RC gets close enough, he's zooming out. Good. I hope. I hope he goes New Zealand. Oh, he's considering it. I think it might be end of the game. Like it's for anyone, like point one one point five multipliers oh, yeah. no. on it, this. It will be New Zealand though. So either RC wins or. Wolf took a change last second, but it seems like oh he already my. he can't oh. zoom out anymore. Oh my! That's brutal. Wow! Yeah, that's brutal. But and that oh that is yeah, yeah that, that is, is it that, that is it have, yes. I have to say though, usually locations are not meant to like be panned into like a driveway, so I kind of yeah. have to defend Wolf Track on that one because yeah. usually what we do in the pro community is always yeah. face the road or like slightly off. Yeah. But that one was kind of tricky. Yeah. But it also you need to know a landscape, so it's True. different. Yeah. I think it's kind of like uh, be, during mapping process we had some location like this and we fixed mo most of this because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes with automatic tools it detects like some road like here it might have detected like the little path yeah. towards the the house mm -hmm. and that's uh, one, probably one of the <laughs> probably one of the rounds uh, remaining from yeah. the map yes yeah that is true that is true these these locations yeah usually NMPZ you try to focus on the road but these locations happen and I think there were there were some clues here as, as you said yeah. you, d you did recognize it yourself it's, I mean it's but but yeah under pressure everyone makes mistakes so it's, it's I think on the it, natural. Being, it being a, like an unusual unusual round also is really difficult for a player in uh, like an environment like this oh for sure because I'm really sure like uh, he could have like look at something like the pole and may Usually you know it like a hundred percent, and here with the stress and an unusual location, mm -hmm. you know anything can happen. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. But he considered it for. He did. He did. Yeah, he, he was did hesitating it. until the last second. I saw him like zooming, de zooming, and stuff. Like, it must be really hard. Yeah, I it's always so frustrating. I can't believe the pressure there. You're like, <laughs> okay, these places are sixteen thousand kilometers away from each other, and you have to decide between the two, and you already know in your head if he gets it right, <laughs> the one point five x multiplier already. Yeah. Makes me lose. Yeah, so that's something the players need to adapt to because uh, the multiplayer start right from the second round. Uh, before in the qualifiers, they started at round five, I believe, right? So yes, uh, that's so just standard setting. Yeah, so so th this time they are here to to ramp it up the game and increase the damage from the get go. So I kind of like it though because there's no like dead rounds. Exactly. You can lose on every round. Exactly. That was one of the feedback we got for the uh, for the qualifiers is that the first four rounds most of the time didn't matter too much uh, in the most games. So yeah, we can see here that the first few rounds definitely matter. 
because uh, this multiplier was the, the reason why Wolf Tracker was eliminated. Well, lost lost yeah. this game. He still might come back with the other games. Uh, we don't know. Still four more games to go in the there, group, I believe. And there's no shame losing against RC. Exactly. <laughs> what a skillful Definitely opponent. Not. All, all good players, so we we are currently be preparing our next game. Um, so we're gonna start with that one. Do we know one. which matchup we're gonna watch? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out shortly uh, on our screen. Uh, but for now, we can maybe uh, talk about a bit more about map making. Maybe uh, what tools do you do you use for map making? Maybe share something about that. So yes, uh, for this map, uh, all mappers used uh, the really useful uh, application by Rihanna, mm -hmm. uh, mapmaking.app, which mm -hmm. is like a public website, everyone can use it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, like it embeds a lot of features that are really useful for mappers, like ta tagging locations, uh, a lot of options about like the, the data that is stored to be uploaded on GeoGuessr mm -hmm. and stuff. And that the uh, that was also we used a uh, map checker mm -hmm. to verify like uh, the I'm not going to go into details too yeah. much that but Google didn't uh, to verify that Google didn't delete uh, some locations yeah. all that uh, maybe some may have moved or went to photospheres nearby mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we also used uh, uh, the verify dot app I'm not sure about the name of that app actually um, the, Mapify uh, yeah. Probably, I, I've not used it that much myself, but it's a really useful, um, useful tool that is used to like uh, get information about the rounds. Generally speaking, like how much rounds are in the uh, I don't know urban mm. or panned to one north, south, anything, ah. anything that's located that's uh, related to uh, like pure information about the rounds. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So uh, yeah, I wasn't aware of the last one, but that definitely sounds useful for for ma making such a massive map like this. Um, as you can see on, see on the screens already, we are ready to go with the next map. We are having CG versus Jupa. Both uh, both were uh, joining before uh, to help me with the casting. So I'm excited to see how, th see how this matchup goes. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, who, who might be the favorite here? Any ideas? Kind of has to be Jupa, but you can't really count CG out, especially yeah. after his performance in the qualies. So. Yeah, it's such such a such an interesting like uh, story how he came here. Yeah, all the way from pre qualifiers. I just qualifiers. remember his message in the pre qualifier chat. Can I just give up after his uh, <laughs> blunder against Brad yeah. in the qualifier? And we were like, No, <laughs> come on, play on. You yeah. can do it. And he made it all the way here. So yeah, always gotta keep finding. It's never never over. Unt until it, uh, you're eliminated. Yeah. So okay, CG has made an early guess. Uh, so let's see uh, how how Jupa, where Jupa guesses. It has now. a city name, so. Oh, maybe CG, CG recognized it. Yeah. Yeah. He is from the US, after all. Oh, oh and he wow! Did. Great start. 5K, knowing them all. <laughs> basically. <laughs> maybe that, that's how he does his grocery shopping. Who knows? <laughs> but I mean, it's yeah. Not in Chicago, but. <laughs> True. Uh, but yeah, what a what a guess! What a guess! Uh, yeah, Chicago geographer is is definitely good at U.S. but also other countries. Uh, so so you can't count him out when it comes to other uh, countries around the world. Okay, so we head on to the next round. Here we go. So what do we see here? We have a mountainous area with some. Um, would this be? I uh, we have no antenna which would uh, definitely back up that. Oh, I'm always afraid to make guesses when streaming. <laughs> <laughs> now that's why I'm waiting a bit for like okay maybe. They oh yeah, those are oh, yeah, okay, yeah. signs, yeah. But where? Looks northern. Yeah. I would say. I think so. I, I would probably guess northern. But, but the bins are very helpful because oh, they yeah. say the name. Carla Dennis Erigli. Erigli oh, is that's a, town a pretty name. big big city, isn't it? Erigli, yeah. That is west somewhere, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm thinking like of the wrong town, but. Let's see. Uh, CG is seems to be scanning for it. Oh, and Jupa like actually blocked, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. Did he see? Uh, the he didn't something? submit it yet, but. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. He he might have found a city name or something. Yeah, I thought it was somewhere south even. Hmm. Maybe Let's I'm just see. the wrong town. Oh, it ah, was, it was north, yeah, it was north, okay. as we initially thought. 
Yeah, Jupe a little bit closer this time. So doing some damage back, going back and forth. All right. Yeah, but Turkey definitely one of the most like not studied countries because there is yeah. no good guide. So unless you're <laughs> a Lotus himself, you're probably not going to make like an insane guess every round. Yeah. I think the best you can use in Turkey is uh, phone co phone yeah. numbers. Yeah, but there's a lot to learn, and <laughs> that's yeah. really, really, really hard to go into. Yeah. Yeah, I think on the trash bins it says something, some information, but I think it's also 500 plus. Uh, oh. <laughs> so basically like Germany, but a very small place. Uh -huh. But if you do study them all, then that, that could be a good uh, good thing to, to remember for Turkey. It's okay, so we have p uh, players zooming in on the Philippines yeah, here. Yeah, it says Roxas, which is a city, I think. Uh -huh. Let's see. Oh, it's not there. It's not there. Both players, very similar distance, very small damage on this round. So yeah, kind of guess the same area there. All right, so let's move on to the next next moving round, round number four here. Uh, what, what do we have? We have some bollards here. Yeah, it's like Austria or uh, yeah, like Austria, Slovenia. Oh, we have a sign there. It says Maribor yeah. on GC screen. Yeah, it does. It does. Which is in Slovenia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Looking at the players. size of the mountains, probably we're West Slovenia, ish. Yeah, and there's even, uh, yeah, there were towns in other countries, so we are very close to a border. Yeah, seems. likely. Maybe Austria, Slovenia border, potentially. It says so... Well, and Zagreb as well. Oh. oh. That's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Wait, now yeah. I'm... Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we, I'm actually? a bit confused. Because Austria said Trieste. So oh, well, just oh, Ljubljana, actually. Just okay. Okay. Of course. <laughs> I didn't know Ljubljana has those mountains. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Oh, CG guessing near Maribor, we did have that on the sign. True. So yeah, going with that, but yeah. Uh, Jupo with a closer guess there. Ooh, and now uh, Norway. Definitely one of my favorite countries when it comes to moving, because the road numbering system is very good. It is. Yeah. I like it. Very beautiful country in general. Yep. I was there this summer, and also the summer before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the mountains and everything, very beautiful. And also quite easy to, to recognize in GeoGuessr, which is also nice <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for, the, for the game line, purposes. Uh, yellow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, of course, both players will get it. Uh, we'll see how well they do with the region guessing. Yeah, Jupa Insta guess, I think. Uh, yeah, he has guessed already. Oh, it was very south, yeah. Very south. And Jupa was closer, yeah. Yeah. Quite a decent damage there, 1800 points. So, currently, definitely in the lead here. Yeah, didn't even give CG the chance to look for like a road number or sign. Mm -hmm. So, and it paid off this time. Yeah. Sometimes it's a risk because 15 seconds is enough to find some piece of information. Yeah. Uh, I think C CG is the best uh, at moving, I think he said. It, it was his uh, preferred game mode. So, it says Rio de Janeiro. So uh -huh. So it might be somewhere in or near the city. But Jupa knows Brazil very well. Mm -hmm. He is probably best Brazil player. So uh -huh. him not seeing the sign though, so he could. Oh, oh he now he's seeing it. Oh, oh, he's very little time. Oh, oh he does guess. Uh, he, he does guess there. That's impressive. <laughs> Last second. Yeah, and, and he is closer. That could he have is. been terrible because if he missed that <laughs> yeah. round, uh, seeing the size of Brazil, yeah, uh, might have yeah. been the end for him. Both players very close, and there still was a, a, a couple of hundred of damage, even though both of them are very close. Yeah, yeah so we are moving on to, to round Germany. seven. Germany! Uh -huh. And <laughs> this is where knowing every Landkreis would be very helpful, because they are town entrance signs are everywhere. Yeah. So, so without seeing one, uh, where do you think this might be? Any, any clues you m might notice? I mean, it's a very dense forest, so definitely, and this type of forest is usually more northern because it's very flat too. So mm -hmm. I would for oh, there was a town sign. Oh. Did he move past it? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. What, what is it? Sedenik? Stadt Sedenik? Hmm. Uh. I don't know that. He looked at it briefly, but then moved on. Oh, it's hard to read the, the town names from here. Yeah. But it seems to be very north to me. Okay. Like either near Berlin or like very far north. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where CG is guessing. And the nick ending in the town name, if it was, then that's also 
East German thing mm. to have your town naming uh, ending in that. Okay. There's a lot of meta for that too. In, uh, uh, I think CG Planked on Zed and he can change. Oh, yes. Wow, it was okay, close. nice. Very close guess by CG. Jupa not too far off, but with his multiplier still taking 600 points of damage. Oh, wow. Very good guesses by both of the players. We are moving on to round eight. Ooh, this looks like. This is like good for seed. Wait, is it? Good for I, I think it is yeah. US. A cornfield, <laughs> I believe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it does he look knows like US. the corn, though. That's the difference. <laughs> Uh, so but yeah, definitely something that CG might perform well on. But, but uh, Jupa Insta zooming in. Uh -huh. He has a double signpost, which is a meta for Minnesota, I think, mm. and Michigan. Okay. I'm not too sure about that. Sorry, uh, JHK, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Jupa seems quite, quite confident, and uh, CG too. CG is also seems to be confident he about the area in Michigan. Mm -hmm. There is Jupa Plonk, uh, same, same, much yeah, the same, same area, spot, same area. Oh yeah, <laughs> almost the same, same exact area. Uh, but still, uh, taking s a little bit of damage off of Jupa there. But uh, we are running out of rounds here. Yeah. Only two rounds remaining. So CG has to do some more damage if he wants to take the uh, lead in this matchup. Let's go. Let's get going with the round number nine. A bit of South America action again. Indeed. What kind of plates do we have there? Yeah, plates is always a good tell in South America. I think we have yellow ones, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's. Oh, a and mix. we have the city there, I think. In on CG. And CG sent. That could yeah. be very good for him. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if Jupa found that city name there. Yeah, it but looks was like. Was it just Bogota? Was it, did it say? I couldn't read it from here. It might have said just Bogota. Uh, Tunja, yeah. Okay. Okay. Tundra, okay. Yeah, both of them found it very close. So, so it's all, all again round 10. <laughs> We're getting some Last intense chance. games. Last now, chance now for CG, never. yeah. CG has to make a close guess and hope that Jupa doesn't... Uh, doesn't, yeah, doesn't make a very close one. Let's see. So... Ooh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, this will not change it. It's just Jerba with uh, no follow car. I think that won't change the issue of the map, of the yeah, match. Yeah, yeah yes. both of them sending it right away. Well. Okay, and the first uh, first game uh, going to Jupa. Yeah. But it's not all over yet. We will have the uh, mo uh, no moving and NMP and potentially an NMPZ game. He doesn't Jupa. seem phased. <laughs> he he yeah. seem phased. looks very calm, very focused. And, and ready to keep going. I wonder if they show us uh, CG as well. It might be hard for us. CG as uh, oh, here if he, he was feeling more confident <laughs> on moving. Oh. There he is. <laughs> there, he is. <laughs> there he is. Uh, hopefully mentally ready for the next game because it's not all over yet. He can play a bad game though. He it wasn't bad right at all, yeah. It was a cl very close game. Very close Even game. Even the Germany guess, very impressive. Even yeah, that was a very I close. didn't know the town name, to, <laughs> to, be, to be completely honest. So yeah, it's, it's anyone's game. Jupa is in the lead right now, so it's an advantage to him. But cannot discount CG at all. Yeah, well, the players are getting ready uh, for the next game, which should, should start soon. Um, so... Yeah, why don't you tell us about some, some maybe other some uh, recent metas, recent coverage that has been added to, to the world? Like I know Panama recently yeah. was added. Yeah, we've uh, the last update of coverage we've uh, actually added in the map is the whole Panama coverage, mm -hmm. uh, which we haven't found the location yet. Yeah, I'm not we have sure. We not on the stream. We haven't had a Panama yeah. location yet. And uh, the another thing is like the rural Qatar. Qatar coverage. We, we did country. have some Qatar. We, yeah. we did have some Qatar, from what I know. And uh, mainly some new roads here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really remember where they were, but yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's exciting that uh, the game keeps getting new coverage, which uh, makes it uh, kind of fresh in a way all the time. There's always something new to learn. Yeah. I feel like this year they definitely delivered. Maybe I'm just biased because of <laughs> Germany getting added finally. 
but it's always exciting when you get new coverage. Like Germany, as you said, Germany, and, and Panama, Panama, new countries yeah. completely. And a new island in Indonesia, but I don't think you added it. No, we choose deliberately. deliberately Oh, come on. <laughs> Deliberately yeah. not to include it. Yeah. Because it was not uh, mature enough when it mm. uh, when it came out. Oh, was yeah. it and yeah. released just, just a few days ago? Yeah, I mean, l like a week, maybe. Oh. Yeah, maybe week. not even a week. And the oh, blue okay. lines didn't connect yet, so... Yes, oh, okay, and uh, yeah. a risk with that is, is that if uh, Google... Sometimes they just remove some things, mm. they just upload it. So if okay. we put, it's just... Um, Another risk to have a broken locations on the day of the event. Oh so yeah, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense not to include them that yet then, but uh, hopefully, hopefully for future tournaments, uh, they, yeah. they are there as well. Yeah. So are we ready to go? I think we are ready to go for the next game, CG versus Jupa. And if I see this loading screen as CG, I would uh, CG. So yeah, I did, <laughs> I did see CG. <laughs> if I see this loading screen, knowing it's Russia against Jupa. I'd be not happy. <laughs> <laughs> so Jupa is very good at Russia. Yes, every big country basically. Okay. Which is very helpful in this oh, game. Certainly, yeah. So the big countries are is where the big points usually are are taken. So he's looking at the antenna very closely because it can be a very good tell. And I'm zooming, zooming right in, in yeah. So he's still looking around for more clues. I I don't like this round. Because to me, even this could be like Eastern Russia, maybe like Novosibirsk, yeah. yeah. and <laughs> Jupa's just sure it's there. So yeah, I would have no idea where yeah. I guess. <laughs> I would initially agree with you, but if Jupa goes there, I'm, I mean, I have to. <laughs> just Jupa, I have yeah. to like be I, I reserved. My guess too, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he yes. changed his mind actually. Oh. So yes. Yeah, but it could be like one or two k damage almost. Hmm. Well, the multipliers aren't there yet, so that, that's, that's at least something. That's the good thing. Yeah. There's only one round you get without multiplier. <laughs> True. And he's lucky so it's good to have Russia, Russia there instead of like two times damage. Yeah. Uh, let's see who was closer. Oh my oh, wow. and of course. Oh my god. Jupiter was right, as expected. I said maybe 2k wow. damage, but 2.7k <laughs> damage. Oh my god. I mean, 30 guesser. kilometers in r rural Russia with like we no have, We have no information like, there. No. Absolutely crazy. What what a start! Let's hope CG can keep the morale high. And we have a big country again, which he <laughs> also knows, which is Indonesia. Oh, and we do have uh, multipliers this time. And we have information. And we do have okay. information here, so uh, could be good for for Jupa. Could be good Mupo for Mupo. CG. Maybe. That's Mupo also Mupo. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And Jupa knows it. Okay. And I would assume CG knows it too. Mm -hmm. Because it, it shows up very early and at the yeah. zoom level, and that's usually how mm. Geo players. Because you look at the map so often yeah. that if something, oh, he goes to Sumatra actually. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, maybe he thinks it's a, a North Sumatra pole. No, oh, maybe he did zoom yeah, in the pole. Yeah, I, I believe be he it. hasn't seen the information yet. Yeah, I don't think he zoomed into Moko Moko on the sign. But Jupa's not Jupa hasn't yet. sent it yet. Yeah, so so now he's looking at it. So I hope he reads it. Mm hmm. Well, they are running out of time, even though no one has sent it. Yeah. Less than 10 seconds remaining. That could be a lot of points again. <sighs> that could be the game. Wait, with one... Oh, it's multiplayer. It is multiplayer yes. now, yeah. It this could be the game. Be the game, yeah. Could be the game. We're about to find out. Ooh. Wait. Ooh. What is that? <laughs> okay. What is that? Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. What, what, what a guess by CG. Maybe it's, uh, Western Sulawesi, it's not like something looks like Muko Muko? Thinking <laughs> about it, <laughs> thinking about it, I'm not too sure now. So, wow. Okay, that, I'll just that was surprising. Check, check the phone for a bit. <laughs> that's a, that's the problem. Let being me check in. if I. Yeah, <laughs> do you get the player yet? Too wow, curious. I was like <laughs> so sure because he even zoomed into the map, and I thought, yeah. yeah, there it is. Yeah, if Jupa was right, CG would have been out, but but now it's completely opposite here. Wow. CG is in the lead. Oh, it's Mamuju at West West uh, Sulawesi. Okay. Oh wait, why did I think Moko Moko? <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We're not the ones playing. That's okay. I, exactly. I don't need to perform here. <laughs> yeah, but this this uh, this round, the players both basically the same area. Almost no damage done there. So yeah, it was Kenya with the the very recognizable Google car that everyone. One of the first things you learn as a GXO player is to recognize the Kenya car. I kind of like that they kept it for Gen 4 as well. Because <laughs> yeah. when we started playing, the first thing we learned was the Kenya snorkel. And yeah. So people were like. Do we will do we still have it in Gen 4? And it's like, yeah, mostly. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, okay, yeah. what do we see here? We have uh, yeah. Slovakia. Slovakia. Nitra. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nitra, big city in the west. Side. Yeah, yeah, quite yeah. a big one. 
And is that only 34 or 54 kilometers? Mm -hmm. And we have a road number. I think both will yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like or really close. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think CG has the 5k. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He has. Okay. Nice. Very fast. Wow. Jupa nice job. Away. Very nice job. Oh, 10 meters away. Doing some damage, a little bit, but but uh, confidence though. Yeah, exactly. After yeah, if he, one. if he loses uh, because like uh, five points, he might regret that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's certainly a, a good oh. good confidence boost to getting that uh, Indonesia guess and now a 5k. This might look French actually, my country. Yes. Uh huh. Where do you think it is in France? Uh, like the middle road lines, uh, general landscape, and when you turn around, like the. Um, the triangular uh, sign, mm -hmm. I believe is quite French with the little text under it saying like uh, yeah. basically mm -hmm. guild. And it's okay. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. And so it's also so lower. Noises. Wait, this. Oh, oh. Was like and it was southern France. It, it was that didn't look like it because nope. like it seemed like rainy, maybe really green compared to what southern France usually looks like. Yeah, yeah, some some. <laughs> Jupa is hanging by a thread there. Yeah. So, <laughs> must be very nervous. Um, he is in the lead in totals, but but if CG takes the lead win and the no moving game, then we'll move on to NMPZ. This could be the win for either player here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And Jupa looks at the things on top of the poles, like the. Uh, how do you call it? Insulators? I have no, I have no idea. I think. Um, yeah. Possibly. And because oh, possibly, yes. Yeah, insulators. Because there is a meta. If you have more than eight, I think it's only south on the peninsula. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wow. Such a specific meta. But yeah, GX players notice all these tiny details. I mean, you have to use what you have. Yeah, exactly. It's so funny how like, things like this appear years after people like played uh, this country and this game. Yeah. Always those little things that get discovered. Really Ooh, interesting. Okay, Tishi taking a little bit more damage, but Jupa is still there with only 290 points. But but. And we're advancing to like four times multiplier, which means like everything can be played at every round. Yeah, yeah. Jupa has to be closer because because if CG is even slightly closer, Jupa yeah. is pretty much Especially out. Especially here in Spain with. This pole top is only really found in uh, France and Spain, but it being this like dry and yeah. dead, yeah. it has to be Spain. And the vineyards maybe give a there are, there's quite a the few region. areas here yeah. that you can consider, like the northern part and the east, like the southeast of Madrid looks yeah. like this. And it's also really flat here, which gives also an info. Looks like both of them players zooming in on the same area. Yeah, they're around like Albacete, which I kind of like. Ooh. But I wouldn't be surprised if it like ends up being like Saragossa maybe, yeah. where Jupa is going right now, like kind of that area. Mm. But it's yeah, Jupa. NCG guess. Yeah. Well, all, all the pressure on Jupa now. Oh, oh and CG. That's such a huge guess. Yeah, here. that's huge it. Guess. Very close. What I guess by CG. CG takes it after that uh, the first game, which didn't look that. Maybe a bit shaky, but I'm now he's come back. He went from us telling him he lost because the town is there <laughs> to winning, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him so relieved right now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's not over yet. It's, uh, it's going to move on to the NMPZ, which is, is taking it a uh, uh, notch further. But correct me if I'm wrong. I think he only took damage on the Russia round, right? After um, that, he was closer in every round. I, I didn't think track it that, might actually. be the case, yeah. Yeah, I think so, because after the Russian round was the Indonesia where he, he started his big yeah. comeback. And then he 5 k the Slovakia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a matchup. But, but yeah, Jupa still seems very calm, collected, ready to go to the to the next game. Yeah, uh, I think NMPZ favors him even more than no move, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> so potentially. Because he's yeah. really fighting like an uphill battle here. Because the modes are getting increasingly hard for him, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but but I mean, I we, mean, we, we Cigia, did Cigia has its cards in like US, for example. Yes. Yeah. True. In true. PC, you could like just win the game on a single round if uh, there's enough multipliers. Yeah. yeah. Also, also true. And uh, like every tiny detail matters, and maybe there is a clue that. Uh, and he like also a plays a lot of chess, sir. Also. And in PC too. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we are about to be ready to go um, to the next game, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, but uh, 
Yeah, CG of course representing the Team USA as you can see has traveled a long way but 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 he has had a few days to get used to to Sweden and kind of get ready for the tournament. Uh, here we are back. Here we are. <laughs> here, here we are back in the studio, um, waiting for the next game to be started. But uh, oh, and I think it is ready to be started. One one. One yeah. to one. Yeah. Tiebreaker again. We've had like so close games. So Very far. close yes. games in the uh, in the group C thus far, indeed. I, I always like it when it goes to game three. Yeah. Because NPC <laughs> is always like. Ooh, that's very tough. Uh, yeah, what do we see here? Um, not too much. Um, what would this be? I can't really see that sign from all this distance. Yeah, I thought at the beginning it was like a yellow sign, which should be Chile. Yeah, it looks like CG is zooming. Going for they're it. They're both for Chile, yeah. Another country which has it too is the US, but with the yellow, uh, like the middle line being white, yeah. I would definitely go Chile here. No. Also, you can maybe use the direction of the sun, maybe. Yeah, the sun looks kind of north with the shadows mm -hmm. going south. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense as well. So, yeah, both of the players looking at Chile as an option. But Nobody's sending yet, though, because you don't want to make a mistake, really. You know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in, in an MPZ, you know your opponent is not going to find something you don't see. Uh, well, by looking around, so you can really focus on what you have. Okay, yeah, so basically very close guesses by both of them. Very minuscule damage. And here we go with the next round. NMPZ getting very rural locations thus far in this, this NMPZ I game. I like it. The less info, the better. <laughs> <laughs> definitely but interesting. It is definitely Sweden or Finland. With the I was thinking Finland, yeah, but vote. could be. Oh, okay, Jupa is thinking Sweden. OCG is thinking Finland. I'm not sure uh -huh. yet. These roads really exist in both countries. Yeah, it could be either, really. I think I would be sending Sweden because, like, uh, camera looks like Gen 3, actually. But, mm. like, there does not seem to have uh, a lot of yellow leaves like you used to mm. see in, in Finland. So, mm -hmm. I'm not too sure, but mm. yeah. I used both to see players this a lot. Yeah. Sending a different country. And it was, and it was Finland. It was Finland. CG, it was yes. Finland. Yeah, CG was right. Uh, well done. It's some big damage, yeah, with the multiplier kicking in. Uh, good start for CG. Let's see if uh, he can keep it up, keep it going. Um, we have a railway crossing here. We do. Which the signs are like country specific, but I, not a lot of people learn it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have a hungry guess. Oh, okay. Definitely like it. Hmm. Yeah, is there something maybe with the kind of ladder poles? Uh, those like are like from the from the uh, train. So <laughs> yeah, I think these yeah, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that already. Yeah. Oh, Mi might Hungary. be a thing actually. Maybe. I wonder. Yeah, like Hungary and Romania have ladder poles and Poland too, but mm -hmm. usually those like next to the train tracks, they are oh holy. For instance, in Germany as well. <laughs> so yeah, I, I've seen those holy railroad poles in quite a few yeah. countries. But we had like blocks on the uh, on the bottom of the poles there, mm -hmm. which is really telling for like Hungary oh. or Slovakia. Okay. And I think with the overall flat landscape, it should have been Hungary for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Here we have the next round. We have like just some meta here. The poles you see on the right side of the screen are specific to like the northern area, like Polokwane, uh -huh. when they only have like the fit, like the very thin extenders. Ah, oh, interesting. And that had also been discovered like maybe a year ago. And when I started playing, that was not a thing, but uh -huh. very helpful for sure. Yeah. Wait, for ho how many years have you been playing? Uh, I started last year. Oh, so very recently. Yeah. Then. I started last year in like February. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, and we see big damage done to CG. Yeah. So Jupa closer. Yeah, maybe knowing those poles that you were talking about. Yeah. The poles. The learn poles. your poles. Yeah, learn your poles exactly. We have the next round here. Going on, we see a little bit of the plate. Is that the, the, the is that new new style of like South American plates? What is this? Um, what is this? I thought it's Nigeria because the follow car. Oh, it looks like the white car is maybe. our follow car, and they also use tuk tuks there. Ah, uh, yeah, they do use. Yeah, true, true. Nigeria would make sense. Yeah, both yeah, players yeah, there. Okay. I'm on the region guess here. I'm not sure. Maybe mm. a safe bet is going Lagos. It seems very green. That's so. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. This is hard. Mm -hmm. But they do have 30 seconds to find where this is. <laughs> True. Yeah, Nigeria is a big country and with, with three times damage, we might see some big, big 
uh, damage down here. Yeah, I kind of like the Ibadan guess from CG, but it could also be anywhere in the southeast, really. Yeah. Like Benin, Oberi, Port, Harcourt, anything there. Yeah. Just hard. Yeah, it is. Well, Jupa has guessed, so all the pressure on CG. And they're both in Benin right now. Yeah. Huh. Funnily enough. <laughs> it is kind of the middle of kind yeah, of the south. That's true. I mean, it makes sense for hedging. And, and it was ah, I said if Tagus CG might would have trust. Guess, but if CG would have trusted his initial guess, he would have done way more damage it, it here. It was very green, though. It was, yeah. I mean, Benin City makes a lot of sense to guess there. Yeah. Whoop. Here we go. Around, uh, which one was this? Around six, huh? Okay, we're under a bridge. Under a bridge, and... Uh, what, what I thought it was Russia, Southern Russia, I yeah. I think so, yeah. The camera seems a bit grainy, is it? What does that mean? Uh, I mean, like... The, the blur looks weird, but yes. it should still be Russia. Does that mean particular area, the, if you get a grainy when he camera? Goes to it could actually be the Donetsk hill, because there is a very distinct hill in the Donetsk coverage, and mm -hmm. people know it because Donetsk is the only place in the Ukraine that has a black car, so mm. you kind of have to know ah. that to differentiate it. And Drupa goes there, which is uh -huh. might be like the 5k. And yeah. Wow. He that's knew the Donetsk so hill. And that's and it? That's game. That is the game. I thought Russia too at first. I can't lie. But yeah. when he sent there, I'd be like, this hill. <laughs> this hill, the Donetsk hill. Wow, yeah. what a game. Such a crazy, crazy matchup between Jupa and CG. But Jupa does take it in the end. Very close games. And uh, yeah, Jupa, Jupa just. Just, just, ah. Uh. And say CG. <laughs> it, was, it was very, very good games by both of the players. Yeah. CG might have lost this one, but he did a great, e had a great effort. Very good guesses by him. Uh, even some 5Ks there. Yeah. And, uh, and I think his performance was like solid enough, even though he lost. I feel yeah. like he feels like. Pretty good because I think Drupa isn't the person he has to win against yeah. to advance. Yeah. I think there's like players like Wolf Tracker or Ananana he really has to win against yeah. to have a chance to advance. So yeah, I think definitely. him having like a decent game against Drupa is already really good. Yeah, I think so too. So hopefully he gets the spirits high uh, when going going further. Yeah. And so yeah, I think we are ready to go for a quick break, but we will be back soon with okay. some more duels.
Hello and welcome back to GeoGuessr World Cup Stream B, where we follow the Group C currently playing each other uh, for the chance to get to tomorrow's uh, final day. So we are joined joined here by Alok, a great player as well. Hello, hello. Uh, he's uh, from the Group A, unfortunately being eliminated, but uh, still had some great games. How was your experience? Well, it was great. I mean, at start I couldn't just believe that. I did uh, two out of two games, but later, I don't know, maybe I got a bit relaxed or it, it just went a bit downhill. But I mean, I'm still happy mm -hmm. to have made it this far and I, I did some good things as well here in the World Cup and yeah. Oh, that's great yeah. to hear that you had an overall great experience and I imagine meeting everyone in person yeah, also a great experience. Yeah, meeting everyone and coming here to Stockholm and it's just amazing. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, great experience. And uh, how, how are you enjoying like seeing others play? Do you have any favorites? Uh, who, who might, who you think might take it all? I mean, of course, there is like the person that everyone's saying is probably gonna win this Blinky, and Constance has been playing really great. I must say. I guess maybe them too. And there, there are, of course, a few more people that are really amazing, but yeah, them two for now, I'm gonna say. Yeah, they, they definitely seem to be uh, overall uh, favorites from the people. We see CG here, very focused, getting ready for the next game. Reset, um, mental reset. <laughs> exactly, exactly, after, after such a close, close game, gotta, gotta get ready yeah. for the next game. It's really stressful. <laughs> <laughs> is is it yeah like uh, th does uh, how how much would you say it impacts like having uh, it all happen like in live with others right next uh, like right next to you with audience like this? Well, I don't think it's much more stressful than having turnies on Twitch like Rainbow turnies or something. It doesn't matter in that way. It's just that it's like this is like a huge event and. Uh, you, there is a lot of like maybe 
there is some like RNG and luck factor in it and you just are always on your toes. Mm. Yeah, for sure. If you make one bad click, if you, it all goes into nothing. Yeah, we've seen some some games like that. When one one single mistake ends it all. Yeah. So ev yeah. every mistake can be your last. But uh, we are ready to go to the next game here: Wolf Trekker versus CG. Uh, so we're about to start with the first moving game. So uh, both both very skillful players. We just saw CG play as well. So I'm not sure uh, who the favorite here is, really. Um, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't say as well. They're both very OGs, very OG in the community. Yeah, yeah. very experienced. They might be looking for phone codes because that can be very helpful. Mm, that's true. Yeah, 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 exactly. Unless they've learned Thai script, which I don't <laughs> know. It's very hard to <laughs> learn. Yeah. Like, I felt amazing after learning Bengali, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can read something. And I was like, that feels so good. But Thai, I was like, uh -huh. maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In step Thai, by step. In Thai, consonants are a bit easier, but yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, I imagine learning to read Thai Ooh. could be very helpful. But there are place names in yeah, Latin script, and they're very big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And CG has them. CG does ha has found them. Wolf? I don't know if he really oh. went to them, though. Ah, he, okay. He Wolf oh, is still wait, closer, it, though. And it's not tended up being where he... <laughs> yeah, no, Wolf I, don't, I don't think he found them in time. Ah. Okay. But yeah, it looks like Wolf was closer indeed. Uh, I'm being told to wait, wait before moving on to the next round, so we can uh, still... Uh, Talk about uh, talk about uh, your experiences, Alok. Uh, here, would, would you would you think that uh, tomorrow with the big audience would that would that affect uh, the players? Well, I don't think it would be much different because you have audience here on Twitch, which is even bigger. Like I don't know, ten thousand people watching this. True. As far as I've seen, it, maybe even more through other streams, and yeah, it's like don't think it would be that much different. But okay. <laughs> yeah, it would be like, but that audience would also be bigger, so yeah, might be a bit even more on the impacted side. Yeah, I think so. And what what have what have your like uh, thoughts been about production and everything uh, coming here and and uh, all this this setup and everything? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great that like the devs took so much effort to set all this up and uh, rent this in this arena and uh, I'm, I can only imagine how much effort and and funds and everything it took. A lot yeah. of effort put into this and we are ready uh, to go to the next uh, round here. I'm being told. Here we go. Uh, good luck to our players. We're back in Indo. Back in Indo. This time if there's a place name I won't say <laughs> anything <laughs> because I clearly don't know my place names. Uh, let's see. So CG looking at some signs. Wolf Tracker as well. Same sign. Okay, there, it's a good mm -hmm. one. Oh, that could be useful. Polai, Polsek. Do you know those places? Mm, no, I don't. It is very far it away, though, so it should <laughs> <laughs> be pretty big. <laughs> at least that's my logic. Oh, it's only yeah. 30 kilometers. Oh, 30 maybe. Uh, I thought it was 306, but it's only 30.6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems CG knows, thinks it's in Sulawesi. Mm -hmm. And Wolf as well. Wolf is yeah. also oh, right wait, there. did Wolf find it? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, he, he guessed. guessed. Uh -huh. Ah, Tolai might be. Oh, CG s seems to still be scanning for the It was the on the screen for a split second. There it is. Oh, wait, oh. did he miss it? He I think he it. missed it. But he's very close he by. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is close. That won't be a lot of points. Oh, he and still ends up cl being closer. Oh, because it was 30 kilometers oh. away. <laughs> 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 he gets in the town. Oh, True. Yeah. That's funny. For Indo, that's not a lot of points, though, so <laughs> they, they like got away. <laughs> that is true, yeah, as we saw earlier in, in the other CG game. Uh, yeah, you can really lose a lot of uh, points here. Uh, I'm being told to wait a little bit more. Oh, are we? Oh, okay, we gotta wait, like wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, what are some other clues about Indonesia, would you say, that can be used to, to, to tell the islands apart? Because it sometimes can be quite a challenge. You wanna? 
Yeah, yeah, I can, <laughs> of course. Well, the most, the favorite for me is uh, the roofs. Uh -huh. yeah. Different types of roofs. For example, on Java, you have mostly tiled roofs, and then there is a bit of difference between East and West Java. And then on other islands, it's mostly metal roofs. And then like Western Sumatra has the both roofs mm. that that are a bit shaped like an elbow. And uh, uh, North Sumatra has very similar ones that are a bit different. And then you have South, like Sulawesi roofs and um, Sumba roofs that look <laughs> like hats, like huge top hats and uh, all kinds of crazy yeah. different stuff because Indonesia is a very diverse country and mm -hmm. each part has its own culture and there if you even in different relig religions yeah. you can use that as meta as well oh. if you see a church it's mostly either north um, north sulawesi north sumatra or um, east east nusa tenggara mm -hmm. those are christian areas in indonesia bali is hindi and the rest is mostly muslim so oh, so very diverse yeah, and combining that with poles and landscape, you can use a lot of things actually. Yeah, so and learning kabupaten. <laughs> oh yeah, how many five hundred? I mean, I started. I learned every kabupaten of Sumatra, and I was like kind of happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't them. even try. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a big challenge indeed. Uh, Ooh, but we yeah. are ready to go to the next round. Here we go. Those places are very familiar <laughs> because they're very close to home. We have oh. Dortmund and Meschede on the 46. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of expecting everyone to nail this one. Dortmund, very famous. Also had coverage before the update, mm -hmm. so that's also something you have to keep in mind. Mm. If a German city had coverage uh, in Gen 2, then most of the pros will know it instantly. Yeah, I yeah. imagine so, yeah. But, yeah, but they're also big, so... Yeah, they're okay. also big, yeah. Uh, have you been on this roundabout? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I have been on the highway, but... Even between the two cities, but not this roundabout. Yeah, I imagine both players will get quite close guesses because we've, yeah, you know, big cities as you said, and I'm sure both of them know it. Ooh, okay, no 5Ks, but still not too bad. I mean, it's very hard to line up like a roundabout in yeah. like an off-road off the highway because we're not on the highway itself, so it's very hard to line it up and find the exact spot. So yeah, I think they yeah. did a good effort. Yeah, I think so. Got Still the right very, very stretch good of road. Okay, but things are getting is damage is getting bigger. This check. Yeah, we have yeah, check domain. Check here uh, and and the R with the catch about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a unique letter you see in the Czech language. Yeah, the different from Slovak. Slovak. Mm -hmm. I'm sure both of the players know the country by now, but on the uh, bus, who could closer city? Ooh, I think. Uh -huh. I couldn't really catch the place name, but I think he saw something on the bus. Uh huh. Oh, we have some, some regional signs as well. Yeah, I don't even know how the region gets checked yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, this almost looks like Western, maybe. Yeah, no moving unless there is something really distinctive. I just always go middle. Yeah. Most people do. I'm sure it's a so city bus, but, but yeah. Doesn't ring a bell. No, it wouldn't know Probably either. a smaller Oh, well, let's see. It was close to Germany, yeah. Mm, oh. True. Well, and again, small damage, but still. Uh, Wolf Tracker. Chopping a bit. Chopping, a bit. chopping. Yes, little by little, but uh, yeah, you definitely want to. Stay ahead as Wolf Tracker is right now. Definitely lows Western Czechia though, because this is the second time we've <laughs> true, actually observed yeah, him actually. getting Western Czechia, right? Actually true. Yeah. It, I think it's just the houses that kind of remind you of like East German architecture, and yeah. that's kind of how you yeah. do Europe because you always cook like, does this look like a neighbor? It's like doing Germany. Does oh, this look yeah, more yeah. like Denmark? <laughs> does it look more like Netherlands? Yep. Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's how you kind of do it. That's yeah. a good way to do it. Um, okay, this. So what do we have here? Nigeria are definitely good for info usually, because mm. the poster of religious buildings usually have like the full address and mm. everything, and like a poem of <laughs> a poem out of the Bible or something. Yeah, 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 very religious. Like a biblic verse. They kind of like that stuff. Imagine if they were pinpointable as well. <laughs> well, 
that's the issue. It's kind of hard to find your way around these suburbs. Mm. What do we have? Okay. The Keep it on Lagos, very close. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. the suburbs... Yeah, bo both yeah. quite close. Sometimes the suburbs are quite small that they're on signs, so... Mm. Especially in Lagos, I had <laughs> the experience. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. We have snow coverage this time. Um, yeah. Which country is this? Looks like Sweden or Norway. Oh. Almost looks like Norway. I don't guess Norway probably. I mean, if they look at the sign, they'll probably know. Yeah. That's, <laughs> what am I saying? It's NA. Yeah, it's uh, NA <laughs> signs. <so> what am oh. I? <laughs> the front plates. I also thought first it could be. Okay, so. Very BC fun. North. Maybe then. It could be White Horse. Oh. I kind of like that. Oh, new Gen 4. Yeah, White, White Horse has Gen 4 now. Oh. But I think mm, maybe a bit too, too many trees. Or it says something with Island, so I'm not. Sure. Maybe it's Victoria, like the. Oh, there's what's the island called? on Wolf Tracker. He has 10 seconds left to maybe oh. use it. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, the Vancouver <laughs> Island. Okay, both thinking BC. Yeah. Let's see. Is it? Oh, it was, oh, it was right, no right between them, basically. No island. Yeah. I don't know why it said island, but. <laughs> maybe an island, island in a lake. Yeah, island in a lake, maybe. <laughs> Okay, moving on, round seven. I could see an Insta yeah, send here. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna change anything. Yeah. The silver car is a good indicator of Bhutan. The only other option would be Philippines. But with this more like this mountainous jungly and also the black and white striped poles, yeah. kind of has to be Bhutan. Yeah, you can, you can see people using the famous way of going around the street view faster. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it can be tricky if you place a guess and then <laughs> click space. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can end badly. Yeah, I did that once against Anna on the first uh, round of... <laughs> 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 then I learned. <laughs> it is the worst feeling because after you press, there's nothing you can do, right? Yeah. 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 It's all... <laughs> I was like... Watching, like, I can't click on the map. Why I can't <laughs> click on the map? So oh my, just I already <laughs> guessed. When did I guess? <laughs> so he's like, okay, I'm just seeing the screen moving and all the info passing by, but if I let go, it will the guess will go through anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it was Bhutan. CG a little bit closer. So Very fast it's out. going back and forth, back and forth. And very similar life points here. Yeah, actually. It Less than 2k points lost, and we have only yeah. three rounds to go. Exactly, yeah. With all these yeah. multipliers, they've lost so little, so few points. Well, maybe he gets another Western Czechia, we don't know. <laughs> that would be definitely favorable for him. Yeah, Wolf really knows he's with Miss Czechia. Okay, what do we see? We are in Sweden. Sweden, yeah. Ooh, when we have road numbers, a lot. Lot. Damn, Salah Dam. Does damn ending mean something? I don't know. I think oh. damn. It's literally damn, I think. <laughs> I think they have used the same word. Okay. I thought maybe, maybe. it means some particular region or something. But I'm actually surprised there's so many road numbers here. Like 56, yeah. 70, 72. Mm -hmm. So do the bigger road numbers generally uh, mean higher in Sweden as well? Uh, yeah. But it being like uh, the box is not like continuous lines, so it's just like dotted. That means we're not on the road right now, so we're just going towards the road. Mm -hmm. So. Oh. So there are so many roads out there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we s seem to have some... Oh? Well, they are changing. Oh, Wolf, Wolf Tracker. Wolf, Wolf let's go. Oh, that's Great now guess. some points. That's, that's a decent damage there, and yeah. CG not even with a bad guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. Way CG, worse than this. CG yeah. saved himself by changing a bit more south there. Yeah, there. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely. Sweden is a very long country, so whoop, you can definitely lose quite a lot of points. Okay, last two rounds. It seems to be a big rounds. country, though. Yeah, so we have the yellow lines. Uh, looking okay. for something. These palms seem kind of distinct. Yeah, my first thought would probably be Mexico, but... Um, I thought so, too, but so I was sure. afraid it's North Brazil, or like Northeast Brazil. Mm, okay, yeah, with maybe. those palms. But... No, no, this, this, this is, is Spanish. Spanish. This is Spanish, mm. yeah. 
Where do you get this like dry coverage? Like maybe. Mm. I don't hate see that Obregon because we have like um, irrigation channels, which mm -hmm. are very common in the area. But mm. I kind of don't recognize it as yeah. having this many palms. It could be just the middle north, or mm -hmm. it could be even closer, like the Aguas Calientes, or that Mexico is like so confusing. It is confusing. <laughs> And also a pretty big country, so we might expect might, might see some decent X. damage here. Yeah, with five x damage in Mexico. Oh, mm. Wolf is no closer. Nayarit. Is that enough? Nayarit. I think that it, it, it is enough for sure. Maybe yeah. the palms actually were a matter for Nayarit because I heard of Nayarit palms. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in my mind in the Mexico document, but yeah, Wolf Tracker. Yeah, Wolf Tracker winning the moving game. Great didn't start. Lose a lot of points. Indeed, yeah, definitely. The first eight, like first seven rounds, were super close. Yeah, starting yeah. from round eight, now that's where things started getting very. Oh, <laughs> Wolf! Oh, Wolf is ready to fight and waving to us. <laughs> so definitely very focused and ready to go. Yeah, feeling good after round one. I hope. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, CG must be under such a large pressure. Where is he? Where is there he? he is. There he is. Yeah. Uh, very focused seems so, I would say. It's, it's I, I wonder how it is, because they know the camera is there, like yeah. it's coming all the way, like, do I look into it, do I do something? Yeah, the operator <laughs> running with the camera towards you. <laughs> but yeah, they, seem, they are setting up the next game right now, so we are gonna show it to you very shortly. Um, but yeah, in the meantime... Oh, what maps do you usually play nowadays? Is it ACW or do you play something else? Uh, on what mode? Well, it depends. What, what, what modes do you play? Like duels or...? I mean, uh, we like to do like 10 seconds NMPZ live mm. tallies ag against like high-level players mm -hmm. in our like Discord. Yeah. And we usually lose like rule maps that ha don't have a lot of clues. Ah. So 10 seconds only and you basically just look at the dirt road with some uh, <laughs> <laughs> trees. And for that we use an arbitrary rule world, uh -huh. which is a very popular one right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like especially after like... I think, is ARW retired right now? Like the map of the Podic? Did he, or is it up again? Uh, I, th I think he removed it, but then returned it after making some change. I, mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, mm. okay. because the main map before that was like ARW, mm -hmm. if you wanted a very like challenging map. But mm -hmm. then he removed it for mm -hmm. whatever reason, and then yeah. somebody just generated a map that had like the goal to be as rural as possible, as far mm -hmm. away from civilization <laughs> as possible. And so uh, dirt roads in the middle of nowhere. Oh, nice. But for like moving games, obviously ACW is yeah. still the, the golden standard, mm -hmm. especially now that uh, ADW, a diverse world, has been removed by yeah. Mapper. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the only like. Maybe after this, maybe we we'll use this map. Yeah, Who knows? Maybe. I mean, I, I kind of want to try the map after. Yeah, it will Is be it available. Be it will be available after yeah. after the the World Cup. It will be made available. Uh, they, so. they don't want to say oh, nice. when yet, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how available. soon. But it will be available for form. Uh, let's get going. Here we go. The next game is ready. This is the no moving game between Wolf Tracker and CG. Wolf Tracker leading one to zero, as we just saw. And we are starting off uh, with a uh, US location. I yeah, imagine. on the home turf again yeah. for CG. Yeah, let's see if CG pulls out a CG. <laughs> we, see, we have some license plates, which might be helpful. Um, I, I know CG knows the license plates very well. Oh, it's well. no move. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's no move. <laughs> yeah. Why they're not moving towards the side? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we don't have front plates, it seems, on that. Mm. Some mm. of those vehicles. Oh, yeah. That can be helpful as well. I kind of thought it looked like Texas first, but, but obviously Texas no. Has yeah, that's why. Mm. Yeah, maybe some like Louisiana, Indiana, Louis Illinois. Mm. Oh, what maybe? Louisiana maybe, even. maybe even. But I'm no plate expert, so. Mm. Yeah, both players really looking around, making sure to notice every, all the details they could use. It's going and they oh go yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, he yeah, actually yeah. is Louisiana. going Louisiana. And Wolf Track in Arkansas, so not far away. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, and it ended up being Louisiana. It was, yeah, it was Louisiana. It was indeed, yeah. Yeah, th oh. there were no southern pines, but yeah. Okay. They're not always there. Yeah, you, you do know your vegetation very well, right? <laughs> I was uh, about it to seems say. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it seems I don't. Cause I mean, if the if the trees are not there for <laughs> yeah. whatever reason, it's not your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. they, they ran away. <laughs> 
Oh. They're shy sometimes. But there are some places where they aren't. Okay, so. Yeah, we have very red soil here. Here we have Brazil and we have wooden poles and usually that means like Manaus in this context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or other parts of like Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of like Manaus, Santarem area, kind of along yeah. the Amazonas River. But I'm not Jupa. So. I don't know <laughs> if, it, if it could be like Southern Roraima as well, maybe. I thought about it, but I didn't see a single like hill. Yeah. Okay, we have a Manaus. At least Blanc. Yeah, both players still looking around. Oh, wait. Oh, is it a... No, it's oh. a Brazil antenna, right? Wolf trick. Oh! Because the camo antenna is different. Okay, he realized. He realized. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, that almost... That could have been yeah, a disaster. Been yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of like Manaus area. Let's see. And oh, and yeah. it was Manaus. <laughs> the money. Yeah. It was, you're right. Okay, yeah, very small damage, despite almost going with uh, Cambodia there. Yeah, I was, I was worried there. <laughs> yeah, I was worried but too. But yeah, Wolf switched it back, after all. I mean, to his defense, like the poles that you see there, like the wooden ones, those are not the usual like Brazil poles, mm. like the leather ones that everyone knows. Mm -hmm. So he was maybe like, oh, this is actually not, Bra uh, not Brazil then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I'm glad he got it right. And I think we're back, right? Mm. Hmm. Yeah, we have yeah. Long we license plate, so. I guess, yeah. And we have round concrete poles. Do we have oh. round concrete poles? That's usually a tell for like southern, like Sao Paulo or even. Yeah, if it's one of Rio. those, it could be some like suburb of Rio. Mm. Mm. But it may not as well be. Uh, I think they're also found sometimes somewhere else. Yeah. You have to take every geogasa meta with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah. Because there's yeah. also, they will always be an outlier and then yeah, there's going to be like, wait, didn't you tell me about this? <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah, you gotta, gotta combine yeah. all the things you know and, yeah. and yeah. see what's, what's more likely. Sometimes things. So it's like, oh, oh, very oh, western. Oh. Oh wow! That was a tough round. That is a very hard round. Oh wow! But yeah. both of them going kind of westish, so yeah, yeah. Actually, Damn. good performance. Good, good guesses. But yeah, still, that's, big that's damage the coverage there. End, basically, and yeah. that town. Yeah, you usually d don't often get coverage that far to the west. Okay, next round here. Okay, this time, <laughs> not Brazil. Not Brazil, but still Americans, right? Like yeah, a, a yeah. This is Argentina. Yeah. But there's one long plate which got me confused for a second. But it should still be Arch. Yeah. Maybe we are close to Uruguay. Mm. Yeah, oh. That's the possibility. What do the trees say? Well, I mean, for I don't mm. think there is a meta with these exact trees. Mm. They're just like maybe central area. Or it is I see sea trees going near the mountains, but it is dry. Know. That's that's true. Mm. Um, seems very flat, though. Mm. Oh, now he's switching all the way over to uh, Brazil border. Huh? Yeah, maybe he saw the long plate. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Doesn't seem very confident. Could be close to Buenos I Aires or Uruguay like or Rosario or Ooh, let's see. even north could be. And it was a plate Ooh, from Uruguay. It was. <laughs> it was the very border. <laughs> yeah, oh, you were yeah. right. Oh, CG still in, but getting that damage done every, every round. But uh, it's always easier to uh, just just sitting here and saying things. <laughs> it's easier to make calls like oh, that. Oh, that's true. That's true. It's always easier to, to, to guess when you're not the one responsible for, yeah. for the yeah. mistakes. Like Manaus is such a risk and going yeah. so close to Uruguay border is also a risk. Yeah, so exactly. Okay, this should be like Eastern Russia. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know if they've looked at the car. Yeah, they. Oh. For, for my preference, they don't look at the car enough. <laughs> maybe they looked at it and I didn't see. So maybe like Irkutsk area or something similar. Or like Abakan. Yeah, yeah, could be even there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Russia can be difficult. We have a Cheya which oh, Ooh, it's a tilted antenna. I don't know what or that means, like but <laughs> to somebody that means something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, they are still to go. Oh my god, I'm 5k. Ooh. Okay, this might be the oh, game. Yeah, we have like yeah. a Ufa and a Irkutsk. Yeah, we yeah could, could be could be game either way. Sure. The three yeah. times damage could be. Let's see. Ooh, oh, wow. Kenya Binsk. Oh, what a guess by Wolf Tracker. Twelve thousand yeah. damage. That's it not easy Euros. to get. Yeah. Oh yeah, great guesses by Wolf Tracker. He's really shining here. Damn. Well, he knows the divide of Europe and Asia. <laughs> he <laughs> that has was the divide, right? He there. has traveled a lot himself, so so. Definitely very experienced, very there happy, he very happy yeah. with the win. I Raising imagine. The fist. <laughs> yeah, he seems very relieved and happy after this game. <laughs> <laughs> He's waving into the camera. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. Oh yeah, so so yeah, great guesses, but also great performance by CG. Also great guesses, tough locations we had I mean, there. Tough to out. <laughs> Perform like that Russia guess. Exactly, that yeah, it was player. so yeah. close. What a close guess by, by Wolf Striker there. And uh, yeah, would <laughs> hard to compete, especially in such a big country as Russia. I mean, we were both uh, with CG there. We said Yakutsk or Abakan, which yeah. is both very far east, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we both would have lost guesses there. as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know. Dep dep <laughs> yeah, depending <laughs> how it is to look at like first hand from the screen. But. Yeah, here we have CG uh, after the game. He doesn't seem too upset, so so I'm t I think he knows he did well. I think nobody's upset when they lose on Russia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am, I am. Oh, you are? Okay. I did practice a lot of Russia. And you made the map, a balanced yeah. Russia, true. Oh, have you made a map? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. it's an AI generated map. Ah. Have you, have you, do you have a lot of experience? I know you did ex Extraordinary World, right? Yeah, Can yeah, I made a, quite a few. I mean, I made a lot of maps. Some of those like took a lot of time, like an extraordinary world. Some took less. But yeah, I just made a lot of catchy, interesting stuff that maybe not of them are all, all of them are popular. But yeah, yeah I, I think enjoyed them. I think extraordinary them. world is a really good map to to kind of see different uh, beautiful locations. Not not yeah, yeah, not exactly. what you usually would get when playing the yeah, yeah. the yeah, I think for more casual. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's enjoyable for sure. Yeah, yeah if you're yeah. a more casual viewer than to that. see yeah. great stuff around the world. Yeah, yeah, kind and of beautiful locations and make and pros look bad places. because it's locations you usually don't get. And <laughs> pros usually don't like trackers. And yeah, and photospheres. And yeah. photospheres. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we are ready to go for a short break, uh, but we will be back soon with some more games. Stay tuned.
Hello and welcome back to the Stream B of GeoGuessr World Cup here in Stockholm, Sweden. I am joined here by new guests, Gelotris and Topotic. How are you guys doing? Hello, nice really well. Here. Nice to be here. Uh, great to see you. So, uh, both of these players have were playing in the group A and B, uh, and uh, you'll see them later in the knockout stages. Tell, tell the viewers uh, maybe a bit how was your experience uh, in, in getting through the first the group stage? Mm -hmm. So the luck factor was not in favor of me in most of the games, although I think I did play well, so I can, at least in most of the games, especially moving in NPC, I exceeded expectations, although in some rounds, like example in Russia against Debra, I think I could have done better, although I wouldn't say that I'm disappointed. Mm -hmm. How about you? For me, it was exactly the opposite. <laughs> I, uh, the luck was in my favor for sure. There were some rounds where I wasn't like too sure, wasn't really confident, but it turned out to be right. Um, and that way I made it through. I'm very happy with my um, outcoming, so. Yeah, that's, that's really good, because uh, yeah, some of the games uh, we saw were really intense. And, and I think we watched one of your games as well on stream. And it was really, really interesting to see because, uh, yeah, the consistency is key, as we talked earlier. Yes, you really of course. It's the most important guesses. factor. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, as, as you can see on the screen, we have our next game uh, ready to go. We have Jupa versus Radu, mm -hmm. uh, which I imagine is going to be a very, very interesting matchup. I would matchup. say it's the biggest game of this group. Yeah, bo it's both of the players. could decide who is going to be the first and would advance to the knockout directly. That's true, yeah, the first player of the group will move on directly uh, to the playoffs tomorrow, but uh, the second and third place in the group will uh, go to knockout stages later this evening on the A stream that you can uh, see watch on uh, GeoGuessr Twitch channel. Uh, but yeah, let's begin with the first game. Really looking forward for this one. Like, Jupa oh. and Radu are really big names, especially in the pro scene. Yes, yeah. they yeah. are like one of the favorites to win mm. this competition, I would say. Yeah. Both of them. 
yeah, they, they okay, really, we start really with New Zealand moving. Yeah, you can expect uh, we can expect some close guesses, I imagine, from both of the players. Oh, s oh, Jupa sending it immediately. Yes, maybe he knows that Radu is a better moving player. Oh, maybe that's a that's a good strategy. And, yeah, uh, insta sending might be the best strategy, especially with this format. Yeah, I mean, it wor works on this round. Jupa is quite yes. close. Indeed, doing some damage to Radu straight ahead. Uh, but yeah, so so that's a good strategy. If you know your opponent might be better at moving, uh, just make a gu okay. guess quickly. We have Argentina with, I would say, the two best Argentina <laughs> players yeah. in the whole game. I was about to say both <laughs> in general. Like South America is really something uh, Dupe and Radu practiced a lot. Uh -huh. So I'm really excited who's going to get close on this one. Seems like Radu knows the road. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, imagine 5k would be insane here. Yeah, Radu guessing already. Huh? Let's like see how close. close. Still gonna be close, but uh, let's see who who is closer. Did Radu get the road or not? Did not get the road. But he's still closer. He is still closer. It was even more south. Mm, doing some decent damage back. One thousand points. Jupa got Jupa. into the map uh, very late, yeah. which kind of can throw some th someone off uh, a lot of times. But I think he was looking for more clues there. Yeah, possibly because he. There weren't many, many hints around there. Speaking of hints, <laughs> a lot of hints on this one, a lot but of can hints, they yes. use it? All of the players looking around. Mm. Mm. What do we see? A lot of signs here. But Jupa uh, said that he was going to study India yesterday. Oh. I don't know about RFC, but I imagine he has prepared it too. Uh, yeah, Jupa seemed to know. Uh, he was on the stream earlier. He seemed to be, uh, yeah, st uh, seemed that he has been studying India for sure. RC oh. is very good at India. Uh, I've joined well. RC a couple times on India, mm -hmm. and he's doing very Honestly, well on India. I, th I think RC has a good guess right now. Mm -hmm. but yeah, in India keeps getting new coverage all the time, right? Mm. So yeah. Yes. But you always have to like be updated yeah. with the new coverage. Must be tricky. Oh, very good They're also of each other. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very, very This shows and their forth. skill level Def in this definitely. Of They think alike. <laughs> definitely. Very much back and forth doing damage and then still very close guesses by both of the players. Two and a half times damage already. Let's see. What do we have? We had some bollards, but I couldn't really yeah. see them properly. Was it Italian bollard, maybe? I would say so. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, yeah, using the fast, fast movement, movement thing. Got kind of urban. Okay, we have they a go lake. with different strategies. Mm -hmm. um, Jupa's on the map. Yeah, Jupa has guessed already, applying pressure to Radu. Let's see, Radu did not guess? Radu did not put a plonk on. He was on. too busy moving. Yeah, maybe he, he didn't notice that Jupa had guessed. The yeah. Guess, yeah. Wow, what a way to finish yeah, this that. This is an interesting way to yeah. win oh, a game. Oh, wow. That's very unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. Yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, it didn't even uh, look like he's about to make a guess there, so he must have missed that Jupa may, uh, like, had submitted the guess mm. very early. He was in very quick, so... This could be one of the reasons why this competition might be a bit more suited towards no moving players, because of the timer especially, and mm -hmm. especially if the opponent is Tessens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point, definitely, because, uh, yeah, the, the, this was a big surprise. Because I'm sure uh, Radu knew that it was Northern Italy. Oh, surely, yeah, yeah, because he, he, he's a very skilled and experienced player. Uh, but l hopefully this uh, this game doesn't get uh, affect his uh, performance. performance and mood and, and morale. Mm -hmm. uh, Jupa seems... Confused. Confused and happy, yeah, <laughs> about this win. He might also feel a bit bad about it. Um, yeah, you Jupa always is a very fair player. Yeah, I mean, so you always want to win fair. Yeah, yeah I would also feel a bit bad if I yeah. win like that. Mm. Yeah, like especially on a round like this where Jupa knows exactly that Radu should have also been fairly close. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, ho hopefully Radu, Radu stays mm -hmm. uh, on top of his game. And yeah, hopefully uh, it doesn't affect him psychologically. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, because we're about to move on to the next game in, in very soon. Very shortly. Oh, here he is. Hmm. Yeah, it does, doesn't look very happy, but but uh, seems focused, focused and ready yes. to go. Indeed. 
yeah, let's see. B both very experienced players, so I'm sure uh, we can expect some very good games. So I mean, even with all the experience, stuff like that happens all the time. Exactly, also yeah. To me, uh, I mean, everyone makes I'm mistakes, yeah. Happens to me regularly that I just. It happened to me the in the a official ACW tourneys a couple oh. of times. Mm. Uh, yeah, so so it happens. Yes. Uh, so let's hope uh, yeah. RC can can keep keep it keep it uh, going and uh, let's see. Let's start the first game of no moving uh, between Jupa and Radu. And here we go. So what do we have? Oh, very urban. Urban. Very urban. People zooming in on signs very quickly. Oh, zooming in on New Zealand there. Yeah, it seems like right. it is, but I'm not sure if it's oh, that one. I think it's there, different. But yeah, it's although it is New Zealand. Weird. Yeah. Oh, is Radu has he found the city? But it seems like both of them are in the same city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds similar. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, looks like a fairly big city. So. True. Oh, Maybe it actually sense. is because I do not recall a city named similar to that one mm -hmm. of that size. Yeah, no one has guessed here yet. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see the yeah. difference of the strategy. Jupe isn't insta, insta sending anymore, mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. so yeah, taking it all the information in. And we're about to run out of time. Let's see. Let's hope everyone makes a guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they went by the but the same logic, but a shopping center or <laughs> yeah. something of the kind. Yeah, it just uh, <laughs> did sound familiar with the <laughs> place name. I would probably have done the same thing. So <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. Both players going the wrong city, but yeah, no, no, almost no damage at all there. So it won't ha matter on the grand scheme of things. But the multiplayer is increasing. We are moving on to the 1.5 times damage. Do we two. have a country that was added like really recently? Yes, we do. Yes, we have uh, all the latest coverage added as well. We had the map maker Both earlier. Both descending. They know this yeah. round well done, is yeah. not going to be big damage. No, <laughs> it's just ramping up the multipliers. Exactly. Going yeah. on to the next round. Very quick rounds with the multipliers going uh, going up. So, um, these uh, yeah. Get moving on to some bigger countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah. We have a bigger country. Definitely a bigger country. Let's see. I, I imagine both players know their Mongolian uh, car meta. Metas, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to learn in Mongolia. It's really a country you have to, uh, yeah, really grind and mm -hmm. pick up, pick up different stuff. Oh. There's not too but much. It seems like Very they have guess. done this. But yeah, <laughs> they notice it's around Murun. Yeah, <laughs> both players very close. Uh, <laughs> Almost no damage done, mm -hmm. we're, uh, and we're at round four already. Uh, very fast and very close guesses by both, so if it keeps going this way, we might uh, get to round ten very quickly. So what do we see here? Big mountains. Uh, Peru. Uh, right the car is South America, white. but where? wouldn't know where to put it. Mm. I'm actually unsure either. And we do have some tuk-tuks, which are common it in It is Peru, Peru yes. Oh, yeah, we have the Peru flag as well. Yeah. And I'm, I don't think it's southern, but I'm unsure if it's middle or north. Mm -hmm. Radu yeah. is in the north, so yeah, is he's probably north. correct yeah. because he's, he's one of the best good. Peru players. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Wow. Jupa 5k. Is oh, in the right wow. city. That's a lot of points. <laughs> That's a big damage. Wow. Very close. Yeah. All those previous rounds ramping up that multiplier. Yeah, now now we can see the result of it. Although oh. it's not game, and then it could not still game. happen. Oh, of course, we've seen plenty of examples earlier today Indeed. how how big uh, big uh, uh, comebacks happen. So we can definitely can uh, we can't count Radu out. Mm, oh, not a small country. Is zooming right this in is now. unlikely to end the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so either. Both players zooming in on Sri Lanka. So you might see small damage. Yeah, nothing nothing and major, but still. Not enough, but it's still, still chipping up away. Is chipping chipping away 300 points. Mm. Mm -hmm. So not 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 a small amount. Because cause Radu doesn't have too many life points remaining. Okay, let's move on to the next round. round this is very beautiful. Very beautiful location indeed. Radu can't allow to um, lose too many points from now on. 
yeah. of Rihanna that helped. Oh, definitely, yeah. Rihanna yeah, needs play. a big round. Mm. Yeah, big country where he is close. That yeah, this seems like a big country. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, in Indonesia. Yes. Yeah. Let's see if they get the right island here. Which island do you think this might be? I thought of Kalimantan. Mm. Um, I'm actually not sure because there's no poles. I was thinking, yeah, Nusas at first, but it could be Suarez as well. Mm -hmm. The houses are a bit uh, weird though. Yeah. They could be more Kalimantan, although yeah, the, like the, the mountains don't fit, I would say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. Seems like Jupa was thinking about the new coverage in Maluku. Oh. oh. Let's <laughs> see. Oh. Okay. Ooh. That's yeah, game. Oh, that's he a went game. Maluku, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he went Maluku, yeah. Mm. So that's that's the new coverage that was recently added. Yeah, it just added, got yeah. added like yes. a week ago. Yeah, oh. even a week ago. Um, Maluku yeah. also has coverage. Mm. Now. Yeah, we had the map maker coming in earlier saying that the new coverage hasn't been added yet because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's too, too recent. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, also it like added, yeah. when it's new, it just gets released step by step. Yeah, street exactly. Street by street, so you can't really move yeah, around. Yeah, sometimes if you get it's. Hidden and you yeah. Yeah. can't access it unless you have access to Map Maker. Exactly. Yeah. App. Yeah. That, that's why they said that it hasn't been added yet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that that was uh, that was GG. Um, yeah, that was a great game. Yeah. <laughs> great Unfortunately, game. Unfortunately, the NA round, the that one that RC didn't guess, that was played a part. But that was very yeah, unfortunate. Jupa still deserved it. Yeah, I mean Jupa played great. He Jupa did play. almost didn't lose health. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. yeah. A very good Indeed. performance. So true, true. And RC also a great player with lots of wins so already yeah, congrats as well. Congrats to Jupa and really well played RC as well. Definitely, definitely both both great great games, great players, and uh, yeah, we can we can expect to see them uh, later on as well. Uh, at least one of them in the knockout stages, I imagine, because both of them with a bunch of uh, wins under their belt today. Um, so. Oh, so 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 what are you guys so how, how are you preparing now for the knockout stages you know you are getting there uh, are you like doing some practice or are you trying to get your mind off of the game any strategies yeah i'm more going like a bit off it mm -hmm. was very stressful the first few hours here the first yeah. games uh, so i tried to come down a bit because it's already in like i don't know don't have a time on me but i think, I think in like it's two hours like two and a half hours yeah yeah, that's not that much time. True, so, uh, that's true. I try to use the off time to come down a bit mm -hmm. and focus. Yeah. Not really practice. I don't think uh, <laughs> practicing makes now sense. makes a lot of sense. It's yeah. uh, years true. of knowledge. So yeah, true, true. That won't help. Yes, same with me. I'm trying to relax a bit, get in the mindset because I think if I practice now, it's not going to help me and I might forget mm. some other information yeah, just because of the cramming and uh, I would uh, be more anxious during the game, so it's better to calm down mm. and stay focused for the knockout game. No, oh, definitely true, yeah, makes, makes perfect sense. Uh, I think we can have a look at the group standings mm -hmm. right now, right? Let's have a look. How, how does it all look? Okay, yeah, we have uh, Jupa and Radu both with uh, three wins. Uh, CG and Made Potato uh, both with two. Uh, Wolf Trekker with a single point and Ananana with no uh, no wins uh, right now. And on the Group D that's currently being streamed on the A stream, we can see Blinky is in the lead with four wins. Fungus with three in the second place. Then is Lenly. Uh, that you saw earlier here on the casting uh, as with, with the two wins in the third place. And then we have Jake and Harmless both with one wins and Giovanni with zero. So that those are the current standings. Um, I believe we have one more game here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to see uh, that we will be... Yeah, but, but before that one game, we are going to take a quick break and uh, we are going to be back soon.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the B stream of GeoGuessr World Cup. I am joined here by two new guests. We have Zigzag and Kodiak. How are you guys doing? Uh, not so good, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I kind of recovered from the defeat. <laughs> I'm how going rather well. Yeah, yeah, chilling. Uh, how do you feel about b getting uh, qualified for the knockout stage? I feel fantastic. Um, like, I, I expected to lose to the two people I lost to, which mm. was um, Debray and Topotic. Mm -hmm. uh, I, needed, I knew that I needed to win the rest, and I did. And I'm really happy with how I went through and mm. so keen to play the next round. Yeah. Who are we playing against? Uh, against Jalotris. Jalotris. Oh, yeah. That's going to be an interesting game to I watch. feel like it's super even. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm very keen to see how it goes. So nice. And, and uh, are, are you excited to watch the rest of the tournament? I mean, I'm kind of forced to watch. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would have preferred to play in the knockout yeah. stage, but I got so unlucky. I feel like I played very well. I could have got did. first or second maybe in the group, but I got fifth. <laughs> yeah. uh, so <laughs> tough luck, I guess. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Tough matchups and. and the multipliers can affect so much <laughs> as well. So yeah, we can see players currently being shown, getting ready for that final game of the group stages. We'll be moving on uh, to the uh, knockout stages on the A stream afterwards. But we still have one more game to go, mm -hmm. one more game to watch. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. We're going to get going very soon. It's so funny when the camera's pointing at you like that. You don't know if you're actually on or not. Ah. <laughs> and so you're like, what do I do? Like, you know. Eventually, you just get bored. You look back at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I literally never looked in the camera. <laughs> I just looked at my screen. Now. Full focus. <laughs> oh, and here we go. We have made potato Mate. versus. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just thinking it would be cool to see the, uh, them playing because we haven't seen the, them on stream yet. Oh, awesome. So, so it's going to be very interesting to have a look. Um, so let's get going. The game is ready to go. Um, let's see. Absolutely. Starting with the Japan, I think uh, Ananana has some at least uh, basic knowledge about Japan, so mm -hmm. that might be helpful. Mm -hmm. Some pole plates. Um, Kodiak, how would you describe Ananana's skill set? Um, I mean, he was like not really playing Geogesser for like a year, uh, but before that he was very strong, like especially in Europe and South America, like no move. Mm -hmm. His internet really doesn't allow him to move at all, mm, <laughs> right. so he never played moving in his <laughs> life before. <laughs> um, but yeah, generally he was very good. Then he uh, had uni, and now he's back for the World Cup as the, the Italian contestant. But yep. uh, generally awesome. he was pretty good, but obviously in the last year a lot mm. happened that he may have missed. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Japan, he might have an advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously Mate just a... Uh, Mate's like one of those all-star players. He can do everything. He's super strong on the moving. Um, I've played. He's taught me some moving before. And then also just like on the no moving, an absolute beast really. So yeah. I, I like to watch him play. Man's definitely a veteran. Like he, he knows all. I think that should be a Shogoku um, thing, like this arrow that is hanging down there, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Uh, yes, uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good guess. Good guess by Mate there. Very close there. Dealing some damage. It's some nice round one. You you don't really worry too much. Yes. You know, like <laughs> yeah, it, you exactly. know that if you as long as you guess the right half of the country, <laughs> it's not too much damage. So, yeah. Yeah. How, how does it feel? Do, did you feel the pressure? Does is it does it feel different playing duels here in this setting than you would play in a tournament? The pressure is massive. My body is so exhausted from <laughs> the concentration. Um, what oh, how about you? Yeah. Actually, I didn't really feel the pressure. I was just focused on my own game and like on my own guesses. Um, mm -hmm. And I hoped to make good guesses, and most of the time it worked. But then I had like two or three guesses that kind of cost me the whole tournament. <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah, so that's unfortunate. unfortunate really. Because like you need to have consistency. I guess that's what I'm lacking. So yeah, that's um, true. But yeah, the pressure itself didn't really got to me. Just like in the end, the disappointment that I lost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are ready to go to the next round. Let's get going. Absolutely. What are we looking at here? I can't actually tell off the bat. What are we looking at? Let's see. Eastern Europe, presumably. Yeah. Somewhere, yes, it would be nice to see some language. These yellow stripes on the road are very interesting. Oh. That's something I'm familiar with. This it's Croatia. Croatia. Yeah, yeah, I think we have those Croatian check marks there as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very characteristic. So Zagreb split, split, so very big cities on the side. Yeah. So, so uh, not oh. really like explaining where you are with those <laughs> sides. <laughs> definitely quite green, so you'd be thinking of the north half of the country. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there are still, I mean, I don't really know where all the cities are. But okay, there are yeah. more cities. I think there should be enough info actually to find the exact spot. Yeah, okay. there's some road, mate, road sign. Uh, road mate seemed to be lining something up there. I think he actually may have found the town. I think there was yeah. a road number as well. There was road numbers oh. and then the mm. town name that we were in as Anna well. has not found it. It appears to yeah, be. Yeah, I think oh, that's the see. lack of experience in moving games. 
Oh, uh, we are. Fairly mm -hmm. soft, actually. Good find by mate. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's a big damage, actually, for yeah. the second round. Already more than a thousand points of damage. I know that Anana prepared uh, pinpointing by doing no move maps, <laughs> because <laughs> he literally can't move with his internet, so yeah. he just did uh, no move maps <laughs> and tried to learn pinpointing by that. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely unfortunate. Ooh. That's certainly an adv uh, an, uh, disadvantage, I would, I would imagine, in these settings. Look at Alpine here, so it shouldn't be too much damage for that reason, I would say. Yeah, probably. Some German language. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh. Very big mountains. Yeah. Deep in the Alps. That's for in sure. Alps. Probably we'll see some close guesses, <coughs> I imagine, here. Ah. <laughs> the movement wow. for Anana just yeah. brings him back. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he has good internet, so <laughs> working yeah. against him. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think this will be findable. Uh, yeah, probably not. I guess if you line up the valley and then you can confirm, but... Hmm. General area probably yeah. should that, be. Did that sign have a bunch of place names yeah, on that? Yeah, I think that it sign did. is mostly for like uh, companies, like for like, you know, where to get to the battery and whatnot. Oh, <laughs> right, okay, okay. okay. It, this yeah. just feels like Western Austria, so it presumably does. it's not going to be too many points, I would, I would assume. Yeah, probably. Yeah. If we're running out of time, we're about to find out how the players do here, but... Uh, like, nevertheless, yeah. 10 rounds only, you need every advantage you get. Exactly. Get, like, see? Exactly. Yeah, All small the points place. can matter. Oh. Small plays, both players. That's no, actually... Not a huge damage, but still 300 do. points can, can end Somewhat. up hurting in the end, potentially. So, mate, Potato's shaking the screen there as if maybe he had have looked over that section and maybe oh, just missed it. Or yeah. I think so, yeah. Or that he I think he was looking there yeah. for a short bit. Right, right. Uh, but still, a closer guess, a good guess by mate. Definitely so. Um, so, let's go. Let's yeah. see. Urban round. Yeah, an urban one. Maybe some uh, Spanish language, so maybe Argentina here would be my first thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're driving left for some reason. Interesting blue car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that should be Argentina something. indeed, right? Yeah. Argentina on the left for some reason, but it is Argentina. Um. So Argentina, it can be a bit scary in the big cities. Could be uh, tricky to taxis which help, and these are yeah, not I Buenos Aires taxis, exactly. are they? Exactly, I would look at the taxi. Mm. Oh, the, the, the biggest cities have different taxis? Yes, yeah. ah. all of them, yeah. Okay. As far as I know, so that's definitely not, like I know Rosario and BA have black taxis yeah. with the yellow tops. <laughs> but there are some suburbs of BA that have different, but to be honest, this looks like a downtown of something. <laughs> it was wow, San Miguel that's the Tucumana, oh that's game. Oh my gosh, Mate wow. is doing so well yes, in this first Mate game. Potato. I could understand the BA guess there, by the yeah. way. Yeah. If yeah. you don't notice the taxi, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like a big it. city somewhere. Like, if you don't really yeah. find like something specific, then it can be very hard to region guess because you just see high buildings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's a very quick moving game. Yes. I'm sure Mate Potato can feel very happy about his performance here. Some yeah, crazy good well. guesses there. Honestly, I, I always thought coming into this tournament that Maypotato Potato is someone to watch out for. Yeah. I, I think his level is actually uh, higher than most people think. And uh, yeah. he just, as I said, all three formats. So, yeah. And he has a lot of experience with, with, with playing and also map making, which I'm sure helps with, with this as well. Absolutely does. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, some issue going on here or something, I wonder? Uh, I'm just, the next game is being set up. Okay, uh, so, okay. so it should be all fine. We just gotta wait for a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what are your thoughts about... You already saw the main stage, right, I'm sure, right? No, I'm not <laughs> Oh, you have I not? I have not. <laughs> I've been there yesterday, have you not? No. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> so my thoughts are that I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> oh, I, uh, yeah, ho hopefully you can, you can get there, but uh, how do you think would be the pressure performing in, li in front of a live audience? More, but I'm you not sure so? how much more, yeah. It would be interesting to see. Like yeah. it's the same, I guess, because like you know, there are many people watching outside the room anyway. So yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. I would have thought that yeah, like uh, seeing real people and hearing their reactions in real time. The crowd noise. Yeah, I feel like exactly. that's got to yeah. be the biggest difference. I guess when you make a bad guess, people. Stay, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the joke for the other person. Not like, who with me. <laughs> oh While we were playing, uh. and like you heard like the cheering for the other games, we were like, oh, what is happening? Yeah. True. 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 <laughs> At least there's only one game going on at once there, so yeah, yeah so exactly. Three or four. Exactly, yeah. all the focus will be on you. Definitely I guess so. that's maybe more pressure than actually, because yeah. everyone is watching, and you know yeah. all your friends are judging. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's always easier when you like are watching it from the side. Oh, I would have got gotten this. Oh, how did he miss that fall exactly. there? But, True. But when you're in in the, the under the pressure, it's way different. True. Okay, uh, we are we um, about we're ready to go. We are. Almost, yeah, here we go. We are ready to yeah. go with the next game. 
Oh uh, yeah, it's just some, as you just saw, May Potato is in the lead against mm -hmm. Ana, -na -na -na, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, this will be a no moving game. So yeah, no move should at least be the stronger mode for Ana. -na -na. Yeah, yeah that's so true. <laughs> so let's see, let's see if that holds true. Um, we're getting a very rural round right off the bat here. Uh, At first, I wondered if this is close to home for you, Peter. Um, but now I'm <laughs> I not was so sure. Considering it, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I would go Poland or something. Mm -hmm. uh, With the slight hills, the Baltics are all very flat in comparison yes. to Poland. So. I mean, you can get some hills, but but something feels off here. I would say. Mm. The sign uh, back oh, almost looks Baltic. I would say. Oh, so okay, you may could we be either, seeing a very hilly. I mean, Lithuania. It, it could be Baltic. I would so go Lithuania probably. Mm. I'm not sure though. <laughs> I, mean, I also get the feeling that this could be something we haven't mentioned. Like, um, it's actually quite generic. Yeah, I feel like the oh, maybe Denmark actually. Ooh, it's possible. Yeah, like yeah, the farming, they're yeah. kind of could Sweden uh, could be not out of the question too. I think something Estonia's around a good the guess. Baltic Sea. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Some, somewhere there. Let's see. <laughs> it was Denmark. It was Denmark. You're now, right. that's a really good guess. That's yeah. a wow, really good guess. Nice I said one. like his strengths play in Europe and like South America. So yeah. Yeah. And Anana got it right. Yeah. I have to say Very a lot guess. of strong players would miss that round. Yeah. I think. Yeah. That. It was I, mean, a I would have missed it. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. Wow. Okay. Great start for Anana. That that's exactly what what was needed. Okay, so 2,000 points already, New Zealand now. Um, well, how, do you, how do you rate a uh, mate's skills at uh, New Zealand, Kodiak? Do you know? I don't really know, but I know he's often scared and sends middle. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of what he's done here, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I think that's his threat <laughs> in New Zealand generally. Yeah, he, I think he wants to get the island and then... I think it should be North Island though. Very different guesses. Yeah, here. I oh. think it should be North Island. It is. It is Northern Island. Between the okay. Southern North Island, so... Oh. That's about as well as it could have gone for Anna. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most players are too, too, yeah, too high yet. Yeah. I feel like those rolling hills uh, like that you don't really get on the South Island. Like yeah, very rolling hills, ridges. as we can see. Mm, true. Very yeah. undulating. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some more mountains in the next round. Double damage, but that's so many points have already gone. <laughs> true, this yeah. France. So again, mm. something mountainous Europe. I wondered about be. Italy as well. Possible, yeah, I was thinking but France I think or the Italy. guardrail doesn't match. I don't really see the guardrail ending yet. The uh, the uh, white car with a long antenna, quite common in Italy. So that made me also think of it. Still didn't see the road guardrail ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Italy has like a kind of a fatter ending to the yeah. guardrail. Mm. That's what Cody talked about. Oh, ah, okay. You were the one to tell me that one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly true when we played the video there. Um, but so uh, yeah, it could be okay. anywhere in the Alps. I think Italian it will be mountains. border region between mm. France and Italy, but I still don't know which country because I didn't read. Yeah. And to be clear, the car is also findable in France as yeah, well. Exactly. So. Okay, this looks Italian. Yeah, we should be in Italy. The okay. guard ending seeing on Ananas oh, yeah. there, like it spreads out a bit. Oh, yeah, I don't know, it's a very specific region. Yeah, like uh, Oster Valley, which is effectively France in Italy. <laughs> right, we'll see. Oh. And he knows, wow. he knows he's in Italy. <laughs> Strong. So, yeah, Big turning it damage. up on the uh, on the Europe here. Hey, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yeah. crazy stuff. And oh, uh, we guess. might be going to a third map here. Yeah. Possibly. We can't discount Made Potato just yet. That's the true. multipliers are increasing. And then we saw what he's capable of in the first game. Well, another there. Europe. So <laughs> <laughs> getting lots of Europe here. Someone, someone's cooking up a third <laughs> game, I think. <laughs> someone's cooking up a third game in the, in the studio room. <laughs> 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 Okay. I think there was a web address. Uh, I didn't receive the ending though. But uh, so a lot of round poles here. This I looks think poles, yeah, like Czechoslovakian. Czech yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, it is quite hilly. That would uh, lead you more towards Slovakia as a general rule, but Czechia has plenty of that too. That kind of looks yeah, like true. a national park area. I think there was a CZ on the okay. domain, mm. but I'm not 100% sure. It was so quickly panned. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like Germany as well, so I actually. Yeah, I can see like border sense. regions, mm. Czechia. Yeah. Oh, they're very similar here. Look at that on the uh, right hand side. The central hedge is often the best in Czech yet, to be honest. <laughs> True. We'll see it. Ooh, yeah. was oh, further east. east. Yeah. Yeah. Good hedges, good hedges. Yeah. 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 Not too much of a damage here, but yeah. Uh, good guesses by both of our opponent, uh, players. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It was close bo Ooh, near a border. This is very rural. rural. Oh, wow. Okay, let's rural. see. I don't know which national park this is, but it should be line upable. And there's even Paso Sico. I think that's yeah, findable on the map. Okay, so immediately I'm thinking Mate has the advantage on this round, and it could be big. But uh, Anna, Anna knows South America as oh, well. Oh, true. It's so true. As you said, yeah. And Ooh. I am thinking that, uh, that both players are going to get close here. That's my prediction for the round. They're like 
two or three different national parks that are possible. Um, so I guess I would scan for Soquea or Pasasico. And yeah, northern Chile has a lot of these volcanoes that are in mm. national parks. And yeah, that's uh, what you'd expect to see here. But actually the parks are kind of far away from each other, so I think that could be game uh, for some. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, mate, getting a nice guess there. It's not too different, though. Okay, okay we're doing some damage Close back. Mm -hmm. Much needed for him. So I wonder if the, he actually found the uh, place name or if that was uh, more of a vibe I think guess. I would assume so. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're moving on, we're moving on. Getting South Africa. Something with the yellow outer lines, which is very common in the no, southern mm. part of Africa. Yeah, southern part. It's either South I Africa or Botswana. I think it's Botswana. I'm thinking Botswana yeah. as well, to be honest. Close to Gaborone because of mm. this hill that yeah. we see there. One cool thing about Africa is that you get these trees with really wide canopies that oh, are kind of low so cool. to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, ah, I think um, this should be Lobatze. We have like this ridge in the west. Mm. So I like that guess. Oh, oh, and then I was very far from Lobatze. Yes. But I mean, he's. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's now close enough. Oh. Honestly, in Botswana, Gaborone is a good guess if you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Especially uh, with those man. Looks like he might leave it there. Leave it, leave it, leave it. <laughs> he's good, he's good, he's good. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. It, was, it was very close there. West of okay. Not much loss there. Four times damage. Now anything can happen. Now <laughs> the advantage is all but dissipated, I think. Oh, that is true. Yeah, four times multipliers. So quick. They go up so quick. <laughs> they do. Very intense. If you're games. behind, it feels good. If you're ahead, it feels <laughs> bad. It's horrible. Imagine like surviving 100 health and then the opponent just comes back and <laughs> destroying you one shot. Okay. But Something in Europe here. So that looks good for Anana Nana. Yeah. Um, and what country do you think it is here, guys? Uh, I didn't see I the plate properly. Croatia or Greece? Okay. I kind of like Croatia, but... I guess we have wooden poles. Yeah, so, so it I should guess be Greece, I, I guess. Greece, I Greece. Yeah. Okay. Northern Greece, perhaps, because of the mixed vibes. True, true. Uh -huh. Possible. Where is it actually going to be? Uh, oh, it was. Middle it was Greece. Greece. Nice both guesses. getting very yeah, close. Both very good guesses here. Oof, that's even big. <laughs> yeah. Even with this close of a distance, it's almost 300. 200. Yeah, almost 300 <laughs> damage, and May Potato doesn't have too many life points left, so... Just 20 kilometers different oh, there, the two players. big country. <laughs> oh, wow. and this is this could be big. Oh, well, the, the country game is surely big ends for sure. Yeah. Country is big, so the damage might be very big as well. Oh, here's some signs. English language, so we are in the USA here. Lots of small buildings, much less common in the in Canada than the US. And this obviously palms don't very really grow southern. in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe potatoes. Yeah, we have the Florida Spanish right grass right as well on the trees. Right. So we oh, should yeah. be at least around Florida, if not even in Florida. Oh, oh. oh South, South Carolina. Carolina. About okay. as far north as you see that plant. That's okay, okay. Very surprising, I must say. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but yeah, doing some damage back to Anna mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, both players with not too... Uh, Many life points remaining. Oh, that is true, Peter. So we are about to see the end of it, <laughs> I think. For sure, yeah. This might be the last round. Round number nine with five times damage. Uh, yeah. Ghana? Any, yeah. any round might be yeah. last. So, southern Ghana, I guess, with how many palms we have. Big hills Big as well. Big well. yeah. yeah. Has to be the south. So, we'll uh, 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 know that because I'm confident the mate does. And he's immediately guessed, okay. Uh, 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 in the right region, uh, but I think it won't yeah, be too there. far, too far mm. east. Still should hold on, I think. I'm not so sure. Oof. Five times on 2k? I'm not so sure. It depends which kind of mountains these are. Yeah. How far is it? <gasps> 5k, Ooh, that's it. That, that's that it. must be right? it. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, played. Wow. well played to mate there. With the insta guess. <laughs> the insta guess. Great and job. Uh, yeah, the insta guess. So close. Is. Wow. Great job. Yeah, Same. so. Great, great games by Mate Potato, but uh, well held on by Anana as well. Yeah, very Anana also very respectable. Definitely in the played game. better with the uh, no moving. Mm -hmm. uh, you could definitely see that that's that's Anana's forte. I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> you also prefer uh, no moving games. My favorite is no moving panning or zooming. Definitely. Right, right, right. <laughs> So, yeah, Let's go and moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's often a bit messy. It's often so a bit messy. How did it go in the games that you had? Did you get to NMPZ any time? No. No? Oh. <laughs> in all my five sets, I had no NMPZ games. What? Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm really happy to have made it through without using my trump card, so to speak. Yeah. But I really think that NMPZ, yeah, I, I oh. favor myself. So, uh, we'll so, so yeah, if, if it gets that far, then then you should be... Uh, so the Lotus has got to beat you in two, otherwise? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could say that. We could say that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes later in the knockout stages mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, not so long now. True. Not so long. Yeah, getting very close. And uh, 
This was the last game for the B stream, and uh, we are gonna wrap it up right now. But uh, the stream is uh, continuing on the stream A, so go and check that out. And of course, tomorrow will be the uh, the, the, the uh, playoffs, the semifinals, and the grand uh, final. So uh, make sure to check that out tomorrow as well. But for now, we are gonna switch to uh, the the stream A. So make sure to check that out. Uh, you got it. You got Go <laughs> tune in now. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I think we are. Yeah, goodbye everyone. It was, right. it was great having you here. Bye bye. And uh, yeah, see you, see you soon. Thanks for watching.